Good morning and welcome back to the Leeds Armoury. Uh, I'm Alan. I'm Baz Fard. Yeah. Um, welcome to Stanford Top 24. We are obviously covering the Battle Harden today for Flesh and Blood, um, hosted by Living Realms. So yesterday we picked up on Skirmish Season 4, the world premiere of Skirmish Season 4. That was good. It was a long day, so we had 10 rounds overall. Uh, today we've got even more. So we've got 10 rounds of Swiss, followed by the, the top cut. Yeah, 13 so, rounds. 13 yeah. rounds to find our battle hardened winner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and there's a lot on the line today for players. So I think there's going to be a, there's been a lot of people that we said yesterday were probably testing things, maybe taking a few cards out, adding yeah. a few extra cards. Um, Some players have completely changed hero. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So that's going to be that's going to be quite interesting. So obviously yesterday we did see um, a high presence of Viscerai in the top eight. Mm -hmm. Don't think we're going to see much different today, to be perfectly honest. No, we had 10 viscera yesterday, five made it into the top cut. So, you know what I mean? 50% conversion rate to make it into the top cut. That, you know, that's how powerful that character is in Blitz and making it into the top four, three viscera, one glory. And then we had the viscera both in the final. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, it's a powerhouse. Yeah, and I think there are a few people that have switched out. There's a few people over to high roll on KO today as well, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, there is indeed. Yeah, there is a. We'll get the breakdown. Um, the, there is a few players still registering. We will get the breakdown. Um, hopefully during um round one, I'll, I'll tally him up like I did yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, um, so hopefully we'll get that out to you quite early on. Yeah. Um, obviously we've got a couple of breaks scheduled in today, so hopefully we'll we'll be back on to discuss really the matter. Again, we're probably not expecting some of these rounds to to go to time. We did get quite lucky yesterday. There was a few rounds that did go go most of the distance. Obviously, nothing on stream went, went to time, but it was a close one. The, the, uh, there was a Bravo match. Yeah, um, went went quite close. Um, so yeah, I mean, yeah, it's nice when you can watch a watch a long game um, as long as it's entertaining, as long as there's no too much in the tank yeah. moments. But um, yeah, that it should be it should be pretty quick. Um, there are a few more Oldham players today. Um, you know. I have asked them if they've got a game plan for this, which they've nodded and said yes. <laughs> yeah, no, I was, I was catching up with a, a certain content creator who is running Oldham, and, he, and I said, obviously, have you got the ability to close out a match where, where you need to? And, and so that's the one thing with Oldham, and even with Braga to a certain extent, for Team Braga. Oh, Oldham's Braga, got glacial you know, puts there. Yeah, yeah. And I said, that's it to him. Have you got enough in there to, to go the distance? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he said. So it's going to be a very interesting sort of breakdown, see what. What changed from yesterday? Yeah. I would say 16 Kasai. Yeah, don't, 16, sorry. Don't, don't feel she did very particularly well. Um, obviously, Jason Hamer taking it to the top eight. Yeah, the conversion rate wasn't wasn't high, but it could be people, you know, people moving to Kasai because, you know, it's looked at as one of the good heroes, you know, to be in Blitz. But she's got quite a simple game plan. You know, he's literally Sabre Sabre, Sabre Sabre, get copied, Sabre Sabre. How are you going to get go again? I'm even playing Blade Runner. Or I'm playing Glisten, you know, I've got, you know, in the swing or slice and dice to try and get me extra power. But he's literally try and gain copper and then smash with blood on our hats. It's quite a simple format um, to do. It's just can be quite awkward for people to play. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and obviously we've got a lot of different representation. So we've got probably over 100 players here today. Uh, we'll get the final count once obviously we get full registrations in. But and you can probably hear in the background that it's a bit more noisy than it was yesterday. So. Yeah, I know Fabio's hoping to try and break the 112. So he's got the biggest ever battle hardened event. So, you know, fingers crossed, um, Living Realms put on a really good show. Um, you know, this, this event hall is packed and it's a really good venue at Leeds Royal Armoury. Yeah, and obviously, again, this is LRG Con for the weekend. So yesterday they had the Dragon Ball Super on in the other room and today we've got Digimon. So they've got, I think, seven rounds of Digimon in there. What, yeah. <laughs> what sort of card game is that? But obviously, it's, it's not just uh, the Flesh and Blood that Living Realms are doing this weekend. So yeah. uh, they're doing a really big event overall. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good day for it. Like I said, it's going to be a long day. Uh, we're probably going to be streaming for a little over 10 hours, potentially. Let's see how long those finals go. We have got an hour booked in for each final towards the end of the day. Now, I can't see the players taking it. If we've got to that blunt end of the, end of the day, like we found yesterday, yeah. though, those those top eight cuts went quite quickly. So, but we'll be, so um, you know, we'll be streaming the top eights, won't we? And then I'll be recording other tables as well for, for the top cuts. So you can see that on my channel, Baz the Bard on YouTube. Um, hopefully they'll go up next week. Uh, so um, to try and bring you as much blitz action as possible to prepare you all for this skirmish season ahead. Okay, 
So, um, yeah. yeah. And obviously we'll have, uh, break down the videos from, to, from the weekend for the video on demand uh, in the background as well. So make sure you, you check that out and give us a subscribe so that you know when that's coming along. So, yeah. Other than so, that, what, what were you expecting hero-wise then? Uh, well, well, let's go through who's here. We've got some big names here. Um, you know, more people have turned up from the ProQuest winners. So ProQuest winners are here today. Matt Folks, obviously, national champion. We saw him yesterday. Johnny Chapman, ProQuest winner. Uh, didn't do too well on Oldham. I don't know if he switched. Jacob Hand, ProQuest winner. Uh, didn't do that well yesterday, I don't think. Um, I do think Johnny has has switched, given, given some of I spoke to him about last night. So I think we might see, oh, yeah. might see some yeah, yeah. rolling. Yeah, yeah, rolling okay, yeah, he did, yeah. yeah. While we were down the curry house, he did say that he was going, yeah, high roll. Uh, Rob Catton, he's still playing Kano. Um, Matt Light is here today. Uh, he won Living Realms, so he got the you know the jewel in the crown of Pro Quest wins. Leeds is very good for him. He's won multiple stuff in Leeds, so he's in uh, big spirits. Hopefully, we'll catch up with him later. He's, he said that he'll come on yeah. for a chat. Isaac Murray, um, we saw him yesterday. Pro Quest winner uh, of the other Pro Quest Cup uh, Cup finalists, uh, Mark Henderson, Jamie Fodner, that won yesterday here with um, Viserai. Nearly got a turn one kill, you know, it was just amazing to see. Uh, Dan Tripp from Push the Point, along with Simon Denning. Hopefully, Hamish, you're watching at home. Thank you for the comments yesterday and the phone call. Uh, Joe Stamper, Aaron Parsons, George Jones, Sean and Craig DeMario, Eric Hoth, Mark Warren, Matthew Sarrington, George Roger, Sharif Shaban and Scott Jones. Now, Sharif was playing Dorinthia yesterday, and I considered him to be Mr. Dorinthia, um, but he has switched to Viscera. So, um, That's just showing how strong that Viscera ball is. So, yeah, and, he, and he, um, he knows Viscera. He's, he's tested with Hamish. Um, he did his deck tech with Hamish, and he got into a final in one of the Scottish pro quests. So he's quite familiar with it. Um, and obviously Scott Jones, he was a top eight, um, made the top eight with Kano in one of the Scottish Pro Quest. And I know he championed Kano for quite a while through Pro Quest and he's playing it today. And we've seen him pull off some, some crazy turns. Yeah, he's and, done, some, he's done uh, some good stuff. Um, he might not have the set up time, but then we all know that, again, so like KO, Kano can top deck and, and just fire. Yeah, um, and it's it's turn zero. You're you're dead, unfortunately. Yeah, he is worried. You know, I, sp I have spoken to Scott today. He is worried about this guy. He has a plan. They have scour, um, so it's just trying to get that in at the right time. If, you know, especially when someone's popping a vexing cool hand, you know, to generate more rune chance, and then they're going to pop Skeletor. You know what I mean? And then watch out if he's got a scour in his hand, yeah. you're in trouble. Yeah. So, well, that's the, the that, that coverage. I think um, we have got potentially about twelve minutes before we get underway. Yeah. Hopefully, pairings will get out on time. Um, players are just sort of finally taking seats and stuff. Um, so we will be back with you as soon as possible. Oops. We have lined up the first match. Oh, yeah. So uh, all being well, and uh, George Moorhead's opponent agrees to come in online. We will see Dash as the first one. Yeah. So. so so dissolution spheres, signal jammers. Hopefully, we'll see a good game. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So and, and, and as always, we would uh, we're obviously going to try and avoid the mirrors where we can. Again, given what we probably have heard, there's going to be quite a few viscera out there today. Yeah. So that might be a little bit. It's going to be out. a lot of the usual suspects from yesterday. We, you know, there's Kasai, there's Kano, and there's viscera. Um, obviously, we didn't see much Kano. Which didn't, he didn't do very well. Yeah. Um, but maybe he will today. Yeah. All right. Then. Stay tuned, and we'll be back with you shortly. All right.
stop them, stop them from leaving rounds. So um, we are here today with Tabletop24. Um, it's an honor to have you. Thank you for covering the, um, the shop and thank you for um, doing the nationals as well. Um, it's going to be a wild ride. Uh, that's it. Let's show a little bit of what Living Realms does. So we do board games, all sorts, really. Um, there's war gaming, painting. Uh, we have the shop divided by areas, so we don't mix everything up. Uh, we also have a workshop here, so people can have paint nights, um, can enjoy themselves in the evening. Um, there's a game library. Uh, people are free to browse through it, play games, come with their families, there's all ages here. Uh, you, you can see that we are massive fans of Flesh and Blood. So you can see every, a little bit of Flesh and Blood everywhere. Um, yeah. Uh, we do all card games, most of the card games, the big ones, um, even small ones also. We give an opportunity to every card game to prove himself and 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 the community shoes if he wants to to play the card game or not uh, as i can see we can see by flesh and blood that we started in the uk with the release of crucible of war and and it's been strong and at the moment we have one two three four five sets um, that's something that's a successful card game a lot of blitz decks people can choose from um, it's an amazing game uh, we have upstairs, so we have two floors. We have 64 people in total, 32 downstairs, 32 upstairs, uh, comfortable. Uh, female and male toilets, so we, we try to be the most inclusive possible. This, is, this playing here is a little bit more private, more inside. It's called the Hall of Heroes. So welcome to the Hall of Heroes. Uh, so it's a more casual, thematic place. Um, it's more inside, more warm. We try to keep the, the feeling um, of rustic industrial um, style. We also have a game library. Uh, we normally run our Forge of War for Flesh and Blood here. Most of the big events um, happen here, also with the, um, with the support of downstairs. Uh, we also have here a, a, a very cool piece of art. Um, this was born from the partnership we have with Dragon Shield. Uh, so it's a piece of lore. Uh, we were introduced to the world of Dragon Shield in the Rodinian um, lore. It's Living Realms of Arcania. Um, you guys can check it later, read. I have the piece online so everyone can have a look. Uh, and then this side, uh, we have the Rodinian, the big continent dragon. Uh, it's also a piece provided by Dragon Shield directly. Um, they are amazing. They, the latest um, show cast um, spotlights this dragon and have this piece of artwork. Uh, thank you, Tabletop24, for coming and covering us. Uh, check out our store. We have a website. Uh, and see you for some amazing games. Just bobbing into the shop. Thank you.
Again, the apologies about the bit of delay. We had a bit of problems again with Gems. So we don't have our pairings up. And our first match is two heroes we haven't seen yet this weekend. Azalea and Dash. Stay tuned and we'll get the players ready. So I can't find one of my induction chambers. I roll to start. Uh, yeah. Eight. Six. Um, I'll take first turn. Okay. Good game, good luck. Yeah, good luck. So, check on you. We'll start with Enlightened Strike. Bottom. Okay. And I'll pick Go again. Go again. So it's coming in for five. We'll go again. No D reacts from hand, right? Because of Dreadful. Um, no, that's only with the arrows. So. Okay. Yeah. Sure. So I will do a block of. Fix for that. Sorry, I've moved ahead to deep defense reacts there. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, that's all good. And then I'm gonna do a two. Fixing this off, cool. Yep. And I'll keep that on top. Awesome. Uh, let's go again. So I will play around this rabble. Uh, so I'll look at the top card of my deck. It's blue. So it goes down to two. Uh, we've go again. Okay, I'll do no defense. Uh, cool. Uh, no reactions. No defense reacts. Cool. So take two. Take two. So then I push this. Yeah, twice. Well, Nice. Ah. Um, and then I'm just asking one up. Great. Okay. 
So I'm going to load up the pistol in the chamber, pitch in a blue to do so. Cool. Then I'll pistol for two. Oh, yeah. I'll block two. Here we go again. Break the chain. Um, I will load up the pistol. And I will load up the chamber, pitch in a blue. With the two floats in, I'll play Nourish and Emptiness for six dominate if it hits game one intelligence. Um. I will take six. Take six. Okay. And um, then I'm going to ask on my last card. Okay. And um, sort these out. And then I'm going to draw five. This one. Okay. Uh, so I will skull bone the villain card to opt my top card. Yep. And um, just stay on there. Um, and I'll play Seek Horizon, mm -hmm. putting a card on the top of my deck to give it a go again. Yep. Just coming for four, we'll go again. Four, we'll go again. Okay. I'll do no defense. Nope, no reactions. I'll play Fate for C, yellow. Block three, block one. I'll keep that on top. Cool. And um, say so take one. Yep. Um, and then I will activate Azalea's ability to put this card on the bottom of my deck. Mm -hmm. yep. So bring out the top card of my deck into my arsenal. Uh, and against dominate. Sure. Um, and then I'll pitch two to uh, five damage dominate. Five uh, damage dominate. No defense reactions from hand. Okay, sure. So I'll pass. Uh, cool. Yep. And then go for a defense of six, uh, pitch in a blue. All good. Yep. Uh, yeah, no reactions from me. Okay. going to start off my turn with a pistol for two. two. Mm. I will uh, block the perch grapplers for two. Here we go again. Bring it back. Break the chain. I will play a induction chamber, pitch in a yellow. And then ask for my last card. Yes. Um, I will then <clears throat> open with not the death whistle. So I'll let you draw. Okay. Um, which allows me to reload. Trying to reload that card. And search my deck for an arrow card. Yep. Uh, take a part, Rimbold. Yep. Um, and then... Oh, oh, yeah, do you want to explore? No, that will go on to the top of my bed. Um, Then play a read the glide path. Yep. Um, activate his earlier ability to drop back to the bottom of my deck. Yep. Bring out battering bolt <clears throat> and uh, play battering bolt pitching suit. Uh, so that's six, seven, eight with dominate. Eight with dominate. Okay. Yep. I will do a block of two and then pass. And then as a defense react, go for a yellow and move ball and pitch this one to do eight. Blocking eight, yep. Yep. Got cool. four blocks. Okay, I'm gonna put a counter on the foundry heart. That's right. Yeah, I've forgotten my tunic for two turns. <laughs> oh man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, no, I'll just um I wasn't looking at that. Don't take cards if you take them on the table. Oh sorry. <laughs> Don't flip your deck over when you put your cards on Oh like that? Yeah you can see the box card right? I couldn't but yeah, I know what I you know, mean. What you yeah, no, like. yeah, thanks. Correct. Thanks. Okay. Uh, so I guess it's my turn now. Um, so I'm going to load up everything, pitch in a blue, and then I will pistol for two. And 
There's the pistol for two. That's two. Okay, I'll give it a go again. Bring it back to break the chain. Uh, let me think about this. I will load up the pistol. Pitch in a blue. And I will pistol for two. I've got two floating. I will <clears throat> block two again. Give it a go again. And then the final two play a plasma purifier. Let's, uh, and then that'll end my turn. So it's back. Let's see how I will remember my tune at this thing. And do it again. I know it's hard. <laughs> and over to you. Oh, that's a bit dread bar. In a little glide path. Pick the weapon. You put a sleep dart into my arsenal. Yep. Uh, Spend the resource to try and sleep that at you for six damage, no okay. dominate, and just can't defense react from hand. Okay, and the ability on that is to turn off this, is it? Yes. Six dominate. No, no dominate. No dominate. Okay, I'll do a block of three. Um, no reactions. No defense reacts. Cool. So take three. I will take three. Okay, I will load up the pistol and then pitch in a blue to do so. And then with the two I've got floating, I'll play the final purifier. Um, let me work out where that's going to go. <laughs> And that's that two gone. I lost on my last card. And pasty. Yeah. So if I do that. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Is that where you can make uh, your pitch that to your deck? So if I do that. Up to your deck. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I'm pretty bad at that. <laughs> I'm going to have to practice at home. Yeah. Tuna ticks up to three. That's good. Finally. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. I'll play on that strike. Just go to the bottom of the deck. Yep. Um, and pick go again. Five would go. Five would go again. Okay. I'll do a block of. I'll do no defense. Uh, no reactions. I'll do a fateful scene. Pop one. Keep it on top. And so you take one? Yeah. Then I will um I take bullseye racer, so it breaks the chain. Mm -hmm. Um to put the battering bolt into my arsenal. Uh-huh. Um it gains plus one from bullseye racers. Um take the token from Yeah. Uh pitch like that. Find the battering bolt for seven. Seven. No dominate. No dominate. No defense reactions. Okay. I will I'll do I'll do no defense. Cool. No reactions. Uh I'll just play sigil as an instant. Okay. And then that'll mean I take seven, gain three, so four damage on my life. That's right, yeah. Yep. Um but also the effect from battering bolt. Oh yeah, so reveal. Get to, to your hand. Um and it's an action. It's an action you're all dead. So down to nine. Cool. And that's the end of my turn. Okay. Before you start your turn, just to be clear, you only have one count on the head, right? Yeah, I use dice. Yeah. So yeah. Like yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, because it's on a. Yeah, uh, as long as you know, that's fine. Yeah, I might change them one day to something else. <laughs> you know what's going on. That sounds fine. <laughs> um, so on my turn, I'm just going to load up uh, everything I've got. So I'll start off with a blue pitch. So one, two, and three. Um, and then I'll 
Yeah, I'll load up this guy as well. And then I'll remove from the purifier and remove from the purifier and then come in with a pistol for four. I will plot three. Yeah, I'll give it a go again. Yep. And I will then use my final resource to break the damage. Oh, yes. uh, how many was taken once? Sorry. So break the chain and then final resource pistol for four. Um, I'll take four. Okay, that'll end my turn. Tokens cool. on tunic. I'll play a release attention. Yep. Um, activate dread bar. Two. Uh, to put remorseless into my arsenal. Yep. Uh, use the last resource. Find remorseless. So that's eight. And you can't play defense reactions from hand or arsenal. Sure. Uh, I will. You on? You on nine? It's coming for eight. I'll. I'll do a block of six. That's a. Oh no, it's not a defense reaction. So, blocking six. Yep. Uh, so you take in. I've no reaction. So. So I'll take two. Take in two. Uh, cool, that ends my turn. Um, am I okay just leaving that there just so we remember the effects of the masters? Yeah. So every time that you play an action, you take a part of damage. Every time I play an action? Yes. Yeah. Does that include this and that as well, yeah? Um, yes. Uh, action, play an action. Oh, okay, so I've been pistol. This is fine. So I will load up the pistol. And I Is will... Is loading up an action? No, oh, that's an action card. Whenever yeah. they can play an action card. That's right. Yeah. No okay. problem. And I will... Let's look at this. I'll pistol for two. Seven. I'll... Uh, no blocks. Any reactions? Yep, here we go again. Bring it back and then I'll load it up and get stuff for two. I will block it. Soon. Okay, that'll end my turn. <laughs> and yeah, I draw up. So I'll take my token up to two. Play uh, read the blood path. Yep. Which lets me opt one. Uh huh. And that can stay on there. How um, then? Activate dread bar. Which two? Put second shot into my arsenal. And activate azalea. Yep. Put that on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Cool. Put a fatigue shot. Yep. And use the last resource to fire that. For eight dominant. Eight dominant. Okay. And no defense reactions from Arsenal. From? Yeah, Arsenal. Uh, hand, sorry. Hand. Yeah, hand. Okay. Um, I will... I'll... So when this hits... Uh, your first attack action card is the uh, base damage is half, is and round. Okay, and it's coming in for eight. Eight. Yeah. So I'll pass on defense and then do a defense reaction of seven. Okay. And take one. Take one. Yep, yeah, no reactions from me. And then that's back to you. Okay. 
So I'll load up these three. Pitch in a blue. And I'll remove from the purifier. Sorry. And I'll pistol for free. Um, I'll block one, talk that, and take two. Give it, go again. So take two. Bring it back, break the chain. I will load up the pistol and a chamber. And I will pistol for free. I'll lock break. Mm. No, I'll end my turn there. Okay. Bring it back. Arsenal, my last card. Do this and then this. And then, uh, yeah, that's the end of my turn. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So the token takes up to three this turn. I will play the seek and destroy. Yep. Take the token opportunity to activate the bar. Yep. Let's drop a bolt and shot into Mouse Gun. Um, and then I'll. So that's going in for five, six, seven, eight. Going in for eight. Uh, okay. And what's the on hit effect? Um, I get to reload. Okay. Because it's damage is higher than base, it's got to go again. And it's coming in for eight. Um, oh, yes, of course. Um, so if it hits, um, at the end of your turn, you discard whatever card you've got left in your hand and the card in your arsenal. Okay. Um, and then you draw. Okay. I'll. Um... Defend with, so it's counting for eight, right? Eight, yes. So I'll go for two and two to four, uh, and I'll pay for those using using this. Okay. So a block of four. Cool. Move to reactions. I will instant rain raises to give it plus two. Okay, plus two. Interesting. So I will take the scene from Arsenal okay. for another four, and I'll up one, and I'll put that on the. So I'll keep that on. Put it on the bottom. And that means I'm going to take some damage. So yes. I'll so take block two, okay. You're blocking eight, you take two. Yeah. And that ends my turn. Okay, so at the end of my turn, I destroy all cards. Uh, cards that are left in your hand and any cards you've got in your hand. So there's not much point in asking no card. <laughs> Toasty. Okay, uh, I will. Load up the pistol, plasma fire, and purifier. And then I'll remove from the purifier and I'll pistol for free. I'll give it a go again. Break the chain. What's this? Working out. I think my miscalculated damage in the previous turn. All right. Play this plus three. This yeah, plus one plus four. 
So it's got four base, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it blocked eight. Now you get ten. Glad. Yeah, no. no, no. Really cool. So, uh, yeah, break the chain. And then I'll load up the pistol. And pistol for three. Here it go again. And then load up the pistol and pistol for free. Yeah. What three? And that in my turn. So, so country, Nick. Yeah, it's my turn. I'm just passing to you. Sure. So I'll load up everything. Well, I say that. I'll load up these three. Then I'll load up these. That leaves me with one floating. Then I'll remove from both the purifiers to activate them. And I'll come in with a pistol for four. Block three. Uh, no reaction. Uh, any reaction, sorry. Yeah, I'll give it a go again. Take one. Okay, I'll break the chain. Load up the pistol, and I will pistol for four. Now I'll play Ben Death as an instant. Uh, Fiction two. Cool. Um, I love that card. Oh, uh, give it a go again. Yep. Break the chain. I will then load up the pistol. And with two floating, I'll load up the induction chambers. And then I'll pistol for four. It's my last resource to bend that again. Cool. Okay. <laughs> That'll end my turn. All four hands <laughs> to <draw> up. <laughs> and then I'll ask on my last card. And my turn is just uh, token goes up and draw it. Okay. So I will. Destroy the Mage Master boots by pitching a yellow. Just remind me what does that do again? The Mage Master. Uh, so I can play an attack action card and I think it gains against an attack action. -attack action card. <laughs> uh, it's uh, boots and this is what I'm going to play with the next resource. It's a ah. classic maneuver. Tome and boots. And then I'll draw two. And then gain five. So I'll go to is it this one? Uh, so this goes and this goes. Then I will load up these three, pitch in a blue. And I'll pistol for four. Oh, pistol for two. That's coming in for two. I've got two. Here we go again. Then I'll remove counters from the purifiers. Bring the pistol back. Um, then I'll. Load up the pistol, and I'll pistol for four. Two and take. Oh, sorry, any reactions? Yeah, give it go again. Yep. Take two. Bring it back. Then I'll load up the pistol. Also, load up 
everything else. And I'll pistol for four. I'm gonna have to that land my turn. Okay. So my tunic ticks up to three. Um, and I'm going to have to blind us earlier. Let's bring out the top card. Mm. Could have been worse. <laughs> uh, play Ravnus Ravel from Arsenal. So I'll put the top card. Um, so that's four with go. Four with go again. Okay, I'll do no defense. Move to reactions. No reactions. I'll block four with a sink. Yep. And I'll sink below. Uh, uh, the one you put underneath. This one? No, no, the one you just put on your bottom of your deck, I believe it's now upside down. So if I spin it? <laughs> Thank you. Um, that's my turn. Okay, so my turn. Took one damage. Oh, did it come um, I came in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to load up the pistol. And then I will purifier, purifier, and I will. Oh, yeah, you're going to put this Sunk a card, things I'm sure. Okay, and um, pistol for four. So you've got this is the goal last turn, and then you'll get one turn. Oh, no. Uh, what's going on so far? Mm hmm. So far, yeah. I'll block three. Okay, I'll give it a go again. Okay, I'll... Load up the pistol. And I will... Pistol for four. Um, what's up? Okay, I'll give it a go again. I'll load up the pistol. And I will... One resource float in. Oh, pistol for four. Oh. I've got two. Oh, <laughs> my heart. I made such a big mistake with <laughs> the purifiers. Yeah. Oh, good game. Great game. Yeah, good game. Congratulations to George Moorhead on that very close victory with Dash. Uh, we might be able to get a chat with him, but obviously time's been called, so hopefully we will. Uh, stay tuned.
Welcome back to Leeds Royal Armoury for our battle hardened event for Living Realms. I'm Bass the Bard and we are joined by George. Hey, oh my well. god. Thank you for coming on first. Thank you too. I, yeah. I did the scale this morning and I was like, George, are you playing Dash? Yeah, I'm playing Dash. Brilliant. Do you mind coming on? <laughs> oh. It was close. You got you I'd see you were looking at the time and you were just like, oh my god. Yeah, I looked at the time and then that made me forget to take the tokens off the purifiers. So I was like really like Put oh yourself no. under a bit of pressure. Oh and you no. had a bit of a boo-boo with the sink below and it's and time can play on your mind when that can miss the triggers. Yeah, for sure. Um, I, I can definitely, um, yeah, I recommend with Dash, like, you, you can shoot faster, um, which really helps, especially if you're doing control, like, just quick, quick, quick. Yeah. Um, it can be frustrating. He had, the thing is, he was using Dread, Dreadball, which stopped you using your defense reactions. And yeah. I know that you're, you've got quite a lot because I've played you in the past. Yeah. And I could see you were like, ah, oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, I was always looking to get uh, a D React in the arsenal, so that that helps with that. Yeah. Um, and I think it's good to have equipment that you can pay for to get them out of your hand. Because like a battering bolt will come in and just do all that damage. Yeah. yeah. So um, he's got so many triggers he can do, so many penalties with the different arrows. Yeah. Sometimes it's quite hard to keep up with what's going on. You can totally. Yeah, he can get a knockout go, which I was worried about. Um, you got to be, yeah. I was lucky because I think I did a missed defense with my equipment. Could have maybe saved it. Um, and then I was thinking, uh oh, this the tempo might switch. Um, I was really lucky with my items though. They came out nice and early. Um, yeah. The thing is, you had that nourish and emptiness. That nourish and emptiness set you up. You pull into a five card hand. You just yeah. like, yeah, baby, here yeah. we go. But oh, then you I took a couple of turns off to just set up your equipment. Yeah. With Vesalia, you just like. You don't know what big arrows are going to come in because you're not stripping that resource and arrows from his hand. Yeah. So it's quite cat and mousey in the middle of the game. For sure. I was really hoping to remembrance back that nourish and emptiness. All right, yeah, yeah. You've only got one then. Yeah, yeah. just use it again. Yeah, like it. Be nice. Well, you had, the, you had the boots and you use your library yeah. to, to draw into a five-card hand again. Yeah. Um, which is great yeah, yeah. really great so. set you up with a nice nine health because you went down to four it was getting it, it was, was getting, getting quite scary yeah. yeah it was getting really scary so, uh, yeah always interesting against the so, yeah. Um, but yeah it was scary i'm just glad i managed to, yeah. to hang in there first game's never easy but thank you so much for thank coming you too. on cheers barry yeah Good nice one yeah
right now it works. Yeah. It's surprising. So I played Benji round one as well. So Benji v Benji, and that was like, ooh. I was like, how do I combat this? Well, I'd never played, I'd never played the mirror. So it was like a real, I had to sort of figure it yeah. out and a bit, a bit like, oh, this is a bit bizarre. It's like, who can block correctly? It, come, it basically came down to who could block correctly and who could sort of plan a turn or two ahead. It was really, very weird. Time starts now. Have fun. All the best. Goodbye. James, have fun. I actually made a mistake. I think we should first decide on who's starting. We should. Apologies. Uh, five, D6, high roll? Uh, yes, two D6. Okay. Five. Two. Snake I eyes. will take first play, please. That sounds smart. Okay, so I have Anaphos, you yep. have Romanos, Kodachus. Playing the links. I am link scales, yeah. Vessa the first fist, and Breeze Rider Boots. And I'm going full blockish. Girl cap, plating, greater fist, iron heart. Iron Fantastic. Fantastic. But I just bought this morning because it didn't happen. Ah, very good, very good. So I'm drawing up to four. Yep. On mid. Fantastic. Good luck. So, crane dance for two. That I cannot block, right? So, uh, yeah, you yeah, can, yeah, can read re Betty. Yeah, yeah. Because in the day I should charge two or less, and I cannot block it from hand. That's cool, I guess. Okay, yeah. two. Sure. So, like, no blocks. No blocks? Yeah. That's yeah. fine. So, yeah, take two. Okay, no reaction from you? No reaction. Well, I have to let it hit if, before I do any reactions. <laughs> so it needs uh, to hit. It has yeah, to yeah, hit okay. first before yeah, I can so do my trigger. No reaction, right? Yeah, so there's no reactions, so damage yeah. happens. And then if I yeah. want to do any triggers, I then have to do the triggers after that. Yeah. So... Let me just have a think. So no no reactions for me. Okay. So like on hand reactions for John. Yeah. Could actually for one. It's for two, isn't it? For two, sorry, yeah, because of Bendy. Apologies. No. Could actually for two. <laughs> it doesn't. Apologies. Thank you. Didn't notice that. No, I complete because I was thinking I was activating this. It's my bad. You wanna ask me? Yeah. Yeah, Arsenal and then draw two. Yes, yeah, sure. Let me just say, uh, no, there's nothing I want to do. Oh, pressure. <laughs> It'll always get to you at some point. I will start by making a classic switch to sure. two floating. Yep. Interesting, interesting situation here. Um, Bravo. Yep. So gains dominate, yeah? Yeah, next attack gains dominate. Yep. And sorry, I'm playing super slow right now. Take your time, no rush.
Actually, may, may I take that back? Um, it's ben, ben. Okay. No, okay. No, 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 I just play it. I just play it. Fine, sure. That's, I fucked up. That's fine. So it's coming in six dominate, yeah? Yeah. Six. Yes. Uh, pass directions? No, I have no reaction. Thanks. Yes. Uh, I will sift that one. Uh, no damage? Yeah. Yep. Cool. Okay, so. Put that chief for one. It's loading, so let's go again because it's a zero cost. Mm -hmm. Two in hand, one in arsenal. Correct. Going down to 17. Sure. Or like, no blocks. No blocks, yeah, no response. 17. Kadachi for one. Mm. No blocks. No response. 16. Okay. Rushing river for two. Yes. And no combo. No combo. No combo okay. and no yes. and no plus from Benji. Yes. But it's two, so it's unblockable for me. Mm. Yes, take two more. Oh like no block? Yeah, no no response. Okay. No attack no action response yeah. anyway. Um and then fourteen. One second, please. So I'm going to crack Breeze Riders. Yes. So, so they say they cards with combo gain go again. Correct. Right? So this card itself will gain go again. Yeah. And then any other cards with combo else on the chain yes. also gain go again. Sure. Yeah. So I'm going to crack the Breeze and I'm going to crack the Mask. Yes. And then they're destroyed, right? They are destroyed. I just turn them sideways for the turn so that yeah, any so other they're... combos are sort of... No, I can destroy these. That's fine. No, 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 no. Please let, let them yeah, like, exactly. turn them sideways and then... Then it can still be done. Yeah, sure. Because <laughs> then I know they've been used and yes, I'm not. Exactly. I, th I think it's very good. Visualizing it. I'm going to go find Break Tide. May I sit on yeah, it? of course you can. I'm playing it this on the next chain, so that's fine. And it's like, I'm going to this. This turn, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And there was a rushing river, so I can play it and dominate. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to play it. So that's six dominate because of Benji's trigger. Because of so Benji. get the plus three from the combo, the dominate from the combo, yep. and then the plus one from Benji. So it's six dominate. Mm -hmm. If one card in hand, one resource. One hand, one in arsenal, one resource. Yeah. So their chance of. Three, four, five. And we were accepting that it wasn't six, right? A six dominate, correct. Yes. Okay, so one card from hand and. Sure. Breaking scales, give it plus one. Yeah, give it seven. Yeah. So you take one. I take one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, correct. Break okay. tie trigger. Break tie trigger. Second break tie. It doesn't combo off itself. Yeah. That would be silly. <laughs> oh, who knows? Break tie for two. Can it just, yeah, yeah. If you just want to move it, that's say, fine. Like this was here. Yeah. So break tie for two. With go again still because of the breeze. Mm -hmm. 
tattoo. Oh, like no blocks, no block, no response. Spring tidings for two. Yeah. And this is still unblockable, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from hand, so one floating, one in Arsenal still. Sure. Spring tidings from Arsenal. Ah! <laughs> nice. Nice. So that hits a two. Yeah, I was really sure that you had a race of reflex. So, so now I, I draw one, two, three, four cards. Yeah. I have 17 place nine. 17. So you take two from that last spring tidings. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, no, it's all no, good. No, all good. No, that's totally on me. No, no, you're all good. Do not worry. Attack for one. Ooh, I can block that one. No, two or less. Two or less? Oh, yeah. Okay, I cannot block. So yeah. you go to eight. So, yeah, I guess. It's still very chill. Yeah. Brain dance for one. Yeah, I mean, in the same, same situation, going down to seven. Flutter force for one. No combo, nothing has combo. Okay, so taking one. And then in response, you raise a reflex, so you take four on this, so go to three. Go to three. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm out, so that ends my turn. That was a turn. Let me just tidy up this board state. So, this one's dead. Yep. This one goes also in the graveyard. This one gets a counter. This one has a counter and it. And then I will draw four. And pass. Mm -hmm. Assessment search, die. Sure. Mm -hmm. There's under. Okay. Seven dominate. Seven dominate. And then if it hits, I, I it choose, choose a two. Choose, it's just... Okay. Yeah. I'm happy to take seven. I think you have to give it a bit more time in between. Fine, I'm, I'm just obviously trying to get it. Yeah. Cool. I'm so so then two. I just got two, correct? Yes, I'll be choosing. Just got these two. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So clean up. Mm -hmm. Tap it two. One card in hand. One card in hand. One. Block three. Sure. I'll go to Arsenal. Yes. So this dies. This dies. This that's one gets completely another. used, and that's completely used. Yep. And then I'll draw four. 
and pass. It's not active. No, no, uh, yeah, that's fine. It's just no writing it. No worries. Take your time, no rush. Oh, okay. Then. Can I make a new assessment check? Sure. Activate problem. Plus one, yeah, yeah. So that's fine. Yep, cool. So that's three in total. Yep. One floating. That's just nine dominate. It cannot go for get go again. Nine dominate can't have go again. So I guess I should not have a card dominate actually. So no cards in hand, no No. Nope. Take the nine, go to one? Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, let's go ahead. I hit it nine times. I was hoping it would catch up. Yeah, <laughs> it's like attack for two. Yeah, take two, and you have to raise the reflex. Ancestral. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I cannot block it right in the. No, no. Well played. Again, guys. Congratulations to James Ashall for winning with Benji. Death by a thousand cuts indeed. We will speak to James in a minute, so stay tuned. Hi, welcome back to Leeds Royal Armoury for our battle hardened event. Congratulations, oh, James. Nice. Thank you very much. That was awesome. Appreciate. Benji. Lucky, oh, still, death uh, by a thousand cuts. I know. That turn that's, you had, eleven game. cards you played. Long. Really? I didn't I didn't count it. I'm glad you did. <laughs> yeah, I was just like I, I quickly counted before you cleared yeah, up. Yeah, I was like, oh my so, god. But like 
you know, said block really well with his armor. 100%. Um, he knows exactly when he needed to block. Yeah, yeah. And I he's, mean, he's got a good fridge on him. Yeah, 100%. And I'm, I'm so afraid of fridges at the moment. The yeah. sides are really tough matchup for me. Yeah, yeah. So I'm finding that difficult. Um, I was just saying to Seb as well, like, I haven't tried the Viserion Prism, which I know is doing really well at the moment, and I didn't want to flip from one to another, especially untested. So I'm kind of looking forward to playing into those decks and seeing how it happens, because I haven't actually tested against the Viserion Prism either. You can't pop prisms, I can't pop perils, can you? No, so no, no. It's going to be quite interesting. It's going to be tough, I think. Yeah, the, um, that double spring tiny turn, he successfully blocked the first one. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't see what you'd Arsenal, but when oh, you okay. popped that out of Arsenal, I was just like, oh my god. Yeah, it's nice, it's nice. That seems to be like the way that Benji is kind of like winning these hard fridge matchups at the moment. Especially speaking to some of the other other Benji players here. It's like they're either having to go like double Spring Tidings, or it's like Spring Tidings for like double Razor Reflex. It's almost like we have to stock up to try and get through because these these armistices have such a fridge. Like, especially like Kasai with like Valiant Dynamos, how, oh, yeah. how it's so recycled at the moment. So... Yeah, it's it's interesting. We can't just do the whole go mass search for swing fightings and shoot like we used to, yeah. um, or like we did at the start of it. But Kasai and Bravo and some of these others, it's such Vistra a pretty good armor set. Yeah, Vistra's well. got a good armor set as well. So I'm scared of the matchups, but I'm definitely finding new ways around it. Like, especially when I search for mask, I've been going things like finding rushing rivers or in that case break tides well break tides allows you to have another card yeah exactly yeah. um and like sometimes it's flood of force it just depends on it and i think mask is so good because i can go find the combo piece that i want and just play around differently to what maybe they're expecting with like search for spring tide with mask or exactly some things like that so yeah it's definitely been a huge learning curve here so far have you got have you got 100 wins in it or do you find that the 100 wins combo can actually be detrimental to benji i have 200 wins in it i don't I, I don't think I've even comboed off of it once since I do it. Okay. It's more I seem to be use, using it as a pitch or just a poke. Yeah. It's or, one or the other. Or you have, or it's in there because it's got combo and you use yes, free with the free riders as well. Just yeah, so, go to extend your turn. So the only two things in the deck that aren't combo are you didn't see them, but I've got salt the wounds in there, okay. which is like a really nice finisher towards like an end of the spring tidings turn. Uh, soul beat strikes and ride the tailwinds. Okay. Everything else is a combo piece. Brilliant. It was fantastic. To be oh, I'm glad, I'm glad it was enjoyable. I'm glad it's enjoyable. Thank you so much. Best no of luck for the Thanks rest of much. it. Yeah. Good luck with everything else. Thank
Okay, then we are just waiting for our players to get their final results in for the round, and we'll soon be heading into round two. So stay tuned. Okay, you may hear a lot of background noise as our players all get settled to go into round three. Next up, we will have Oldham versus KO, both players on 2-0. and So this could be a testing matchup for them both. Stay tuned and we'll be up with you shortly. We're just holding that match up uh, as there may be an issue with Gem resulting in a repair. Stay with us and um, we'll let you know as soon as possible.
So apologies about that. We will be having a brute off with Reinar versus KO. So quite interesting. Do you want us to high roll first and everything for start a game? Inside and everything, yeah? Do you want to high roll now to work out who's yeah. going first? Oh, high hi roll. I hope that's your karma. Right, right, fair enough. I'll go first. That's your karma, mate. Right, right. okay, two seconds then. That's a good roll, too. Yeah. Club, leathers, gloves, cross spot. Oh, he's going to stop me. Um, my mate did it the other day. He yeah. rolled a six. He was running skull crushers. Broke my gloves. He rolled a one. He was like, yeah, GG. Yeah, yeah good game. Um, going to cut? Yeah, that's cool. No? Best of luck. We're going to need it. Let's go. First four. Stop skin? Yep. <laughs> yeah, go on then. Three action points. Start as you mean to go on. <laughs> Pitch two. We play pulping. Yeah. So we have to KO first. Yep. So oh, that was my action points, wasn't it? So this one, so KO first. I'm gonna gamble his gloves. Yep. So no, so it's half to three. Yep. And then we draw a card. Those the actions, yeah. right? We draw yeah. a card and we randomly determine because we have to. One, yeah, that's two, fine. three, four, five, six. Yeah. Two. So we discard a pack hunt. So it does have dominate, but it's coming in for three. And I'll have four again. So we Capskins was for nothing. Oh, sorry. I start on 19. That's block two. Yeah. No further defense. You want to just take the one? Reaction. Stop it. No. No, that's fine. Yeah, take the one. And I'm this side, yeah. Yeah. Yep, there we go. Now pitch two to club. 
for five. Box three. Reaction? None. I'm going to take two damage. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. One, two, three. Yep. So I take two. That's fine. This has to resolve. Yep. That's fine. Then you have to resolve peace within you. Yep. One. Yep. Good. Adds to hand. Yep. Yep. That's fine. And, then and you're two for you. Yeah, you've done. Yep. That's fine. What's there? Just to bin. There's your hand. Oh, yeah. Cheers. I'm going to arsenal this and pass over to you. Brilliant. Okay, let us go. Um, Scabskins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You must use your gloves, yeah. That's fine, we may as well go for it. So, one, two. Two. Stack all this. Five. So Five. you take nine, yeah? Yep. Any reaction? No. No, nothing. And then keep one card in hand. Pass. So let's put them in the discard. Put these on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, no worries. Draw three. Slip the brute life. Oh, you're not doing it again, are you? Well, scabskins? Yeah. Oh. oh. I'll grab that one. I'll grab that one. I'll roll this one. One. Oh, well. One action point. Better than none. I know. Yeah, one, two, three, four, and then re-roll on five, yeah. six. Four. You know, probably rotate like this. Swing big, pitching two. Yeah, so coming in for eight, don't defend with two. Eight. Yeah, so it's eight or 11, 11 if you don't defend with two non, uh, non equipment. Yeah. So, attack reaction, attack actions? Nope. So yep, that's two. fine. And I block three, four, seven. Oh, I should have used scab skins as well, because then I would have got quick in, wouldn't I? I only take one. Yep, that's fine. Go. Cool. Over to me? Yep. All right, get discarded yet, uh, obviously. Um, pop the straps to play Savage Beast, discarding Smash Instinct. Yeah. High roll. So it's coming in for three, but because it costs a six or more, was discarded and we block it. That's fine. Okay. 
while I've got it. I'll use one. Yeah. No further defense. Uh, no further anything. Yeah, so you take two. two. Arsenal and pass. You're dead, Steve. Hmm? Scalpkins. Go for it. One. Yeah. Oh, come on. Have a lucky day. Um... One, two, three, four, three, four, yep. five, and six. One. I feel like it's a super high roll, but... Oh, what are you pitching? You're gonna, you're gonna laugh, yeah? Yeah. You like to reveal the last card? Super high roll, yeah? The hands? <laughs> <laughs> um, intimidate from Reiner, add to the chain. Dice? Uh, yeah, yeah, let's go again. Uh, two, four, six. Two. Um, uh, resolve, but the rush. Yeah. Draw two. Yep, draw two. Oh, intimidate. Uh, intimidate first. Um, I've run out of dice. <laughs> uh, yep. I've used my action point, I'll just do this. Uh, no, one, yeah, two, three, ahead. four. Uh, so, one to three, five to, uh, four yep. to six. One to three. Yep. Draw two. Sound sketched. No shuffle yet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Four, five, six. Yeah. Oh. 
a really big hit. I'm going down a few right here. Imagine if you, you now have two action points, though, don't you? I know. If only I had a, a bigger pitch earlier, it would have been so much yeah. better, but Savage Swing from Arsenal. Discard the card, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, so it is four, two, two, eight, seven, fifteen. So thirteen. Uh, paid your resource. I go down to three. Yeah, that's fine. Unfortunately, I don't have pitch. We good? Yeah, close the action chain. Get all my cards back. Yeah. Uh, oh, thank you, mate. Sorry, what was that? I forgot to shuffle after the sand sketched. Okay. So, right. yeah. yeah. One. Pitching for eight, yeah. It's five or six, I think I win. Sixteen. Very well done. That was absolutely <laughs> fantastic. Wow. Oh my God, what a savage game. And we have KO as the winner, Tom Barnaby Pass. We'll catch up with him in a minute. Stay tuned.
Welcome back to uh, Leeds Royal Armoury for our battle hardened event. Joined by Tom. Oh, you're also right. with. Congratulations. Yeah. Well I done. I a few sixes. And that <laughs> well, you, was about it. you started off scab skin. Let's, yeah. roll. Let's see what happens. Oh, six. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay, I'll play out my head. Didn't need the action points, but it was still fantastic. Yeah. So, second round, you hit him with another big attack. Yeah. Um, our stream went down, so I kind of missed that because we were scrambling right, okay. the eye. So, what did yeah. you hit him? Because he suddenly went from 18 down to 9. So what did you smash him with? Can you um, it was a predatory, red predatory assault, okay. which when you've discarded a card six or more, it gains dominate this right. turn. So it had um, a boost from Bloodrush Fellows. So it went up to 14 with dominate. Yeah. So 11 of it was gone through. <laughs> and uh, that was fine. That's him on the back foot. And that doesn't actually take a lot to play. It's quite easy to get it get it going and get the dominate and hit hard early. So then your opponent's on the back foot and the sat throwing cards and the defend in their turn is a tackle weapon. And because brute cards defend for three. You know, block, block, block. But there was that one turn where it's blood rush, blood rush. Sand yeah, when, when Paul came back. I mean, I mean, we had a quick chat over there, but yeah, the double blood rush. Yeah. You could see your face. You were like, okay, yeah, all right, he's stripping cards out of my hand. You seem still seem quite calm. Yeah. Until he played stand, stand, yeah. stand sketch plan, and then you were just—I saw your yeah. face, and you were just like, "Oh my god!" So I can—I know what brute can search for. So in my head, he had in his arsenal, he had something that he could attack with that didn't discard, and he was going to search for something that he could attack with and not discard. Yeah. But obviously, planets aligned for me to live that turn and just on my turn play card roll six. Yeah. You even yeah. said as well, if I read a if I roll a five or six, I've yeah. got this game. Yeah, and you exactly. rolled and you rolled it. Yeah. And you were just it's like, fantastic. oh my God, 16 dominate. You looked across at me and I'm just like, yeah, holy yeah, moly. Yeah. It's, it's such a high roll deck and it's always really fun to play against another brute player because you get to see what, what different things they run and, and how Ryan works. Because I've seen KO using um, uh, skull crushes now. So it gives yeah. you the plus one on that roll. But obviously if you roll a one at any point, it's gone. that's gone. Yeah. So. You took Gambler's Gloves and you used it early, and, and so did Paul. He used his early. Yeah. He's just like, okay. Yeah, but he rolled a one in another one. In another one, yeah, yeah, on the scab That was game. Yeah. That was a moment where I was like... Do, do yeah, you only use it. Gambler's Gloves when you're against another brute? Or, or are you not time. running Skull um, Crushes? Skull Crushes are, are a wasted card. Because, yes, it increases your attacks, but you need, need a reroll. Okay. No matter what, you need a reroll. You roll, you roll a one on your scap skins whenever you need a three or even a two. It's game over. Yeah, some KO players may wait yeah. until they get the ready to roll and then go, right, okay, yeah, now but I'm it, rolling. If you've got the ready to roll, the skull are phenomenal. But you're not always going to have this. So the gambler's gloves are a very good tool to use when I'm coming in for six with dominate. I can make it 12 of a re-roller and roll high, obviously, you need yeah. to roll high. But Gambler's Gloves are fantastic for that purpose. It just keeps your momentum and that's what you need and blitz you need. Constant yeah, yeah, yeah. barraging momentum. And if you go from 12 down to 3, that life jump is too much. Yeah, it was fantastic to watch. Yeah. It was absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much awesome. for coming on. It was a Great. pleasure. Thank you very much for having me. Good luck for the rest fantastic. of the day. I'm going to need it. <laughs> Thanks a lot.
We are just collecting in the final tallies for round three, and we'll get round four underway as soon as we can. Stay tuned, and we'll be back with you soon. Coming up shortly, we will be seeing Jacob Ham playing KO, uh, for Francesco Giorgio playing Alden. So, obviously, Francesco was due to play in round three, uh, but due to the repair room, was paired up somewhere else. So, it'll be good to see this matchup.
Yeah, cool. Game on now. Kill. I'm gonna have to read some things. Uh, I got that one. This one is on the card. Let's go again. Uh, I'm going to make the seismic search. Then I'm going uh, at the end of my turn. I'm going to hit this one. Okay. And I get three searches. Okay. Show up. Okay. Um... Let's have a drink. Uh, so we both draw. Sure. And we'll go for Wild Ride. So uh, draw a card, discard random one. If it's a six or more, I get go again. And draw. Excellent. Uh, so I'll trigger that. A one. And I'll get that. What was that? Sorry. Uh, uh, beast, beast Within. I do not miss that. Sorry. <laughs> uh, can, can I see the card? Uh, I what? didn't even have uh, yeah. both up. Savage Feast. Okay, bench up. Oh, so you lose one. Oh, okay. Uh, why 18? So I start on 19. Oh, okay, I didn't know. So you're on 18. All happy? I am happy. Okay, so, and then uh, I'll... Well, can, can I, sorry, can I read that? Yeah, yeah, sure. Sorry, I don't know any of the... Okay, one. Okay, so then I'm going to roll for KO. So, did, you know what he does here. Yeah. Uh, Five. Uh, coming in for 12 would go again. All right, hello. Oh, sorry, uh, skull crushes as well. So 13. So whenever I roll yeah, a five yeah, or a six, yes. Yeah. And you have how many cards? Uh, three in hand. No resources. Uh, so this thing, only mine, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Attacks that target, target me. Yeah. Block with this tool, you get a frostbite and pain. Okay, yeah. Okay. Four. Yeah. Eight. Nine. Yes, I go to eleven. Trying to do on that. Okay, um... Uh, 
Uh, we'll close the chain and I'll pay two for Blood Rush Bellows, pay for the Frostbite. So just got a random card, I only have one, has six or more, I draw two and it gets go again. It's unfortunate. And... The Frostbite is paid for. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I was doing when you... Uh, I'll go for Barkbone. So pop it, roll a dice, gain resources, half rounded down. Two! Uh, so then we'll go... Fair thing. So when I attack, draw, and discard a random one. Uh, so I guess plus two, and then I'll roll for KO. Yeah. Three. Uh, so it goes down to three, three then gets five. plus two, five, plus two again, seven, plus one, eight. All attacks. Yeah, whenever I yeah. roll a one, it gives it for the rest of the thing. So uh, eight? Five or six. Eight, yes. And you have one. Uh, this doesn't have to go again. Correct. Block six. Yeah, no reactions. Uh, put the card on top of your deck. Yep. Uh, I take two. Yep. Hold on, I. Uh, yeah, then pass it. Awaken. Awakening. Okay. Uh, I get nine surges, so I go to. Uh, well, 13. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. All right. What's that? My hand. Yeah. The bottom. Uh, my turn. Yep. All this pops. Yep. And I just have to. Okay. Blocks on or to yeah,
And a blood three, plus three action. Yep, so I'll take ten. Yep. You go to eight. And your next attack is minus four. Yeah. Uh, yep, it's time my turn. Yep. Cool. And we will hold thing, so draw and discard. Uh okay, so but by the way, before when the cards draw, I can, I have a window to respond. This, luckily, it's not the case now that I want to respond, but I believe I can play instance before uh, he goes to yeah, that. Be, uh, because those abilities only apply when the card oh, okay. oh, apologies. And, and card. I don't have anything now, but okay. please. Yeah, yeah. It, it sure is, thing. Yeah. True. Okay. Yep. No problem. This one. Chop. Uh, so, and then we'll roll for care. Uh, let me just check what this does. Six. <laughs> Okay, so it'll go to 12, and it'll lose 4, go yeah, to 8, eight, and then gain 1, 9. 9. And it doesn't have go again? Uh, so if it's defended by less than 2 non-equipment cards, it has go again. So it currently has go again. If oh, block, I see. Yeah, if you yeah. block with 2 from hand, it does not. Not on Right. Block eight. Okay, say one. Oh, you can block it. That's fine. Uh, we'll wait. Cool. Uh, I'll ask my pass. My turn. I'll just stop this. Block six. Take two. Yep. Okay. Um, I'm going to roll for scab skins. Three. So I just keep one actually. Yep. Ugh. 
Uh, play a high roller. Intimidate once. Um. And we'll go swing big, uh, and I'll roll the KO. I remember this one. Excellent. 16, uh, plus skull crusher, I no can't block. do I don't have enough. Oh, right. Okay. I had uh, this one is the mistake. Oh, okay. Good game, man. <laughs> Good game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Congratulations to Jacob Hand for winning with KO. We'll catch up with him soon. Stay tuned. And welcome back to Living Realms at Leeds Royal Armoury for this battle hardened event. Uh, Jacob, Hello. congratulations. Thank you. Well Thank done. You. Uh, a nice win for KO it there. Was, it was all skill, what can I say? Yeah, hey, if, you're, if you're good, you're good. You just, yeah. <laughs> some people might say you high rolled that. Oh, I did, I understand. You know, <laughs> I, I can only win with Starbo and KO. That's like, that's what I do. Yeah, because you played Oldham yesterday and yeah, nearly made it. Nearly did, made yeah. it in just slightly See, short. The idea of 10 rounds with Oldham was. Yeah, depressing. Uh, going to time every round is rough. 
And I was like, I just, need, I just want a nice, is easy, easy day today. That? Yeah. I went to time every round. Didn't like, I was holding a P for like three rounds in a row because it was just back to back oh, and back. Okay. Yeah. And rough. Uh, couldn't do it again today. So I change up. Nice. Brilliant. So, let's talk about the match bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can come in with some massive attacks. Swing big, right to finish. Yeah. And he's just like, oh, yeah. And, oh, and skull crushes. Yeah. Oh, oh, you know, even when you took that minus four on that pulverize, I was yeah. like, if you don't roll big there, you've got oh, yeah. nothing. You know, it's, to come back with, you left him with a four card hand. Yeah, yeah. And, and it was like, even when, even with that minus four, you were like, uh, yeah, let's count it up. Oh, I'm attacking for eight. And you're like, yeah. that is no small number. To it's tough. You just got to live the brute life when you play in the deck. Like, you got to roll into the high rolls and hope that they get you there. If you try and play cautious, you're just going to lose anyway. Yeah, yeah. So you may as well play to the wins. So let's let's look at gambler's gloves and skull crushes because there's two train of thoughts. Yeah. Have you got gambler's gloves? I have gambler's gloves on the side, but they're mainly for the mirror. I, I, I don't think I bring them in against anything else. Right, okay. You would uh, just always prefer the plus one. Yeah. I hope you don't roll the one. I mean, the one block is like quite good as well, right? Over gambler's gloves, so you have the one block on skull crushers with that one that, that comes up and then skull crushers just like pushes things over on turns where you're rolling a lot of dice and obviously stacks which is really good uh, you can do interesting stuff like attack and then bark bone strapping is an instant and then if you roll a five or a six on that it triggers your skull crushers after they've blocked which is quite interesting to give the extra attack it doesn't come up often but... The thing you can do, I just think Skull Crush is a really cool card. <laughs> if you're going to play Brew, you may as well lean into these uh, die roll -y things, especially KO. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I think Gambler's Gloves is good to recover from those sixes, but I just saw in that game, if you just don't ever roll not five or six, you don't need Gambler's Gloves. Well, yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. It's like roll high or go home. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. Hopefully, you'll do better than 10. Well, I'll give There's it a, a go, lot of yeah. rounds to go through. Yeah, definitely. Um, and congratulations. Thank you. And hopefully Thank you. We'll, we'll see you. All right, yeah, cheers. Thank you very much.
Okay then, welcome back. Um, I have jumped out from behind the, the computer just to, to come on. We allowed you to come out. Yeah, got me out of my box. <laughs> so hopefully you're enjoying the rounds that we've had so far. A couple of uh, high rolling brutes. That's been amazing. Yeah. Just to see them actually go off, it's been absolutely brilliant. You know, we, we tried to bring some KO yesterday. Unfortunately, it, it didn't happen. Um, but yeah, to, to see to see KO actually go off is fantastic. Yeah, exactly. You know, a friendly 17. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, just 17. I'm like, jeez. Right, so um, obviously we're in the small box. There's a reason why we're in the small box. Uh, and that is because we're going to bring you the hero breakdown. So apologies, it's been a little bit later than we normally like to get these things out. But... There, I was, the rounds have run quite close to time and we've been obviously wanting to talk to the players as we've gone through it. So, yeah, pretty much the same breakdown as yesterday. Yeah, lots of Kasai, lots of Viserai. A bit more KO today. Um, but, yeah, you know, people have switched um, from what they were playing as well. We've got, uh, and I know that some people came off Oldham and went to KO. Um, lots more Kano to try and counter Viserai and Kasai. Um, so yeah, and quite a surprise in the amount of prison players we have today, because yeah. traditionally she hasn't done well in a blitz format. Be interesting to know whether they're running heralds or auras. Yeah. You can't put auras in blitz. I don't think it's going to really work fire for them, is it? Not really. Um, but say unless, they, unless they play the zero costers, um, which you know, especially when you've got passing mirage, you've got stuff like piss reality. They're really going to aid, you know, a Herald build, which, you know, maybe that's what they're going for in the Blitz format. Because yeah. when you're coming in for six or eight, you know, a turn. Yeah, it can be good. although we did see Dash earlier, um, and that's obviously a longer, slower strategy. She can get those guns off once she gets the fuel fires out. And, and I think there, there was a lucky sort of, or unlucky miss trigger that then didn't cost. Yeah, the trouble the is with Dash, it's like mid game when she's trying to get her items out. That's when she can. You know, you can't allow someone to regain the tempo. You know, yeah. we saw that Azalea nearly got it, you know, a couple of big arrow attacks. And the dash player was kind of like reeling a little bit, um, you know, and he managed to pull it back, even though, you know, time was pressing. Um, but there is one Shiana today. Yeah. Um, so that was quite interesting. Uh, we might like get... Abdeen from yesterday, probably. Yeah, I, I, I tried to get him on. Um, but he has not got a winning record, and that's why uh, Tom came on because he was uh, next to the conversation. So later on, maybe round sort of like seven, eight, or nine, I will go and see if Shiana will come on, or maybe an Icelander just to you know just to see what they you know yeah, what Icelander sure. can do. Really in yeah. So, um, look, I think I think you said to say we've got fair representation, but yet again, no Ira, no Ira. The, you know, the, the Queen how, of Blitz. Yeah, yeah. How well she did for sort of like two to three seasons, and she's not here. Um, you know, her specialisation, you know, uh, was it Miss Blossom? It's not as good as Benji's. No, I mean, we um, saw but, Benji can keep fire off. I mean, an 11 card hand, um, you know, nearly killing his opponent, you know, and then, and then following up like next turn with just an ancestral empowerment to finish. Yeah. Was, that was brilliant. And maybe Ira does suffer because she's, cause she's literally you know, three or four card strings are not going to be as powerful. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, it, it's a shame we can't see what she's like in this current meta, you know, but, but we might see that later on in this, you know, this format. We've got the whole skirmish season, maybe I will turn up at some point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so obviously there's a lot more skirmish seasons out there. Uh, obviously we had at the world premiere yesterday, so... Yeah, it should be interesting to see what though, what comes out from everybody and see who does rise to the top. I mean, I think it's fair to say, I think Mr. Royce has a good chance again today, but... Yeah. It will be interesting, the conversion rate. So we had 50% conversion rate for Mr. Royce Over 50%, yeah. Well, not into the top cut, I would just Yeah, say. yeah, over, 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 over 50 into the top cut. Right. Five, five oh, out of eight yesterday, so yeah. No, it's, five, yeah. Two, it's not <laughs> Let's keep it clean. Keep it Let's clean. get the cards out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but so. it, it's certainly interesting. We will try. There'll be a break after round five. Um, I'll look. I'll get the standings from Fabio, and then I'll go through the decks to see, you know, who's in the top eight at, at the halfway point. Um, and that 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 will be quite interesting to see. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping that there's still a prison player now on four and zero. Oh. 
and um, fingers crossed, there might be a prison player next. Yeah. So let's see. Let's see what we can get. Like I said, we always try and bring you the the games that are a little bit different. We'll try and avoid those mirrors where we can. And and, and obviously we'll, we might try and see about keeping KO a little bit away for the time being, considering it's come on twice now. But... Yeah, but the second KO, I promised Francesco to come up yeah, because yeah. there was a repairing. He was supposed to play Tom in the previous round, and there was a repair. Um, I went to check on him after the round to see if he still had a positive score, and he did. So I was like, right, let's get you up. It's just a case of, it, it's another KO. Um, but yeah, it's nice to see two high rolling KOs. It would be nice to get a Kano on if there's still one with a positive score yeah. um, at this point. We yeah. shall see. Yeah, there's seven of them out there. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Quite well be. Yeah. So station will be back with round five shortly, and then like I say, we'll pick up standings and everything after that. So stay with us. Yeah.
So Barry has promised and Barry has delivered. We have a Prism versus Lexi. So stay tuned for your round five. Seems good to go. Give it a shot. That's good. Huh? That's good. Just a couple more. And one. It's fine. You want to cut mine? No. Good luck, dude. No, good luck. I'm going Thanks, for it. What's your name? Jamie. Jamie. I'm Elias. Hello. Do I pour? Maybe uh, show me your equipment. Yeah. I will. There's going to be too many surprises here. Just put your card in my arsenal. I just read bulls, I haven't played it for a while. Uh, put your narrow in the margin. You may... It doesn't... Oh yeah, you just throw it. So you put it into your arsenal. Yeah, it's like an... Sure. It's like an extra... Extra ball. I'm gonna pitch two split out. Yeah. Mm. So, so, yeah, true, true, true. True, true, true. Two, two, three. Uh, so, and then? Okay, it's ready. Okay. Um, oh, <clears throat> uh, hold on. Um, how's this hand? I mean, yeah, I should probably just crack this. This. Awesome. Give you ideas, though. Yeah. Just make it a little bit easier for me. Um, then I would just um, use Voltaire twice. Choose not to. Can you? I mean, it's. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, yeah. It's just. Um, Surprise. Sure. If I have a. Uh, but I, have, I will choose not to put anything because I don't even have slots. Um. But, um I think so since it's May. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've actually yeah. didn't know if you could trigger it if you already have an arsenal. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um pass? Sure. Uh pick this to the bottom. Draw two. Counter. They wanna start rolling. Um flip this. The next attack can score again. Eight. Two over. And draw one. Okay. Um, continue. Uh, three of time. One more. Just gonna get my phone out for the end. Sure. I'm gonna draw two more. One more. Hmm. 
it is going to be like this. Yeah, there's, uh, there's that. Uh, <clears throat> you want to attack with it? Give plus one. Plus one. Two left. Uh, and I will fuse it. Lightning press. Mm -hmm. So if it hits, it will deal two from this and one extra from this. And it's a uh, six power. And it has go again from the clip. Yep, I'm going to declare. No blocks. Okay, reactions. Sure, so it doesn't hit. Continue my turn. I'm gonna add some this combat chain. That's it. That's it. I continue, I'll put this in motion. Give it plus one. Gets uh, go again. Uh, it's a five. Goes to your face, hits, reloads, and deals three more damage. Okay. Uh, so, how much is that? Five. So, blocking five. Mm -hmm. Here. Um, and how, much, how many cards do you have? One. Okay, um, save. Should we try to this And this was the first attack, because it has to. Don't really care. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna destroy that. Then. Um, I would have to destroy my race. Use this twice. Oh, sure. Break like this. This into my arsenal. Plus one. Oh, no, it doesn't. Yeah, sure. Yeah, just uh, break the. Kill this? Yeah. Sure. Um, yeah. Same. Yeah. Oh. And then I would arsenal and uh, pass to your turn. This one here. This one. I'm going to play haste banning. Yeah, just. Three cards. And then it's your turn. Um, yeah, sure. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. No. Uh, I'd, um, mm. Mm. Yeah, that's how it's gonna go. It's just uh, attack you with this. Four. I will take four. Sure. <sighs> then I would continue my turn. I would um. So, this into my arsenal. Uh, keep it go again. Two more left. Yeah. Attack you for two. No fuse. No fuse. Coming in for two. Um, I'm gonna put the scope up. Sure. Mm, I'll continue. Uh, with this one, I uh, give it go again. Attack your face for four. Hits, I get it back. Very not sure how much I care about that. Mm. Have one use in Walter. You've done it twice. Oh, you've got yeah, it's not a few. That's true. Mm. 
Smells like fries. Yeah, something smells good. Yeah, you're right. I think so. You're gonna hit something. Um, to your face. Hey, two. Sure. Um, just considering. Mm -hmm. How much is that? Seven. In total, seven. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, sure. Um, I will not be putting a card into my arsenal. I will draw three cards. And hit you with Sure. I'm not going to block. One. Then I will uh, put an arsenal and pass it. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure, sure. Um, but... Tunic up. Oh, interesting. You're gonna YOLO it. Um, plus one, plus one, and uh, punish and draw two. Okay. One, two. Okay. Um, sure. Sure, sure, sure. I'd be playing this. Back in your face. It's a five power right now. I think, yeah. No building. Right now. Blocks. Okay, as a reaction, I play two like uh, two lightning presses. It's only for how much? It's uh, five plus six, so eleven. And you cannot play uh, instants or defense reactions. So you can't play instant. Oh no. uh, yeah, sure. Take eleven. Yeah, sure. So you go to uh, five? You didn't. Yeah. I would be going to our side. Start turn, reveal the librarian. Yeah, just a second, let me go. Yeah, okay. I'm going to pitch to create the spectra shield. This is going to happen. That takes up the librarian, I get to draw a card. Yep.
Putting one by parable. Sure. Yeah, true, sure, true. Sure. Then I'll hit you four times. I'll take that. And, yeah. I think so. Cool. Um, then I'll pass. Yeah, no, that's fine for me. Um, you put a counter here. And you're ready. And I'll flip this over. Next attack and go again. Um, yeah. I'll pay for it with this. Cast it. So I have two more resources and draw a card. And I would use one of the resources to put this into my arsenal, give it plus one. Attack your face for five. Four. You have four power right now. Oh, yeah, four power, so it doesn't have to go again or the effect since it doesn't have the base. You have, and if it hits, it kills three more. What the three? Okay. Uh, reactions. Uh, play double rain razors. It's four coming more. Nine. No, it's coming for eight. Uh, it's uh, four more plus three if it hits. Yes, it's coming in for eight. Yeah. Yeah, eight power. No. I'm gonna. Move two reactions. Sync. Yep. I'll sync this. Yep. So, um, doesn't go through, right? No damage. Hmm. I wonder if I'm going to mistake here. Probably. It's fine. Um, Wait, what do you mean no damage? Uh, you're blocking, it's 8, you're blocking it's three, it takes so it prevents, so it, it's destroyed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure, it's good. Cool. Oh. So close, but so far. Maybe I'm gonna misplay there. Well, okay, okay. Is that a card in hand? Yeah, it's. It's in my hand. Drop three more. Mm -hmm. Uh, go ahead. I'm gonna play Timmons. Sure. Uh, last time. Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah, alright. All right. Mm -hmm. Anything? No, I'll play my turn now. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, well, seems interesting. I'll start with this, have this, uh, give it go again, attack, fuse. It's coming in four. four. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'll continue then. Um, use the resource, uh, give it plus one, and you have uh, five. Mm -hmm. You have five HP. Yeah. This one. Every time I attack it gains plus one. Something gains plus one. Uh, how many cards do you have in hand? Three. Three. Four. I don't have a quick one. I would still attack your face. It's uh, four power three. and uh, plus one from the turn. Oh, you went plus one. I'll block five. Sure. 
Yeah, I would move to Arsenal Pass. I'm going to declare an attack with Fifth Reality for two. Yeah. So you're coming two damage? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure, I would take two. And then I pass that. That's fine. Uh, taking up the tunic. Uh, I would flip this. Next attack against go again. I would play it uh, with uh, the electric bar. check for you. Sure. I draw. Mm. I'm gonna use the remaining resource to mm, give this uh, plus one. Plus one, yeah. Attack your face two, and uh, I'm fusing it so I can use Altair two more times this time. It's not coming up to it. Oh yeah, it's coming up to it because you put yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. It hits three more. Oh, I'm not two. Okay. I'll continue my turn. Um send my arsenal of this. Play it. You don't have to again. Uh yeah, I do from flipping this. Oh okay, sure, yeah, sure, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. I'm sorry if you didn't. Yeah, so what is this? Fusing, it's just gain score again. Yeah. So, plus yeah, one yeah. from, so it's just four, it's go three. again. It's three. Uh, plus one. Oh, plus one. Okay, then no blocks. go again from the fuse, sure. Yeah, no blocks. Um, single light. Sure, so it gives nothing. And I'll continue my turn. Um, uh, this, my arsenal, two left. Um, give it plus one again. So what's your face for uh, five. five? Yeah. How much no. is it before if it hits? It's three. Five. So if it deals two, one, two damage, you would die. Oh, that's rough. Um, So I can block three, I take two and I take three. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Congratulations to Elias for winning with his Lightning Lexi deck and we'll catch up with him in a minute.
Welcome back to Leeds Royal Armoury for our battle-hardened event for Flesh and Blood. I am joined by Elias. Fantastic win. Well done. Thank in Lexi. Yeah. That was... It Not took wait. a while. It took a while. Yeah. I was looking at your deck and you were about halfway through and it yeah. was like, how much... How many arrows have you yeah. got left? Yeah, and he, he said it correctly when he said that if he drew the right card, uh, he could have just won the game for himself. Yeah, I mean, so, he, he had a lot of auras, yeah. and it got to the point yeah. where the auras were a little bit out of yeah. hand, and you were just like, I've got to keep smashing out. Yeah, and I pretty much just did exactly that. So. Yeah, we thought you might have got a little bit unstuck when you double razor reined, and then he had the, he had the right block. Yeah. And, and, you, and you were like, ah, I might come mm. under, unstuck there. Yeah, it's kind of screwed over the turn, but he would have also probably died for the turn if he didn't have that, so... I don't blame you. Uh, no, actually, I made a mistake because um, if instead of doing that, uh, pitching the lightning search, yeah. I could have pitched the blue wrestle and I could have had one more attack and it would have been uh, would have been not much power, but if it would have hit, it would have been three more and I think that would have been enough. Yeah, because you always had yeah. the electrifying yeah. play, so yeah. you're blocking out to not hit, get exactly. that electrifying trigger. Exactly. But it's really nice to watch. We have a local, we have a UK player called George Jones. Mm -hmm. We've had him a couple of times, and he plays live in Lexington. Oh, nice. And when you play those snapshots, he normally plays Death Dealer with a oh, snapshot. Oh, okay, that's but the, that's the very really different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've not seen the Voltaire with yeah. it, and it was we were just like, how's, how's he got the third shot? Right, okay. Yeah. Snapshot fused allows the third shot with um, Voltaire. It was brilliant. So. You've come from Finland yeah. to play today. Mm -hmm. um, it's amazing that you've come over. So yeah. thank you for coming over. Ah, thanks. Um, how, yeah. how long have you been playing? Tales of Aria. Pardon? Tales of Aria. Okay, so not long. Did you, oh, did you play? Did, you, uh, did they have nationals over in Finland? Yeah, did you... I did top eight. Mm -hmm. And then in round of eight, uh, I uh, a pretty good Finnish player named Aira. Uh, just... Uh, Drew the best uh, possible order of cards on chain and just uh, in like 10 minutes. Okay. Have you always played Lex? Yeah. Uh -huh. It certainly shows. You were quite uh -huh. cool there. Just like, uh -huh. you know, quite quite measured on what you were doing. You, you didn't really get flustered. It yeah. was a pleasure to watch. Thank you, Thank you so Thank much. You. And I wish you all the best for the rest yeah. of it.
Hello and welcome to Tabletop 24. Thank you for joining us. I'm down here at Living Realm, so a bit different change of scenery for me. And thank you to Fabio for letting me in the building to do some coverage for other events down here and also some preparations for the, uh, the Nationals for Flesh and Blood. And I thought it'd be a really good idea to get hold of Fabio to go through how Flesh and Blood and Living Realm's relationship started and, and some bits about the community and everything down here. So, so Fabio, why Flesh and Blood, first of all? Why Flesh and Blood? Yeah. Um... Well, Flesh and Blood released it really close to us uh, opening the shop. So it, it was back in November 2020, I believe, um, was the release of um, Crucible of War. Um, we already had some boxes before from New Zealand. We ordered some boxes, me and Ryan, my business partner. Um, and we were completely in love with the, with the game and the way the, the mechanics of the game worked. And, and to be honest, the, my favorite hero is still the same, the warrior Dorintia from Welcome to Raid. And um, I can't just just tell enough good things about the game. Um, yeah, during the, the execution of the business plan to open Living Realms, we always had flesh and blood in the, in our minds, and we wanted to do something, a, a shop, and something that was about the experience, about playing great games. And we look at the core of flesh and blood, playing in the flesh and blood, uh, makes perfectly sense to be one of our most recognized games in the United Kingdom. Yeah. So obviously there's a, a lot of space down here at Living Realms and some nice space as well. Uh, hopefully you will catch that on one of our other videos throughout the stream um, or, or on, the, on our YouTube channel. But for, for Living Realms, this Nationals isn't the only event. You've done several armories, several casual events, but also you did the Road to Nationals as well. Yes. Um, so we run a more casual event on Tuesdays, uh, Forge of War. Um, it hit um, one or two weeks ago. Uh, we used to do just learn to play and, and a little bit more casual, but we felt like the community needed another day to play um, Blitz, Constructed, Draft. Um, we are also running our army Thursdays. Um, as it stands, it's still Saturday. We're going to change it to Thursdays. Um, we run, I think, I, I, I would like to think that we run a very successful road to nationals. Uh, we had the biggest in the UK. Um, we run in two floors. It was quite, quite insane, <laughs> uh, but but was successful. I think people enjoy it, and and we did all, the max we could to, to do it. Yeah, and we've been running Flesh and Blood since really the beginning in the United Kingdom. Uh, armories since day one. Um, trying to push the game was really hard in the beginning. Um, most people needed to be convinced um, that the game deserved some trust. Uh, but I think we passed the message and we were able to, to do it. Yeah, brilliant. So obviously that was, there's a lot on that organized play spectrum. And then, so why nationals then? So how did that come about? Uh, well, I'm not 100% I'm not sure how this <laughs> came to be reality. Uh, we put a lot of effort in the community. We support a lot of our local players and also um, nationwide. Uh, we try uh, for Flesh and Blood to be a, a balanced and healthy game community-wise. Uh, we run the, the Facebook group, I don't know if you know, uh, since, since the beginning we did the Facebook group and we tried to get, in, get the masses around Flesh and Blood in the United Kingdom. Um, and pretty much that's it, it was a, a, a brawl of, of things that happened. Um, we went from um, one season of the skirmish uh, to run, we run the first skirmish and then, no, actually, sorry, uh, we run the first skirmish online because we were in lockdown. Then season two, we managed to do it almost outside uh, restrictions. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to limit people, but still we were able. Uh, we did Road to Nationals. Uh, some of our locals and some of the players in the community reached out to me, told me that we should be the ones running the Nationals. Um, we should be the ones putting forwards. They, they also had the word, they know what they, who they are. They had the word with LSS also pushing us forwards. And that's it, we got the invitation and we told um, Legendary Story Studios, let's go. There's no way for us to say no to something like this. And we want to make the first European national, the biggest one, um, and kick the season well. So the other nationals go with the momentum. And we have an amazing professional scene in, in Europe for Flesh and Blood. Yeah. So obviously this video has been pre-recorded uh, before the Nationals event because um, Fabio is going to be extremely busy on the day yes. and I'll be behind the camera for most of it myself. So um, what are you hoping for the Nationals event? Um, just people having fun 
and enjoying themselves. Uh, it's a massive opportunity for them for, to experience a more complex uh, series of events on a professional level. Um, Brilli is going to be the biggest flesh and blood event in the UK uh, to date. I hope there's more big events to come everywhere in the country. Uh, but I just hope that all that energy from um, 100 people together playing the game uh, will we'll show the world and show everyone that Flesh and Blood is a, a game to stay and and just brings joy to people to play it. Yeah, yeah. So it's not just the Nationals at the weekend. You've you really been a bit of a glutton for punishment, aren't you? So <laughs> we've got the, the Battle Hardened on the yes. Friday. So that's the Blitz event. So how many players have we got down for that? Uh, so we're going to have Friday 64 players uh, playing Blitz. Um, then we go into Saturday with the national happening, 96 people invited. Um, we, alongside with that, is going to have um, fire drafts. So we're going to have drafts on demand if anyone wants to join us. Uh, there's a welcome event also going on in the, um, in the venue. We have enough space to, to have a, an open area to show what is flesh and blood. Actually, the banner is what is flesh and blood. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Um, we're going to have a dedicated person there helping out. Um, after that, we go into Sunday, it will be the heaviest day because we're going to run the ProQuest and there's a, a PTI and the Gold Skull Cup, Art Knights Gold Cup uh, in game, so yeah. people will get competitive about it. Yeah. And of course, the top 24 will be playing uh, an intricacy of draft constructed in the series of events. Um, yeah, it's going to be a full weekend, Friday to Sunday. Yeah, yeah, no, and it, I'm really looking forward to it. And it's, it's going to be nice to see some of the community. So obviously with the ProQuest on Sunday, um, we've also got the top 24, isn't it, for the, yes, for the Nationals. So same time. we'd probably expect a lot of the players that were playing on the Saturday that were unfortunate to make the cut probably going into that that ProQuest, as well as people that wasn't able to get in, get in for the top the top cut for either invites or for the top 96 on the leaderboard. So yeah. hopefully we're going to see some really good games over the weekend. Uh, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank Fabio for, for getting me involved. You're welcome. And, and hopefully we're going to produce some amazing content for uh, the weekend and we've got some things lined up for you. So with, with that, take care and we'll catch you next time. Cheers.
So those that are still with us, as you know, I don't go quiet without a reason. So we have been working on the standings and we will get them up to you shortly. So bear with us and we'll be back in five.
you. Hello and welcome back. Um, apologies a bit later than I planned. Um, we are looking at the standings. So, here are our standings after round five. Indeed, yeah. So we've got three players on five and oh. At the minute, yeah. And again, probably no surprise who those three players are. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice that we've had two out of the three yeah. up, up on stream already. Yeah. Um, so, uh, let's do a run through of who is playing what in the top eight. Yeah. So, Matthew Folks is playing Fissel, like he did yesterday. Jacob Hand is playing Ko. we saw him earlier. Tom Barnaby Pass is playing Ko. we saw him earlier. Isaac Murray is playing Viscerai, so no change from yesterday. Scott Mines is playing Lexi. Uh, Sebastian Gilbord is playing Briar. I do hope I said his surname right. Uh, Sharif Shaban is playing Viscerai. And James Thorgood is playing Kana. Okay, so, yeah, quite, quite a bit of a mix there. And obviously not this heavy at uh, the minute. Well, this is filling up. There's no Kasai. There's no Kasai yeah. in there, which, considering... You know, there's quite a lot of Kasai players. You know, one made it into the top eight yesterday. At the moment, at the halfway point, there is no Kasai player here. Um, so it'll be interesting to see when we get to round 10, where they are. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, I don't know, where. where's Jason? Where, where's Hamer? So Jason Hamer's 10th. Is he's, he running Kasai? No, he's playing prison. I tried to get him on earlier, <laughs> and then basically they had a conversation between Jason and Jamie, and Jamie went, yeah, I'll go. Yeah, we are. Uh, yeah, that was a good fact to, for Jamie on that one. So, yeah, so Jason being our top Kasai player yesterday, so you've got to imagine, obviously, that feels lacking a bit in the size, but still it was over, and I'm going to come back to this one, it was still over um 21 percent of the field yeah yeah so i'm surprised because like you say um we've got almost 100 players here today you'd have hoped to have seen even by the stack of the odds that you get at least one in there yeah, yeah. so Two, it maybe. looks like you know people have already found answers to kasai if we go back to the players quick so um if you look so we saw francesco earlier we know that ninth place francesco he's playing oldham jason hamer on 10th is playing prison Liam Holden on 11th. We saw him yesterday. He's still playing Visceral. So um, Elias uh, in 13th place. We've seen him. He's playing Lexi. Yeah. Um, so yeah, 16th place. Mike, who came runner up yesterday, he's playing Visceral. David Calf, I think he's playing Bravo. So yeah, it's, right. it's yeah, it'll be interesting. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm going to have a bit of a nose. Yeah, you and know. and obviously with a bit about this is some of these players now it's getting to crunch time because yeah, yeah. I think with the number of rounds that we've got, I think again we might be difficult to see an undefeated player. Obviously, Matt, I think Jake, we're looking and at Tom. nine and ones, aren't we? We're, yeah. looking, we're really looking at the nine and ones for getting in. Um, yeah, so if you, yeah, if you're in the four bracket at the minute, you can't you, you can't, can't drop you can't, no, can't lose a anything. single round now. So that's down to 17th place. You've still and, got a shot. I mean, have we got the chance of the eight and twos getting in? Maybe. I don't know. If pe people go on Google and they see the tournament triangle, they'll know, but I certainly don't do that. It's just no. like, no. no, no. So, look, congratulations to everybody today so far. Um, we have unfortunately had a few people drop um, throughout the rounds. Yeah. Um, it's a long day. People have been here over the weekend. So, um, I think there was good spirits in the room, which is great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everybody's cycling in after, after lunch. They're looking more refreshed. Five rounds playing, you know, okay, you're playing Blitz, it's only half an hour games, or if you're on Viscerai, you might as well play 10. Um, you know, some people are going to be more refreshed than others. Olden players are, going, you know, looking a bit more tired. Yeah. Unless, you, unless Francesco, you yeah. know, he's playing, a, he's playing a very aggressive deck. So, yeah. So, okay, you, we're about to kick off. You may, may hear some dulcet tones of our head judge, just as he's... Uh, trying to round up all the players for our uh, round six. So uh, we'll cut out there and we will be back with that as soon as we get the parents up. So come back, we'll be there. All yeah. right, cheers.
Okay, then coming up shortly, we will be having our uh, top table for the day with Viserai versus KO. It will be Tom Barnaby Pass, who we've seen previously on KO, and Matt Folks on Viserai. So stay tuned and we'll get that sorted for you soon. Thank you. All good? Yeah, so my Visor is here. Let me just make sure, let me just set out. Make sure I'm all good. I need to shuffle my deck as well. Yeah. One, two, two. Um. You know, the gamblers and I hope much and so that's an interesting setup. Okay. Interesting. I've only seen the skull pressures, but I can if I can OTK, I can OTK. Yeah, yeah. I respect that. It's it's to get the uh it's the nature of the format, yeah, I think. You need you need that level of you're not trying um, to can, like you wanna have the big ceiling, you know? Yeah. yeah that's fair. And you wanna make sure that when you do need to hit hard, you can hit hard. That's fair. Spot. I can respect that. You're here for a good time, not a long time. Yeah, exactly. As Ten a, rounds. As no matter what, it's gonna be a long time, so yeah. We've got to try all this. So I start on 19. Yep, and I start on 20. You are first, yep. Yeah, and you got one arcane lantern. That's all I need. Exactly. Anything other arcane stuff doesn't and seem I'll necessary, yeah. Because uh, rune chants explode one at a time, don't they? So it's separate instances. So I can yeah, yeah. One, one pitch can three, cover as many rune shots. Yeah, that's yeah. correct. All right, good luck, bud. Thank you very much. Best of luck. You go on ahead. Mm -hmm. Separate time. Oh, okay. Yeah. We make one additional. I think this per... is my dice box. Probably. I left it here yesterday. It is. I, I thought I'd lock that. Um, you dice and you gamblers. I just losing everything today. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so I've used this push the point. Card. I don't have any yet. But yeah. I'm going to play a become the Ark Knight. Yeah. Making two rune chants. Yep. And discarding this card. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I do. I think. Sorry, this is not my date watch. Yeah, but 
Thank you. And I will go for a Create three root champion token chip. Yeah, and then I will play it so I make uh four more. Six more. Yeah. Two from Viscera as well. Yeah. So I'll go up to six. I'm just gonna use this actual dice for the number on to be a bit clearer. Um then I will arsenal this card. It's your turn. Sure. Prime Evil Bellow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, middle one. Starts right the swing. Yep. Pitch two to play Bear Fangs. So Bear Fangs triggers first. Wait, uh. Bear Fangs doesn't trigger first, right? Does it KO trigger first? Yeah, KO should trigger first, okay, just so, to be clear. So, yeah, that's you fine. should be careful because, right. yeah. yeah. It, doesn't, could... it doesn't necessarily matter 100%, but, well, yeah, no, but well, you could it say does that you, turn you, order matters. By resolving yeah. that, you could go past the trigger, so, so just be careful. Yeah, Bear Fangs. So that doubles. So... So we read Bear Fangs? Yep. You have no. You have no cards. No, I'm done. Uh, so it's coming in for 12 at the moment. And then an extra four, so 16. So you're going to gamble, so, yep. Yep. Still double. Okay. Resolve. Um, yeah, yeah. Draw a card, discard a card. So it is a uh, 14, 18. No, 12, uh, 16. 12, 16. It hasn't got go again. Nope. Hmm. 14. I'll tell you when I'm done blocking that. Um, no attack actions. If but I have not. Oh, right. I'm not okay, looking. So. I'm just. I'll tell you when I'm finished blocking. Yeah, so. Um. Yeah, about like that. Yeah. Yeah. No attack action. So I take uh fourteen. Fourteen. I go to six. And then I pass the priority in this cluster discard. So I'm down to six. I think that's right. Yep. Now drop up. I'm just going to write it down as well to be clear. Yeah, it's all good. Six. Where my pen go? Yeah. So you're on 19, I'm on six, correct? Yeah. So you have eight rune trent to start the turn, yeah. Yeah. Skeletor. Sonata. Yep. So I get seven cards total, okay? Yep. Three, yeah. So, yeah, so these three are going to go to my hand. Uh, yep. These get shuffled back into my deck. And uh, I'll come in for three arcane damage. And what's up based off of the three? Oh, arcane. Sonata deals damage equal to the number of cards that is in my hand. You want to read it? Right, now it's fine. It's good. Okay. Uh, arcane barrier. Oh, All of it. you can, just to be clear. Oh, yes, yeah, so I'll have two floating. Yeah, it yeah. is one instance. You can take it back if you'd like. No, I'll still take two. 
Okay. Because this is still, I can still use this to deal with sure, the sure, sure. So we'll take two. There will be more rocking coming. Yeah. To absolutely sure. nobody's surprised yet. Um, so you'll go to 17. Yeah. Uh, these three will get added to my hand. So it's just to be clear, a red meat, a blue meat, and a... Yeah, that's stuff. fine. That's right. Good for that. Um, and I'm, yeah, just resolving that. So you are on 17. Yeah. Um, Bellblade Assault, make yep. three rune chants. Okay. It doesn't have go again. No. So it's eight rune chants first and four physical. So we'll... And its cost is reduced by the sceptre. So we'll pitch the five. So we block, block. five So yeah, chants. three so more arcane coming. I take the three arcane. Down to 14. Yep. And before. we throw the boots. So, yeah, so that, that, that that's on it. the chain. Yeah. Yeah. So you take two down to 12. Yep. And then in the chain link resolution step, I will pitch three to activate spellbound creepers. And then I will play a Revel. So, sorry, what, what does this do? So this lets me play my next non-attack action at instant speed. Yeah, but that has go again, so you're able to do it. So, so yeah, when I play the non-attack at instant yeah. speed, I will generate an action point. Yeah. So I will, it's kind yeah, of like, I, totally I, I, fine. yeah, I'm back to having an action point. So Revel, so Viscerai trigger to four. Yeah. Um, and then Revel, and then Revel resolves go to eight. Mm-hmm. Two floating. Um, so the chain is technically not broken still. Yeah. Um, eight room tramps out of that. It up. So I'll pay one to play meet and greet blue. Uh, has go again, yeah. Has go again because I've dealt arcane damage. Uh, generate one rune chant, eight rune chants coming first. Two go again, on hit, create a rune chant. Yep. Um, on hit, create a rune chant. Yep. This is ridiculous. Yes. Um, and... We'll block four of the arcane. Yeah. We immediately take four. So you take four down to eight. And then we take the two. Take the two, I generate another rune chant. Um, Did I go down? You should be on six. Yeah. yeah. Then I will meet and greet, make another rune chant. That's stupid. Yes. I would, it's not as well, it's not stupid because I can do the same thing with just two cards. Congratulations to Matthew Folks winning with Viserai. We will catch up with him in a minute. Stay tuned.
you know. Hi, welcome back to Leeds Royal Armoury, and I am joined by Matthew Folks. Pleasure awesome to see win. you again, Barry. Oh my God, that was a hell of a turn that Tom pulled off. 16 damage with yep. their fangs. Wall card like... 16 damage on the first turn. Like, pretty okay. good, yeah, pretty good. I've, I've actually seen better though, which is uh, what I then proceeded to uh, to show him the next turn. It was uh, that was basically my deck doing the exact thing it wants to do two turns in a row. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you spend. I notice now when you get to the top players, they don't really attack on turn one. They don't. They want to leave you with whatever you drew. Yeah, that's a big give you a free yeah. mulligan. And you generate a room chance, and yeah. you're just like, I am set up. You know, and then you pulled that scenario, and it was just like, okay, we're, you know, we're on it. Yeah, like the, the best thing I can do is Mordred. Basically, the best thing I can do is Mordred become Sonata, which is what I had. Uh, I asked him to spell Blade Strike, which is, you know, it's not the ideal part to have in hand. I went asked him, I'd rather have an attack with go again, but yeah. it, I'll take it. I'll take it, you know. Point. I'll take my eight rune chance because it means if ever I, if I draw a rattle bones or a uh a become the arc knight or a sonata then functionally the game often ends on the spot you know so like the only thing at that point i was worried was that like i know his deck can do some silly things oh, well, he did a silly yeah he did a pretty time. he had a big turn like you know he, he i had the gamblers they didn't do so much, but you know, like, <laughs> but that's what they're there for. Yeah. Just to go we'll, they, to we'll give you a shot, a turn, yeah. to give you an out to them doing their nuts thing. Um, and at that point, I knew you know I had the absolute nuts, and uh, yeah, I got nice and fortunate to draw two go again attacks off my Sonata, which was again ideal. I uh, I think I calculated at the end I did thirty eight damage on that second turn. <laughs> it's not bad, is it? It's all right. Yeah, yeah. I'll take those. If I can do that every game. <laughs> I will take it, you know. Um, I think my my build is a little bit different to other people's. Yeah. I think a lot of people aren't their lists aren't quite as built to build as many rune shots on the first turn. Um, like most people should have the read the runes, but I have a few different cards in my deck that. Uh, do you do you find that that helps in the mirror? That's, I mean, because it can be whoever whoever can go off hardest with this right? I mean, we saw. You know the top four yesterday. Yeah, against Jamie, Jamie. Jamie just managed to get the upper hand. Well, yeah. I mean, you were smashing it to be fair, but then you used your quill hand, so you didn't have the arcane yeah, barrier. Exactly, and exactly. Him to come back. You. I thought I was. I thought I was going to win the game yesterday, honestly, against Jamie. Um, but I was very aware. That I, you know, I wasn't certain, and I'm very aware of the fact that if you don't have Skeletor or quill hand, like. You just can draw brick hands where your cards are unwieldy and you don't have the pieces to smooth out what could be an otherwise awkward hand, which is what I ended up having on my last turn where the best thing I could do was attack the, the seven, I think it was, and no rune chance, or three rune chance maybe, but it wasn't enough and he just murdered me on the way back. And um, it's. Do you feel that only having one arcane barrier in the mirror is detrimental, especially when it's on what? It's a, point, hand. Well, it's a point of contention. It's a point of contention, Barry. Like, because I really like my spellbound creepers. I think yeah, yeah. they open up a lot. And in that, in that, uh, in that last turn, uh, in that last thing we saw, they opened up the um, being able to play the free spellblade assault yeah. first for free, and then gaining the go again, um, and, and generating through revel. Yeah, in bring blood to generate all that extra. Yeah, room, and like, room charts. I found that, like, just having the Spellblade Assault, like, you don't win the Viserai Mirror by blocking our game. At least I don't think that, that's how you win it. Right. You win it by, by sending it, you know? This is a bit of a silly format, you know? You see, <laughs> and, and, and I'm, not here to, I'm not here to try and stop my opponent. I'm here to do what I want to do, you know? Yeah, yeah. Play to win. Exactly. Like, I think, like, Viserai's output on its good turns is so efficient and powerful that, like, if you're just pitching three to block three, you're so far behind on that exchange that like it starts to just look silly. So you you have to just be set up to do the best thing that you can do and hope that your good thing is good enough. I think. Um, so I'm I'm not wild on playing the second piece of null rune, but you know there's other opinions. That's just my experience. Maybe other people, you know, Jamie ended up winning the event, so he could very well be right. Um, you know, all you can do is take your own limited subjective experience and run with it the best you can. So. Yeah, exactly. 
But what, you know, however it played out, you you've got to get through you know quite a few beast mirrors for the tour later. Well, I've played two so far, and I foresee quite a few more coming. Yeah, I know. Uh, I've been playing this way. Uh, my list. I've been playing this way in Blitz for uh, I think there's 14. Someone told me. Yeah. <laughs> I've been playing Viscerai for a while now, there. and I've been trying to, I've been sat on my hands trying not to, like hoping that other people wouldn't work it out, but I think... The cat's out of the bag. Yesterday the cat was out of the bag, whether I played it or not, yesterday the cat would have been out of the bag, you know, we saw five in the top eight. Um, and but it's we... not like I don't think it's some like big super secret or something, I think, you know, Viscerai is really good at doing 20, 25 damage w with all of his equipment. Yeah. So that what... sounds pretty good in Blitz. It seems, seems that um, Jamie switched to prison. And it seems that a lot of people from London, there seems to be the playgroup from London, are all playing prison. Do you think that's the counter to this Viscerai list? I think... Sorry, uh, sorry to interrupt. No, no, that's good. Um, I think we might have seen a bit of PsyOps by Jamie there. I, I, I think it might not be the answer, but Jamie is playing it because he wanted to have a good time. And I think he might have managed to... Uh, Talk all of his London... He might have managed to rope him. a few people in with him. <laughs> I don't think it's a bad deck. I'm not saying it's a bad deck. I think... Um... Well, Jason was in 10th and he's running it. So he's on the cusp of getting in. Yeah, yeah. No, I, don't, I don't think it's a bad, I think it's a bad deck. I think, I think it's a solid deck, but it... And, like, the Heralds are actually a lot more threatening in, uh, in Blitz because yeah. you can't sideboard in extra sixes. They just... They do oh, what they yeah, do. Oh, yeah, totally. And, you know, in a lot of matchups, people can just be cold called to an erudition uh herald of erudition like you're just like well i don't actually have armor so well you even this one probably this one can two be, sixes. Yeah. well you know yeah got, now. two amplifiers and that's and one knife blade and you know yeah some people don't even have the knife blade so without giving away what's in your deck yeah i don't mind it's <laughs> they're viscerai cards you know you see me playing <laughs> yeah, indeed. Um, well. It's lovely having you on. I it's always love it. A oh, really I'm, good chat with I'm you. I'm always happy to be back. You're looking extra sharp today as well, oh, Barry. I, I, I better say. put something on. We're on Battle Hard today. It's not there you go. skirmish anymore. Exactly. But even, you know what I mean? You're not wearing a magic shirt anymore. You, you know, you're wearing the good stuff. Yeah, there you you're go. You're not wearing shoes that have got holes in. Why do you, why do you have to out me like this? They can't what? see my shoes. Every, everybody knows. Everybody knows. Matt well, they know. I look like a homeless shoe. person. Wow, this is really... You're doing <laughs> wonders for my reputation. He's a homeless man. But no, you're settling into being the UK champ. You know what I mean? You're being more comfortable in the game. You're being, you're, I think you're being more respected. You're trying to break, you know, everything of the past. And you are playing so cleanly. And I, you need that to break this. I'm just trying to play the best version. But I, 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 at all points, have just wanted to play the best version that I can play. And that's what I'm still trying to do, you know? Yeah. Like, I, I hope I can play as clean as I can on camera. Everyone, you know, everyone will mistakes, make mistakes sometimes. That's still going to happen to me. I hope I can, you know, keep those to a minimum as much as I can. I, I do try and take extra care and have spent a lot of time trying to work on my technical play. And you don't do take backs at all. We, we even saw that yesterday when you didn't do it, you didn't make a rune chart and then your opponent went, you should have made one there. And you're like, no, I didn't no, make yeah, it. So like, I forgot it. You, you take it on the chin and just go, I'll learn from that mistake. Yeah, like, because, you know, I, you know, and as people would have seen at Nationals, I, I, I don't want my opponents to make a take back. And so I would... Hold, hold I would, I, yeah, I make sure to hold myself. Like even if it's only just missed, or maybe I could say I don't, I don't want it. It's gone. I'll accept that because you know. Yeah. It, then I'd hope my opponents would also play, expect to play by the same rules, and that's that's how I'd like to play the game. You know, where we hold ourselves to our mistakes, and we, you know, we try to play, uh, you know, the best best game of flesh and blood we can. Yeah, and, yeah, totally. and honestly, I just hope that those things don't happen for either player at any point. Yeah. I just want to play good clean game of flesh and blood. You know. But, but saying that i mean since you know going forward since nats like the skill level now oh it's other world, yeah completely different game yeah yeah so and, many and so many good players through progress the games that you know alan and i have streamed yeah like the you know everybody took the mick out of the uk not, not, yeah you know it was bad but we've seen no the progress season i think what we saw in the progress season was because there's just so many tournaments back to back and it gives people a time to really hammer the, hammer out like the improvement yeah yeah like competing at the higher level will you know beat the improvement into you you know and, and, I, think, I, and i've think seen like so many people are just much much better than they were in national yeah and the, and the rewards of getting into into the pro tour people know that they yeah. need to step up and i think you know we are stepping up yeah i'm glad know. to see it's great it's great and these i mean these events are really showing what we can do yeah. thank you so much yeah thank you very much barry it's yeah. a pleasure to see you
Okay, then players are getting ready just for round seven, I believe. Uh, we do have David Carf on uh, Bravo and Seb Glad on Briar. So Seb running the same deck from yesterday. So it'll be interesting to see how he can pull out a win. Stay tuned and we'll get you soon. Right, apparently we're on the uh, stream now, so... All right. Gotta make sure to pitch properly. <laughs> make sure your cards In case I look right for way. my second cycle of Briar. <laughs> the second... the, what is the rule on that currently? Like how, if you accidentally put one card the wrong way, or one thingy the wrong way, like how... Is it just a straight up DQ? If it's a proven accident? Yeah, sure. I know, I don't plan to. I don't plan to. I'll tell you, I'd, I'd hate to lose to that. I'd hate to win to that. Game loss, okay. Well, I mean, there's only one game, so. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a way to never make a mistake like that. You just don't pitch. <laughs> 2d6? Yes. Are they d6? Oh, five. Okay, they're all the same number. Excellent. Yes. You can, I can, yeah. Six. I will... Um... We start. We don't want to dominate turn one. That'd be bad. You're starting, yeah? Yes. Excellent. Start your time in there, guys, all right? Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Thanks for that. Thank you. 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 Didn't forget my gnawing boots on, which is nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> you have to pay for that, no? Rough. Oh, it's going to be tough. Um, I have... So that's... Uh, then... Yeah, you're gonna be fine with that, are you? Hmm. Let's try it, just to see what happens. Okay. Let's try things out here. Um... Plunder run. Wait, that's banned. Get in. <laughs> uh, into ravenous rubble. In the Take reveal. Uh, Ooh, I gotta be careful there. Uh, I wouldn't know. No. Uh, exude confidence. I attack you for four with go again. If it hits, I draw a card. What five? Yes. Uh, I do not attack react. Nah. No defense react. Makes sense. Uh... Yep. Captain's call. Sure thing, bud. Um, choosing plus two, making an embodiment of uh, the lightning. Arcane crackle. For five. Go again. Deal one arcane damage. If it hits, you're going to draw a card, is that correct? Yes. <clears throat> it's just five, yeah? It is just five. Um, it's going to be one arcane coming in, so I'd like to take the one arcane if that's okay. Understandable. Um, I create an embodiment of Earth because I keep forgetting to make those. Oh, that's fine. So I would like to see block five. Uh, I will not attack React. I will make a sigil of solace. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I will not respond to that. Oops. Cool. Um, we good to go? Draw back? Yeah, to this. Oh, wait. Yes. Did you do that? I did not touch anything. So you're on 22, right? Yes, 22. I'll do it. Yeah. Oh my god. 
Very young. That's too much. Yeah, there's a little latency there. Oh, yeah, there is, apparently. Okay, we're good, yeah. But where am I? I draw four. Alan can take over. All right. all right, we're all good, yes. It's now my turn. It is. You are four in hand. Okay. It's all red. <laughs> it's all blue. The belter of a hand. What does that mean? Good. Oh, no. I really don't. What does it mean, a belter or something? Terrorism. Okay. Fresh confidence. Eight. Dominate. You lose your text box if it deals four, and then if it hits any amount, you lose two cards. Can't have that. That's a filthy turn. Uh, um, hmm. Yep, can't have that. Yeah, no. Uh, blocking all of it. Five, Eight. Six. Nine, actually. Uh, you're at lower life, yes. You are at lower life, so... It's a bit... Wait, wait, so that's that's six. Yep. Uh, and this brings it up to nine. nine Do I... Yeah, I need you to. Can, can, uh, if I get... If I remove that, it's... Yeah, it's six. I get bonked. No, it can't be done. Yeah, you don't want to get bonked. <laughs> uh, okay, so... No attack react? Uh, I'm empty ambient, man. I understood. Uh, but... Excellent. Counter. Let's Can't do it again, though. No. Let's get rid of that armor, shall we? Oh, no. Nice and easy. I miss Bravo already. Stupid, sexy Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> Am I just wrecking myself now? Another belt over hand, I'm in deep shit. I will deal. I will. Ah, can it crackle? Free attack, deal one arcane damage. Hmm. I'll take one. Uh, you take the one? Understood? Yep. Uh, what about the three? I'm going to say no blocks, <clears throat> sir. You're going to say no blocks? Yeah, I think you might attempt to give it go again. No. No, okay. You good? Thank yep. you. Arsenal pass? Sure thing. Uh, I don't know what to do against Bravo. I finished my turn by drawing. That's okay with you? That's fine, but go for it. Over to you. Okie dokie. So, yeah. I'm going to start my turn by making a seismic surge token. As we do. So I have two flight currently. Yep. As to f yeah, could be anything. Could be anything. Could even be a boat. And then it's going to come in for six, mate. Yes, I will not block. Okay. Any reaction? No reaction from me? Any reaction from you? No reaction from me. 14. Yep. And that is, and I would like to go to the end of my turn. I would like to allow this. Where I show you the perfect number for 14. That's, that's tough. They do that. <clears throat> so now we have four seismic surge tokens. And then I will... Pitch throws it in, and then we draw one, two, three, four, and all your turn, bro. I wish start my turn with a thunder run from Arsenal. So sure, that's pretty good. That's what I stopped my turn early. I thought you just block it. Yeah. Um, Makes sense. Now there's a little, a little broken card. Well, no, just a little conundrum. Um, we're gonna go with an exude confidence, mm -hmm. which is now seven. 
So you know how it goes with the exit confidence? Uh, yeah, so it's a weird you negative thing. Play it. So you, what's, how's this work? you can react with an instant to it if you'd like. I can. Yeah, I would. It has I'd not like to have a think. Yes. So you can just put it down. And we'll just, I'll have a think. I'm gonna set fast. This is the source. Uh, block six or seven? It's just it's just currently six. It is just so currently. Now six. may start the rest of your your exude. So exude confidence comes. Yep. You cannot now uh, play instance. Yep. It's coming in for set. Was currently coming in for seven. So now it I is can... coming in for seven. Um. So it is blocking phase. Okay. So let me have a look. <clears throat> No block. You are not blocking. I will add an attack reaction, I will give it go again. Sure thing, Do you defend react? No defense reaction. No defense yes, reaction. Not allowed. That is true. Uh, I will then draw, deal one damage to you and draw a card if that's okay. Yeah. Um, we're going to follow up with an enlightened strike and I will just go ahead and choose plus two so it's stacking for seven just seven. an honest seven an honest man's seven I'm gonna do a nice anime punch on the next hand I think yes um, I'm doing it before you then. I'm trying just to I'm trying as I can. No blocks. Okay. Oh yeah, true. We do only have. Um, I forgot about the whole twenty life. <laughs> um, seven. I will lightning press on it. And sure. can I play as a response to this again? Yes. Lightning press on it again. So that's thirteen. It is thirteen. And I go to four. At least I brought you down. Yep. Uh, yep that's a good. Oh, I did not see that coming uh, 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 a mile uh, off. Whip. It's gonna get bad. Did not see that coming. Oh boy. Could have been bad, but uh, you have life. You that 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 sigil, my god, my, that sigil turn one. Yes, it is happened. Oh yes, that was four. It is not dominated though. No, it doesn't need to be. <laughs> then you bought me one card from hand and you still survive, but now you have a choice whether you want to. That is true. That is true. That is true. Wow. So let's say that I block two of those. Yeah. If I did, and I'm not done blocking. That's fine. Minus four, right? Yeah. Um. Oh, do that just because not sure what else to do so if i only block two i will go to 12 correct you only block two you'll take 12 not go to 12. oh it's me you go to two <laughs> go to two go to two the other way um you know sometimes just gotta take it um yeah let's go to two all right effect yep that's a mean one Yeah, I'm trying. Keep pressing. We're nearly there. That was a fun match, at least. I'm definitely playing Bravo. Um, again. Cool, this has disappeared. This is, that is rough. Cool. Yeah, I have no choice then. Plunder run. Into nimblism, sure. creating an embodiment of lightning. Sure thing, bud. Um, with this embodiment of lightning, I will play Swarming Gloom Veil. Since I have created an aura this turn, yeah, against go again. So it's six, go again. If it hits, but two again. Yes, minus two. 
a, a very difficult to so, go again if it hits the draw card. Coming in for six, correct? Yes. Six with double go again. The rule, true, true, true. How do I defeat double go again? <laughs> oh, yep. Nothing. Panic. Little, little misty mistake. Six with double go again. Did I do a mistake? Yes. I'm just thinking if that's okay. Please. Lock seven. Yeah, no attack react? No defense react. Wait, lock seven? Okay. Yes. Yeah, uh, but it was, it, no, it was two go again. Two go again? Yeah. Uh, the old uh, heave, uh, the old pulverize. Yep. Oh. Sorry, I thought you confirmed it was seven go again. Um, but yeah. Uh, I mean, it is minus four. Sorry. Uh, um, I thought I said it first. Uh, eh. Is there any way we can? Re is there like a rewind situation on this? We said it was six, and then you said, "Well, yeah," and I said, "Yeah." Then obviously it Yeah. And then obviously proceeded to sign block and then at the end of it, sign block was Yeah. So. It is a base, well, yeah, it's not base six. Um, obviously you, you have assigned your block. Yeah. Give a second, guys. I'm sorry, I, I thought there was a first back and forth saying that. So, no, no, I, I, I asked in my head because I've been trying to figure out whether I can block enough to, to not take any damage, so you don't draw. Uh, so when I said six go again, I just sorry. I thought, yeah, we must have just missed some communication. That's oh, right. I'd be interested to no, no yeah. problem. There's uh, we're all good. I'd be interested because I thought I did say two effectively, but it's okay. But I was not on purpose. I'm not sure it's going to save me, to be honest. No, it's not. Don't worry, dude. It's fine. I'll sort it. <laughs> If they, if they side that way, they side that way, it's fine. It's not on you. I think you've got it. Um, um... Just calm, calm down, calm down. It's fine. This is how, this is how we play it. Look, look. Absolutely. It's fine. Just chill. There's a miscommunication, and we're all good. I just really don't want to die to something. That double lightning press has put me on edge. <laughs> oh, no. It's not happening. You're not losing to lightning press. It's not happening. I can't. Not the red one. But I didn't see that coming. I should have blocked with my arm before. <laughs> And soaked it up so I could reuse it again in the turn after. I think you're gonna bonk me next time. It's I'm okay. gonna attempt to. <laughs> but we'll see. If this card can come back, it'll be an easy uh, an easier bonk. But... I don't I think it's kind of an easy rewind. I don't know if it changes anything. Uh the question is how much is rewind? Right, guys. So this one is complicated. Uh -huh. and we're gonna get in some minutiae around LSS's interpretation of trigger defense. When you played the pulp. Yeah. What did you say? Uh, so I attacked you for 14 and then I said um, on hit effect. Yes, you and did on hit effect. And I was aware of that. that he yes. It. yes. So the trigger has been yeah. appropriated. Correct. So this therefore should have been reduced by the attack value. So you then declare. What value? So I played this, then that, and played Swarmling Gold saying, but it's effectively two. Uh, so and you I don't know whether you said six or two. I did not say six. Okay. And what do you well, think? Well, yeah. Said? Uh, I, yeah. I think you said six, because I said, right. how big is it? Six, and I can understand I said, the confusion. I thought I said it would be six, um, but because of heave, it becomes two. And actually, it's it's not, yeah, it's six, yeah, two, yeah, correct. Okay. So you didn't so here's the trouble with this. Yeah. If it is, um, one sec. No. Two. That's what I thought I did. However, except it gets So it's a bit of some confusion. It gets even more complex. This is what we call a nightmare. And so, <laughs> yeah, so thankfully our, uh, our 
help the person running the stream can confirm, as you said, six, actually that's two because of the whole price. But then later you then said, coming in for six. I think it's because I kept asking because I was just making sure I don't take a crap ton of I said coming in for six, shit. Uh, I would take that back. Yeah, so uh, no, what, what I'm going to do effectively is say that this is an invalid game state to sure. wind back to the point of last legality, i.e. when it was misdeclared. Yeah, fair enough. At which point it's then declared to two and you get to three Okay. So this is coming to two, taking stuff back. So I, this is not taken back? No, this is not taken back. That's play. Coming in for two, defences with him, and it's played for death. Thank you. Thank you. It's alright, let's do it quick. Right, block for four. I will not attack React. Okay. Boom. Yep. Uh, overload for three dominate. <laughs> it hits a roll card. I should have played the overload here. Yeah, sure. silly. That's why I said I made a mistake early. I still two dominates. It would have been two dominates. So I he doesn't have go again. He right? does not have does, go again. If it hits, it has go again. Yes. Oh, that is true. Oh shit. Oh no. <laughs> I don't want to miss. Mm -hmm. And I draw cards as consume. well. Yeah. Okay. So on the next turn, what can I do? Sorry about that. Uh, I want to come in at a step. It's fine. Okay, so I'm going to block three. Uh, I will not attack React. Sorry. Oh, you yeah. have not done blocking? That is fine, yeah. So, that. Sorry, yeah. Not done blocking? Yep. Don't attack yep. react. Mm -hmm. Don't defense react. We we'll take it all. Yep. Cool. Um, there was no hit. Well, I, I forgot it anyway. What's that? There was no hit previous turn anyway. Yeah. I, I didn't forget this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Told you I'm not a big competitive player. Yeah. I'd like to see you after six games. <laughs> I've had incredible opponents. Man, play a 50 round GP. Good boy. Uh, you know you're a stuffer. Skull cap still online, so get rid of the skull cap. Seven. One card in hand? One card in hand. Nothing floating? Nothing floating. Well, I can't be... yeah. Okay. Seven. So, I will definitely block this. Makes sense. It is now six. I need five more blocks. Is that correct? But you don't have... well... No. Well, if you don't want to take any damage, uh, it depends what you're asking me, I guess. Yeah, no, don't worry. I shouldn't ask you. To turn off the crush. There's you need six more damage. Three. So I need to block more than four to not yeah. die. Yeah, just yeah. The trick is to not die here. Yikes! <laughs> <laughs> if you want to turn off the crush, that's a different question. Because <laughs> you could die and have no crush activated. I had still, I'm still Briar, at least. Mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna be a snatch. Sure thing, but that's three. And I'm going to wait for any attack action. Uh, attack reaction. Nothing. It's going to be Sigil of Suffering. Trying to deal one damage to you, which I, uh, I'm afraid is not going to go through. One Arcane. Yeah, I'll take one Arcane. Oh, okay. So it's now blocking three. six. Out of the seven, and this block seven, I block it all. Six, seven, yep, correct. Yep. Uh, um, is... uh, I will Arsenal, and then I will pass. Interesting, that must be something good. Uh, good. Um, b -b 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 we have much? I don't think so. Snatch! Savior of the universe. I don't know that reference. He liked it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that matters. 
Uh, yes, four if it hits the rock up. <clears throat> Block four. Uh, no attack reaction. Nothing from me. Uh, I will arsenal and I will personal. Oh, true that. That is this one. Thank you very much. Oh no, I'm making all the mistakes now. I played really well the first time. Okay, I think I just have to go for it. So yep. let's go for it. Let's make a seismic. Activate Bravo. So do it. No pitch. And then crush the weak for five dominated. I am weak and I am crushed. I'm done, man. This was my card. <laughs> yeah, that's, it was not happening. I was, yeah. No. A tough game there for everybody. I think it was uh, a lot of back and forth, and obviously, potentially there was a bit that the uh, the judge call may potentially be, took a little bit of time to resolve. And um, we got the winner in the end. David pulled out the victory, and Barry will try and get hold of him shortly. Stay tuned. When do we go? Oh, here, now. Uh, hi, welcome back to Leeds Royal Armoury for the Living Realms Battle Hardened event. I'm joined by David Carp. We'll just see him win with Bravo. Well done. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Cheers. Round seven, it's getting a bit It's getting a bit tense. Um, we saw that in a little bit of miscommunication there um, with the heave um, yeah. trigger. Um, yeah, it happens. Yeah, it happens. You, get, you start getting nervous. It's winning in. Yeah. It, was, it was checked, it was said, and then... You know, it was just was a, and then, clear communication yeah. issue between the two players. I forgot. Just try not to die, I guess, is the, the chicken. He's you know trying to... And his confusion showed when I said block six. His confusion of like, but it's only two. So it showed there was just miscommunication, which yeah. got solved. Quite right. Yeah, all the judges had a bit of a, a, a forget-together and it went through. So how, how are you finding Bravo in Blitz? Because you transitioned from Magic not too long ago. How? Let's go and say about that. How... How have you felt the tradition from magic into into flesh and blood? Uh, 
for an honest opinion, uh, I think this game allows for you to play more games or at least have the illusion that you're playing more games whereas magic has some uh, resource issues so the transition for me has just been um trying to learn the cards uh, yeah. mainly so if anybody's looking to get in it from magic the trick isn't going to be like playing the game as such it's more learning what cards exist and what they can do because there's a lot tighter i feel like there's a lot tighter margins in these games yeah as you saw there we were both very low and it yeah. was just um making sure those margins for error uh, wiped out whereas in magic sometimes you can just lose because you don't have mana for example so it's it's nice in one way but it's harder on the other because it takes a long time to get used to the game and and the cards that are played in the decks oh. and and have you found today with bravo in particular against i mean there's a heck of a lot of this right here today so. yeah so i was planning to play um ira in the weeks leading up um and then we saw the results from yesterday's skirmish. So I was torn between a new Brava list I'd come up with, which I felt um, was very... Spinal Crush is, is probably the best card in the format um, in terms of, like, coming from a big deck. So if you're playing something like an Oldium or a Brava, your, your best card against most of the field is, is Spinal Crush. And there's only 20 life per side. And if you can just come in for a dominated attack every single turn, your opponent will eventually just die because eventually they run out of armor and they only have 20 life, so they can only cushion so much. But um, I see also you're running Crush Confidence. I don't normally see that run. That's... But Crush Confidence is quite good. I mean, you were turning off, you know, you had the ability to turn off Briar. It can turn off Viscerai's That's the tech, generation. Yeah. It's uh, Viscerai was, I say, there's 10 people yesterday, five of them convert to top eight. Uh, if you hit them with a Crush of Confidence, it just turns off their entire turn. It's almost as good as a Spinal Crush in that matchup. Yeah. Um, I mean, they can come in with some attacks and they can do some damage, but they're not generating that free value. And then if they want to stop you from doing it, they have to commit at least two cards if you dominate, or armor. And the way you win with Bravo is you get rid of their armor, as we saw there, and then you just close the game with attacks afterwards, big attacks. So, it's I wish you all the very best of luck. It's two rounds. How many, how many rounds have we got left? Three rounds left. Three rounds left, yeah. It's getting, it's so, getting tight. All the yes, best. Thank you, both. We might see Cheers. you soon. Fingers crossed. Cheers, David. Thank Cheers. you. Thank you.
Okay, then our players are just getting ready uh, round in for round eight. We will have David back on Bravo, but we do have Sharif Shaban on Viscero. So stay tuned and we'll get the players ready soon. Even better, he's going first, you sure? I mean, if you have Towering Titan in your deck, I don't want you to go turn one Tower Titan. God, if only I had Towering Titan. What a dream. So I'm, you... se I'm serious here, my friend. There's no, ta there's no Towering Titans to sigh at in my deck. <laughs> so round one, bravo. What about the next few rounds? Oh, I've also destroyed three Rangers on the way up here, so... But they've all been... We all went to one life in all of the games against Ranger. So they were closer than I wanted. And I just beat Briar. Nice. And I beat a Kasai. Very nice. I actually quite like that match. Uh, it's just sorry. like Viscerite, but with extra steps. They're standing on equipment here. They all died to Spinal Crush. <laughs> yeah, no, that is the issue, isn't it? They all died uh, to Spinal Crush. The Spinal is nine. Uh, four. If you didn't think I was playing Spinal, there's no respect, is there? <laughs> no, no, no. I know you're playing Spinal. I'm just figuring out if I need armor God, and how did, helpful is imagine it. Imagine at the end of the game, I'm like, I didn't have Spinal all along, I just tricked you. And then you're just like the super aggro Bravo with Scar for Scars, all that Get stuff. Get him, kill him. Bellis, Zealous Belting, whatever that card is called. That card's fantastic, but not in this format. <laughs> Uh, do you play Bravo in CC or is it just for I play? did for the first two. I'm sorry. I only started playing after Nationals. Mm -hmm. I'd never played a game of CC until I went to my first Pro Quest. Okay. Just like the odd testing game. <laughs> Bravo felt good into Starvo. Yep. But then it turns out after two events, it was good enough, but not by enough that it was worth it. Mm -hmm. So I then in a week, I learned Prism and played Prism. How did it and go? then I went three and one. And then I lost to Katsu. And then I lost to Rhino. Ah, that's, that's rough. Yeah, I'm mean, the only Rhino player in the room in the last round. I was going to say, like, there can't have been that many Katsus. Yeah, I started off 3-1. I beat Stravo. I lost to a Stravo who had only tested against Prism. Because <laughs> that's, like, the smart thing to do, yeah. right? That's all you need, right? I and guess I... everyone else was just going crazy. I mean, on the Monday, I had no idea what any of the cards in the Prism deck did. So I was I'm glad enough I went 3-1. <laughs> uh... Those cards all look the same, and they all read the same. <laughs> Sorry, just... I'm just going to start your time now. Yep. Cool. Good luck. Cheers. Best of luck. You too, bud. Just give you a quick cut. Yep. I'm going to reveal my equipment in a second. I am playing what you would expect, except maybe Grasp over Vexing. Mm, yeah. Uh, that's in case I can block any type of spinal shenanigans. This is when I like to play over something that seems correct. No, we're all good. Okay. And you're going first, good sir. Yes, we do have me going first. I assume that you have rune chant tokens as well, yeah? I do. Good. I'm not playing one of those games where someone doesn't present a token. <laughs> um, this is slightly, slightly good. Let's go Mordred yep. to read, create six rune chants. Sure thing, bud. And then I'll move to enter. Fantastic style. Can't complain. Um, our arsenal and draw three. Mm -hmm. Nine, five, six, seven, eight. Meh. Alright, we'll go make a seismic. Bravo's dominate, so I have no float. Dominated seven. I do have some amount of float, but I have no cards in hand, so there's nothing. Uh, well, I might as well check it in case, so. Uh, so it wasn't chewing gum in there. Today. Five, six, seven, eight. I have one float. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> seven. Uh, with the crush effect being disabled, that disc goes at the bottom of my yeah. deck. 
Yeah, it's like CNC, but for poor people. <laughs> Uh, okay, so what are we doing? We will block five. I think. I'll take two, go to 18. Okay. Your time. We will choose to break Scarpa. Oh, that's an early one. We will play Sonata. Mm -hmm. Playing an extra six, revealing six cards total. So, so, six cards total. Yeah, sure thing, but great. Good reveal? It. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. So, I'll leave those three mm -hmm. and shuffle the deck in the meantime, and there'll be three arcane coming here. So three arcane can remind right, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll take the three arcane, mate. I will go to 17. Am I okay to take these in hand? Uh, yep. Yeah. So you've got four in hand? Uh, five, five in hand. hand because you have two and then one in the arsenal. Yep. So you've taken the arcane? Correct. Okay, we will start with a rune flash, trigger viscerai, create a rune chant, six arcane, four gorgon. Hmm. I'm going to stop three of the arcane. So I'll take three, go to 14. Okay. And then I'll think in this block. Yep. I'll take four. Okay. Ten. Yeah. I will follow it up with a meet and greet, pitching a blue. Yeah. You have taken arcane, so meet and greet has go again. And this round will trigger, and I'll create one more room chat. And if this is the one when it hits, it creates a room chart, correct? Correct. Okay. Take the one here. Nine. Oh, four. Okay. We will follow it up with a swarming. All modes active, so four go again. If it hits, arcane is no longer preventable. This right triggers create every enchant. This time it's filthy. Yep. <laughs> Can't even deny it. Arcane first, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I'll take the arcane. Okay, eight. Oh, yep. Yeah. 
Okay. Rune flash, playing the two floating. Four go again, viscerai triggers. One arcane creative. What, three? Uh, one arcane and one physical yep, going yep. six. six. The hand has not got many blues in it. One card left in hand? Correct. Uh, we will pitch a red and go one, two, two. I'll block the two physical, we'll take the three arcane, so I'll go to three. Yep. So three plays 18. If I'm going to get a comeback here, it's going to be good. Uh, well... I did use up a lot of my threats on this one turn. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you used the big thing on turn two. That's not how it's meant to go down. Thank you. All right, I have no hand. Uh, I'll draw four. Yep. So, I will draw four and I'll pass back. We'll play a red. Sorry, yes. We'll play a red Marvin. Sure thing, but. Um... Sorry, just checking your armor. Three armor blocks left. We'll play a Spellblade Strike, pitching a blue. We'll have two floating, and it's four go again. This right triggers itself, triggers, creating two rune chants. Uh, and if it hits, create three rune chants. <laughs> Thinking on uh, thinking on this because that's no no take your time. What for? Use one of the floating. That's what I was afraid of. To go. No, two, it's, two and it's two. frightening. I'll block out th three of the arcane total. Yeah. That's cool. So I'll take like one from the arcane with yep. two. And then I'll block the physical damage. Okay, block is good. I'll arsenal last card and pass to you. One card left in hand. Correct. I'm gonna arsenal and then I'm gonna draw up and pass. Uh, I got plays. Question is, which one is the best one? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Sorry. Right. I can't even remember his discard. Just shows he's drawn raffle bones. Disgraceful. I was always terrible at memorizing stuff. Say, so, at least if you draw all your good cards, I can at least don't just show me first. Right. 
Right. Player become the Arc Knight, announcing yeah. that I'm discarding an attack action. Discard Amplify. Uh, sorry. And I'm gonna go get. A blue plunder one. Oh no, it needs to be a rune blade card. Thank you. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. uh, Should go be dead by now, shouldn't I? A blue oath of the arc. <laughs> I know. You had an insane turn one. I had the worst turn one I've seen all day. You can just assume I'm <laughs> decent at the game. All I do is play random cards and hope it uh, lands. I really wanted to come in with a dominated spinal on turn one. Really yeah, that's why I didn't it. want you to go first. <laughs> yeah. Um, we will pitch to play a meet and greet. This ride will trigger. I'll create a rune chant. Uh, and I'll have two floating. So this is the one it's like if you don't arcane this turn uh, it gets go again it gets go again sure. it's coming to bite me in the back Oh, it's really going to come and bite me in the back. Hmm. What for? Okay. Uh, in the resolution step, I'll opt to play at instant speed, playing one and playing a revel, gaining an action point. And with Ravel and Tfisrai, creating five more rune chants, going to six. Sure. And then... So you have two, uh, you have another action, uh, just one action point. Yeah, just one action point. Sure thing, bud. Uh, which is going to be, use my one floating to swing the sword for six, two, and two. Sorry, this gets a counter on it. If I don't do any arcane damage at this turn, it will get destroyed. Go to five. I'm still alive. Right. I'm going to stop all of the arcane. So six and then skull cap to stop this. Is that the play? I mean, yeah. I guess so. Yeah. Yep. Sorry, being dumb. Yep. And then... No, 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 that was a play. I was worried you would do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was just, yeah. And then I'll take two, go to three. Two, go to three. Uh, no arcane dealt this, well, I'll move to end turn. Yeah. Also, my last card, no arcane dealt. Spellbound creepers get destroyed. That's actually a real pain. Um, I will draw four and um, pass two. And I will draw four and pass to you. Okay. I'll start with a Gorgonian tome. Sure thing, bud. Draw a card. Yep. I'll 
I'll play a Marvin Sky is Blue. Yeah. I'll follow it up with a Spellblade Assault. Sorry. This the right trigger, or did I miss that trigger? Say no. You have technically declared the card. I'm dying here, man. <laughs> this right trigger, Marvin. <laughs> play Spellblade Blue. Pitching both. I'll have one floating. This goes in. Spellblade Assault and this right trigger create three. Uh, it does have an on hit. If it hits, create one. And it's coming in for one arcane, two physical. Go again. I'm going to stop the one arcane. Yep. And then I'll block. Yep. Sorry, Cards where are we now? Uh, we're still on the chain. Yeah. Okay, so sorry. Yeah, yeah. Cards sorry. on hand? Two. Okay. Uh, I will play a rebel, which will close the chain, creating five more. Go to eight. Give me strength. <laughs> and then I'll strike the sword for eight, two, and two. Uh, with my one float. <laughs> Hopefully it should be exact lethal. Assuming you have two blues in here. The sigil, you go to six. Five, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think it is. I think it might be. You do have a blue. Um, be more, be one more. I guess I can block one. Yep. So, uh, stop five arcane. Five so, arcane. Two, three, so four, five. Five going three. through. And then I guess I block, and then to you, bud. Good game. Congratulations to Sharif for winning for Viserai, uh, and we'll be talking to him in a minute, so stay tuned.
Hi, welcome back to Leeds Royal Armoury for the Living Realms Battle Hardened. Sharif, Hi. congratulations. Thank you. Thank I finally you. got you on the screen. I know, I've been like uh, scrubbing so bad that you have, didn't have me on the screen for like a month at this stage. I know, you like using blink and flash and you're like, oh, where's Sharif <laughs> gone? I finally got him, I tracked him down. You had a, you had a little bit of trouble yesterday mm -hmm. um, with Dory, yep. um, so that, that's why I couldn't get you. No, but no, we got you today. Good. We got you today. Mm -hmm. Reasons for choosing Viz over Dorinthia. Um, I've I played Viz in the CC season and I really enjoyed yeah. it. And you did I, a deck tech with Hamish. And I did do yeah. a deck tech with Hamish. I think Viz is a lot of fun. Um, I think in Blitz he pushes so much damage that people have to respect Viz and Blitz. And obviously the field agrees with the meta being so uh, Viz heavy. It's crazy. Well, Kasai is um, higher, but representation of making it further mm -hmm. on is not as great. And the thing that shocked me is actually like all the decks that we've been seeing that have been doing well, like Bravo, um, KO, Kano, and Reinar, present so much damage on turn one. So my Bravo opponent there was actually very terrifying because I'm like, if I take my foot off the pedal, I die. Yeah. And this can um, really brick on some hands. So I was pretty lucky that I didn't brick and I had so much damage. But he is a lot of fun. He pushes so much damage that people have to respect it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and even if you do break, you can hopefully have a few cards that can either mm -hmm. tutor from your deck or get from like rattle bones to get from your discard pile to try and smooth out those rough turns and, and the rough draw. And the alternative is I don't know if you had anyone from our group up here, but our group kind of worked on this prism list that was that we we've, tested we've with. Seen Jamie, but he so, lost Alexi. Yeah, well that prism list was we we wanted to bring it as a team. And I chickened out at the last second because I did not feel like I had the reps. And I'm quite happy I did it. Uh, but yeah, it was another reason for me to bring Viz. I had three decks with me, Dorinthia, Viz, and that Prism list. Wasn't confident with Prism. Dorinthia struggled yesterday, and I just felt that if Old Hymns and Kano come in force, she really struggles. And so Viz it was. Brilliant. So, New Jersey, are you looking to go? Because you've... You are probably, well, I would assume, you're in the top 100. Yes, I am. I would get my invite, but I cannot go. I need to apply for a visa, right. and the earliest appointment for it is in August. So I'll be missing the first one. I am, however, I hoping to... I'll be missing you. <laughs> Let's get this right. <laughs> um, I am, however, rooting for all the UK players going. I know we have a lot of good representation, so yeah. it will be a good, a great event to watch. So, so have you already looked at whether or not you can spend that PTI to go to France? Um, I am. I was considering sending an email to LSS, but I thought I would just wait until we hear back on the France one. Yeah. Uh, I am just hoping to go to France, yeah. And if not, at least there will always be worlds, and that's where the PTI is going. Yeah, I think it would be a shame if you missed out. Yeah. I agree, but yeah. apparently visa appointments are quite rare after COVID. So right, let's, let's start a Kickstarter poll. Let's, uh, get, you, let's get you to <laughs> one. <laughs> uh, the worst part is I'm not the only player who had this. Someone else who won a PTQ can't go because of visa appointments. So, yeah, it's a bit of a bummer, but yeah. it is what it is. Yeah, I wish you all the best luck. Thank you, you very much. Very always a pleasure. <laughs> and I'll see you later. Yeah.
Okay, then coming up, we do have Sharif back on Viserai, and we have Scott Mines on Lexi. So both of these players are seven and one. So they're playing for uh, to get into the top cup. Potentially both are lock-ins, but we shall see. Should hopefully be a good match. Stay tuned. Because I'm not a deck builder, I'm, I'm just yeah, a player. Yeah, you did, and you were like, nah, I can't be bothered, I'm too oh, busy no, doing worry. nothing. At the, end of, at the end of the day, I've got one for you if you want a list. Uh, before we start though, <laughs> I would like to shout out Dyson, or David, uh, who's been a bit, big part of our testing and who can't be here today. So, yeah. Absolutely. In which case, if we plug in shout outs, <laughs> uh, I got some sponsors. Uh, okay. I work for a game store called Lazy Dragon Gaming in Blackpool. I got a skirmish in six days. Come and see me. Uh, come and kick my ass. Uh, I also am sponsored by the lovely guys at Protect Cards. Uh, Lee got one over there. Uh, for all your flesh and blood, goodness, all your singles, he's got fantastic stock, and I recommend going and saying hello sometime. There we go, we plugged. Dolwyn, I'll take my extra box when you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, now let's do this. One arcane barrier. That is correct. I am going to start your time. Are we are using this thing this time? Yes, we're using. Well, no. Alan will take care of the story. This, okay. This is your time. Thank you. No problem at all. I wish you the very best of luck. Best of luck. I will start the game with a counter on my Fendel Spring Tunic. Are we actually going to get to a uh, turn three, though? No. <laughs> Realistic. I am. I am nothing if not honest. Okay. Uh, we are. Going to keep it nice and simple, I think. The pitch of lightning press to activate Voltaire. Okay. Sorry, do you mind if I reread? Absolutely. Thank you. Yep, cool. No problem. And that's a... Uh... It's a red lining press. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to load a blue snapshot into my arsenal. I'll give it plus one. Okay. I would then like to move to the end of the turn and move to arsenal. Uh, is the plus one until end of turn or...? It is not a permanent buff. It okay. is just until the end of the turn. Cool. I just have to announce the mode I'm choosing. So. Sounds good. Uh, I will arsenal this card and I will pass to you. Hmm. Do you mind if I read Snapshot? You I'm sorry, mate. I'm going to be asking a lot of questions on Lexi. Don't worry, this has been my entire day, so you're, you're welcome to read whatever you need to read. If you need me to explain anything, please ask, I'll do so. So pretty much the point is, if you Lightning Fuse it, you can keep putting more I'm and more arrows. I'm gaining an additional activation yeah. of Voltaire, yep. And you have two uh, activation by default, and yes. if you have more. Correct. Okay, and they're not free, you still need to pay for them, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Yes, yeah, so I have to pay for the activations, so I don't get cheaper. Cool. No problem mm. at all. Thank you. Uh... Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah. I don't think this is necessary right by we will pitch to to grasp creating sure. a room. Sure. Uh, sorry, I didn't take these out, so and I'll have one floating. Um we will then play a Mavren followed by a swarming which will trigger viscerai create another rune chant certainly will so four uh, one arcane four go again if it hits create three, three rune chants no problem one floating one in hand uh, i will take this arcane damage and go to 19. Uh, I'd like to block four, including my spring too. Okay. Three cards in hand. Correct. Yep. We'll use the one floating to swing with the sword and go one, two, and two. Yep. I'll take five and go to 14. So five and 14. I'll move to end turn. Absolutely. Arsenal, my last card. Tunic is broken. This is in the bin where it belongs. And now draw four. So I'd like to start my turn by firing this snapshot from my arsenal. I will fuse it with a blue electrifier. So I currently have access to three activations of Voltaire. Yep. Uh, sorry, do you mind if I... No problem at all. Please take your time. And you said would electrify if you... Yes, said... a blue electrify. Sorry, is Lexi's ability start of turn? It is a once per turn action. So once per turn. So it could be at any stage you can still do that. Yeah. I'll pass here. Uh, in attack reactions, I'd like to pop Snapdragon Scaler to give this go again. I didn't even realize it didn't have go again, so... Yeah. Well, I'm glad one of us did. <laughs> 18. I'm counting on the judge to totally, totally reasonable. Totally reasonable. Uh, sorry. Uh, are we did, did you declare, declare no defense reactions? Because I, I actually went to do something else in attack reactions. Yeah, no, no, go on. No problem at all. So it's not too bad. That's, that, this is this is fine. That's why I have to ask. Uh, I'm trying to think what other attack reactions he could have. If it's just extra damage, I don't mind. If it has an effect, I might. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm fine. Go for it. No worries. So we'll, we'll have you on 20 for just a second. Yeah. We want to showcase what this deck can do. I appreciate whole. that. I will try my best. Uh, I just had a bit of a lapse of judgment because I didn't re uh, realize we were going through defense reactions. Uh, if I'm still on attack reactions at this point in time, uh, I would like to... Pitch this blue electrify. Play Art of War from my arsenal. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'd like to give my attacks this turn plus one, and I'd like to banish an attack from my hand to draw two. Go for it. I'll banish a blue fatigue shot. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, for damage, I'll take, take three, three. Which puts you to 17, 17 instead. Yeah. Yeah, no problem at all. Thank you for that. I appreciate no, it. No, no, no. No problem. I'm just going to represent this. Yep, no problem. Uh, I'd like to activate Voltaire for the first time this turn. Mm hmm. I'll load a yellow Bolton <coughs> shot. I'm going to yep. choose to give this plus one from Volta. Okay. This is going to come in for five with go again. If it hits, I can reload. Uh, 
Okay. So it's not about your turn, it's about how much I will present on the next turn. Do I want to present 40 or just 36? It's really hard to know. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Take your time, no problem at all. Okay, so this is coming in for five. five. It, it does have go again. Yeah. Uh, and if it hits, you reload. I reload. Yes. Yeah. I will block five. That is fine. Uh, I would like my next attack to be a lightning surge from my hand for four. Uh, for five, sorry. Oh. No go again. Uh, not at this time. How do you give us <laughs> uh, That's yeah. exactly why we answer like that. Pass. Yeah, I'll pass back. Take four. Five. Uh, I've done that twice now. Five puts you to twelve. Yep. Uh, I'll close this chain. Cool. Uh, I'd like to move to end. Yep. And good arsenal time. this card. Sounds good. I do think I had a better turn, but I just couldn't figure it out. We've played a lot of Blitz today, so let's go with Mordred. Imagine. I could have had a better turn and leads on Mordred type. Yeah. <laughs> Mordred. I think there was a better line, let me rephrase sure, it. Sure, sure, sure. This right trigger is create two. Yes, it does. Amplify reduced. It will cost me one, so I have two floating. This right trigger is create two. Pass go again. Uh, so six and two, is that correct? Correct. Uh, I'll take the two arcane, falling to 12. 12, 12, 12. That is correct, yeah. Mm And I will block six of us. Okay. Uh, block is smart. Block is smart. We will use one of my floatings to go two, two, two. Two, two, and two. Uh, I'm going to take all of this, take six and go to six. Taking six, going to six. I'll draw four and pass you. No problem at all. 
Uh, I'll start the turn by activating Lexi's hero ability. I'm going to turn yep. over a blue heavens clause in my arsenal so that my first attack this turn will gain go again. Okay. I would then like to pitch a yellow snapshot. Spend one of this to load a red searing shot into my arsenal. I'd like to give this plus one. Okay. Uh, it will come in for five with go again from Lexi. If it hits you, it'll deal an additional point of damage. I will... Do you mind if I read the bracers? Sorry. Absolutely. Cool. I will pass. Sure. Uh, so it gets in for six and puts you to six. Yep. Uh, and then I will spend one and come in for three. This is the part where I'm like, how much do I like my hand? Depends. What are the chances I hit this? Oh, I see. Everyone raise the roof for Sonata Arcanics. Yeah. Yeah. Not good. Either. Yeah, no, I've seen my fair share of those today. <laughs> I think I take the three. Understandable. Uh, I would like to close this train. Yeah. Uh, cross my fingers and pass the turn. Okay, now I need to think, because I have a few lines. Please, take your time. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm trying too much to be cute here. We will play a Sonata for free. Reveal it free. Please do. One, two, are we going to whiff? <laughs> the judge is enjoying my pain a bit too much. Um, so one arcane currently, yes? Yes. Sorry, thinking on which one I'm taking. No problem. I believe you have to select before I Correct. play. No problem at all. <clears throat> I'm going to take the shrill, and it's a red shrill. Sure. One arcade. I will prevent the arcane one floating. Yeah, that doesn't change it. Uh, three cards in hand? Three cards, that's correct. Yeah, I'm in trouble. But well, we'll try it. We'll pitch one and then pitch an extra one to grasp, create a rune chant, to floating. And then we will play the shrill, this right triggers. Create a rune chant, shrill's coming for seven, and one arcane, no float. Seven and one arcane. Well, I will prevent the arcane. Yep, makes sense. One in hand? Correct.
I'll block one New Horizons. I got a one. I'll move to intern. Arsenal just gets banished. This goes like that. And I draw four. I'll pitch a blue lightning surge. Uh, activate Voltaire for the first time this turn. Yep. I'll load a red snapshot with go again. Okay. Come in for four with go again. Why do I have the feeling that you just have a lightning press in hand? You want me to block four? Why am I extremely upset you're good enough to realize I gave it go again as a joke? Yeah, because yeah. you want me to block four and then... No, 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 I know what you're talking about, Sharif. No, don't worry about that. There aren't pump spells in a deck like this. No. Okay, let's say I'm wrong. I'm trying anyway, right? Um... Oh, let us hedge our bets and go block five. If it is a lightning press, I should block. That reactions? Yeah. Nothing from me. Uh, I will activate Voltaire as an instant for the second time. I'll yep. load a crescendo with plus one, yep. and I'll come in for five. Yep. <clears throat> Oh, I did. This was a blue. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, yeah. Can't see You're okay, no problem. Yeah. I'm going to for two turns. I'm looking for any anyways, right? Sorry. What is this? I take two cards from you. And this was with three cards. No arsenal. So yeah, we're gonna go along with uh we will block five. Away you go. Uh Something. Okay. We will pitch meet and greet. One and four. I believe you need to give me two to three cards. <laughs> and if the arcane heads just go again but... the oh, arcane hits, yeah I, I just realized yeah <laughs> sorry as i told you quite, quite, the, quite the hit trigger you've got going on there i'll be honest uh could the judge please stop enjoying my stupidity right now? I can't take my, my joy
I'll play for the rain chant. Yep. Hmm. I'll block six. Yeah, block is good. I'll move to end turn. Yep. I will draw four pass to you. I would like to move to end. Yep. I will ask. <sighs> Please don't kill me, Mr. Runeblade. I'm not. Apparently, I, I decided that this is the worst hand I could actually have in this spot. So you're saying there's a chance. Right? Yeah. Uh, This is sad. I don't think I can win. I will pitch my two read the runes to grasp. Yep. Create a rune chant. You got it. Uh, can I do this or do I do that? Uh, Put this in the arsenal. You have to take two cards out of your hand. We have three cards. I think the arsenal is more. Worthwhile. I will pitch my rebel. Spell blade strike. It will trigger. Create a rune chant. It will. Still two cards, but sadly enough, I don't think I, I can do much here. Uh, how do we do this? 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 I'll prevent the arcane. Yep. And block the spell blade strike. Yep. I uh, will move to end turn. Uh, I will start the turn by screaming inside and then probably activating Lexi shortly afterwards. If you could uh, just keep screaming, that would keep be screaming, that's fine. Uh, I'll activate Lexi. I will flip this blue lightning surge. Okay. Uh, so first we'll attack this turn, we'll have go again. Yep. Unfortunately, no arsenal. So no no you arsenal play it. means it is likely it that has go again anyway. Yep. Which is fine. Do with go again. I will block three. Again, just thinking we might have a lightning press. Sadly not. I will be pitching a yellow bolt and shot to activate the altar. Yep. Load an endless arrow with plus one. Five, if it hits, it will go back to my hand. And then you can do this again. Uh, yeah, so with theoretically. Five. One, two, three, four, five. And then on my turn. Uh -huh. Do that. Which hopefully should be again. So one, two, three, four, five. Understood. Okay. 
Yeah, I know, I know. Rune flash, pitching, one floating. Ah. Hmm. You will survive because this will just come for two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry, these are destroyed. Yep. Prevent the arcane. Yep. Oh, lightning press means you don't survive. Block six. Two. Block three. Okay. I will draw up, pass to you. And I will be drawing up and passing back. Am I gonna... Okay, well, that's more like it. Um, player become... Yeah. Uh, discarding an attack action. I knew these were in my deck somewhere. Yeah, I, I was uh, <laughs> thinking. I'm just gonna go get an O. Uh -huh. I will then... Play a rattle bones, pitching the O's. Gonna go get a swarming. Uh, I'll, this way I will trigger, I will get one rune chant. Do I even have a swarming in here? Do I not? Oh, I do. He gave me hope. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play the swarming, one and four. Uh, this way I triggers, so yeah, four I, go again. I can't beat the thorn regardless. Yeah, so. four go again. Cheers. Good game. Congratulations to Sharif on winning that one. A very close game at the end, and we'll talk to him soon. Okay, uh, so they're looking at repair. Oh, sorry, we're looking to go to round 10. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get Sharif on for a chat. Um, hopefully, we'll catch up with him later, okay?
we are just waiting for our pairings. We've just had a bit of a giveaway on the, in the hall here where for some boxes of Tales of Aria and also some Fable packages to crack out. So some, we had some lucky winners there. They have been randomly drawn, so that's been fantastic. We will get your round 10 underway as soon as we've got the pairings. Stay tuned. Okay, so while we have the next game being teed up, uh, let's go through the standings uh, for round 10. Matthew Folks is in first place on Viserai. Then we've got Sharif Shaban on Viserai. Scott Mines on Lexi. David Carf on Bravo. Jonas Benzati on Viserai. Seb Gilbold on Briar. James Thorgood on Kano. And Francesco Giorgio on Old Him. So, a little bit different from yesterday. Um, Olden and Kano are coming through. And uh, we've, we've got our ticket winners, Krakow ticket winners, uh, are Robbie Walters and Josh Chambers. And Tales of Aria box winners are Farouk Meyer, Rob Catton, Sean DeMario and Jamie Faulkner. So, we've got a game coming up, which is David Carr versus Peter Ward, which is for Pete. He's in ninth place, so we've got a potential winning in. Uh, 
feet. <laughs> I can't play those. I'm not a warrior. These are really good. <laughs> they are really good. Tectonic plating, that makes you like a little... Seismic so every turn, yeah. And that makes my attacks cheaper. Um, the next weapon attack is playing is plus one. Activate this ability. Right. Well, it's always a pleasure to play against you, buddy. Yeah. Good yeah. luck, have fun. Be great. Hello. What about your weapon? What's that do then? Oh, um, this one is um, always checking the game state to see if there's two cars in pitch with three or higher, uh, and if there is, it has plus two. Cool. So it comes in for six. What about the gloves then? The gloves. So I can pay three to destroy them. My next crush attack with crush, kind of like the milkshake. Um, that comes in with plus two for the turn. Oh, sorry, not my next. All of my attacks with crush get plus two. So, right. the end of turn. A lot of the equipment in this game, Pete, is just efficient for blocking. Dave, can we do? Do you have any dice? Do I have dice? Yeah. yeah. Not chewing gum. I have dice. One dice each. We add it up. And then odd even. Sure. What would you like, Pete? Odd or even? I'll go odd, please. Okay. Yeah, I'll All go right. first, please. No worries. Classic Pete taking the average of seven. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. Uh, are we good to start, by the Oh. Nice sack uh, go again. Sure thing, bud. And he gets plus one, right? Uh, no, it's only if you have attacked with the weapon this turn. Our pitch. Sure thing, bud. Use one. Come in for two. Two, we go again? Yeah. And it gets plus one if I block with a an attack. Attack action, yeah. Sure. How much you got floating, Pete? Two? Two. Two cards in hand? Yep. Yep, excellent. I block three, Pete. So that's an attack action? Yeah, it is. Fair enough. Um, I have no reactions. Sure, I have no reactions either, mate. So it does zero. It does zero, Please correct. one. My next attack gets plus three and dominate. Sure. And then I'll attack. Four, Four five. Five, dominate. Five, dominate. I'm just going to think on this, Pete, if that's okay. Yeah, you take as much time as you want, mate. I can't block with two cards. I'll dominate. That's right. That's fair. Five dominate. Um, I'm just going to block five here, mate. So I guess plus one, right? Um, yep, yep, you're correct. Made a mistake there. So I deal you one. Do you do deal me one? Nineteen. Then move to my... Uh, like arsenal base, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna gain three life. Okay. Go to 22. So, my arsenal base. I made thing, bud. one copper for my hero. Yeah. That was a bad turn by me. Should have double block. Well. Then uh, we both dropped to four, right? Yep.
Okay, so. I'm going to play Terra Sunder. So, my next Guardian attack gains Dominate. I'm plus one, and if it hits, I discard two, you discard two cards. Yeah. Coming in for seven, Dominate. So it gets plus two from your hero, is that one uh, of the, the so passive thing? From the passives, yeah. yeah. So it's uh, seven, Dominate. If it hits at all, you discard two cards. Oh. Yep. See so block out there. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to go to the end step peak. Uh, right, so these get counters, right? Yep. Then I'll ask no one past you, mate. My next tag is plus three, and if I hit the turn I'm one, so I make a topper. Sure. What was that, mate? Sorry on that last bit. What, sorry? What does that one do again? Oh, if I attack twice, I remove the counter from. Sure, but it hasn't accounted yet. No, it doesn't. Okay. I pitch. And spend one to come in for five. Oh, you meant you get a copper from this, sorry. If I hit with this. Yeah, trying to communicate through the mask, sorry. Because <laughs> your coppers are going down the bottom there. Yeah, makes sense, sorry. My copper's up. Oh, okay. I'll follow along eventually, Pete. That's all right. I don't really know what's going on either. <laughs> So this currently doesn't this doesn't have go again. Currently no. And it's coming in for five, maybe six. Yeah, if you block with a attack action. Five, maybe six. No block, Pete. Any reaction? Uh yeah. I'm going to spend my resource to give it go again on my next attack, that's plus two. Okay, so. I'm going to block five on the Sabre. So you're just like paying two to block five? Yep. I have no uh, attack. Right? Sure thing, then. So you take zero. Then on my next attack, that will be... I'm gonna block four here, Pete. Um, I have no. Reaction. I have no reaction either, mate. So no damage. Uh, good, my arsenal phase. Then with an attack at five, right? All right. Thanks. Yes. yes. So it's one. So it's one more. Yep. Okay. So yeah, I do take one. Sorry. Thank you. Twenty-one. I uh, make a copper of that. So then go to my arsenal phase. Yep. Okay. So I'll snow that. Yep. I make a copy for my hero. Yeah. Okay. So badly. Three. I draw up and it's your turn. Yeah. I'm gonna gain three life, Pete. Got twenty-four. Uh, yep. Then I'm gonna arsenal and pass. Uh, slice and dice, so first attack plus one, second plus three. I'll pitch for three. Get down to two. 
Still tagging my weapon for uh, three. Coming in for three, yeah, Pete. Where did your boots go, by the way? Into the graveyard. In theory, oh, right. it doesn't matter. It can leave okay, the graveyard. I was just wondering. It's fine. I think officially they have to go to the graveyard, but I don't think it matters too much. Okay. I'm going to block three here, Pete. Just an, an action yeah, yeah. for once instead of an attack. So I'll give it a go again and I draw a card? Sure thing, bud. So I draw the card, yeah? Yep. Um, I have no reaction, mate. So zero damage? Zero damage, yep. And then I'll go again. Uh, I've attacked with a already, but I think if it's my second attack, it will get plus three. So I think that still works. Okay, so you've played one here already. Yeah. So the next attack's coming in for plus six. I can attack for three. Whenever and... you attack with a sword or dagger this turn, if it's your second, second weapon, so you're going to get plus yeah. six on this. So I think that's for eight. Yeah, it is. I'm just going to take eight here, Pete. Uh, Sorry. I'm going to add on this one, just plus sure. three on my second attack. I have no reaction, Pete, yep. so yeah, I take 11. 13. 13, mate. Then move to my arsenal phase. Yeah, sure thing, bud. So I make one copper because I hit you once. That's true. So go. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna make a seismic, mate. Uh, Off my yeah. tectonic plane. Yeah, yeah. That pops up in your next turn, yeah. Pops in the next turn, yeah. And I'm gonna activate Bravo's ability so I have no float left. So my next attack's gonna. Uh, yeah, so no. No float. So use one and then use two, yeah. Two, yeah. yeah. And I'm gonna come in with a dominated spinal crush. So you use this. Mm -hmm. We attack extra cost, cost to regress again, dominate. And then you paid five, so one floating. Spinal crush deals four and one damage. Action cards, extra ability, attacks, take control. This you can't get going during the next action phase. So this is coming in for nine. Nine uh, dominate, yeah. What is that then? That's to give it dominate. Dominate and crush. No, no, this, I made he it, made it. I made it, dominate, yeah, attack, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> uh, 
I will walk, so it's, I can walk with one card in my hand, right? So this one and all the equipment. Just I'll just point out these three. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. Seven. Five, six, seven. So you're going to take two there, Pete. Yep. So 18. Mm -hmm. Then this gets uh, counter, counter, counter. Yep. Um, then I will end my turn, mate. So you didn't do any of the stuff, right? No, no, because they didn't hit you for four or more. Just okay. two. I would like to pop this. What does that do, mate? So destroy it. My attack, my sword attacks cost one less. Do you want to put it here so I can remember oh, yeah, and we'll clear it up after? Yeah. Thank you. Then you have your blood. So I'm gonna the four cop I give plus one double attack. Go again. And double attack. Okay, so this one gets plus one go again. And double attack. Uh, but you, and then this one gets double attack. That's right. So that gets all three modes and that gets one mode. Okay. That's right. Sure thing, but carry on. I'll then play this. So first attack gets plus one, second attack gets plus two. Right. Then I'm going to attack with this. <laughs> and it should be two, three, four. Four, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I would like to block four. I have no reaction. I do not either. Okay. Then I will attack for three, five. Sorry, how much is that? This should be attacking for five. This three. So, let me just put this here so we can't break the chain yet. I'm gonna block five here, Pete. Uh, I have no reaction. I have no thing either. Then I'm gonna play this. I don't know if this breaks the chain or not. Okay. Yeah. It does, okay. So my next weapon attack is turn, gains go again. If I attack with a weapon, next one gains plus three power. And then I will attack with this. Oh, this. So let's clear up, mate. All oh, right, that's all right. So, I didn't realize you had to right, do that. That's all right. That's It makes sense then. Keep the game in uh, in check. So if you want to move all these to, to the graveyard, well, we can leave. Uh, let's leave them there. Yeah, you're right to leave them there. It's just that I can reuse my armor. Yeah, yeah, I know. You, you do um, that. And this this is attacked twice, so we're all good. So this yeah, can yeah. attack twice. Yeah. So, and yeah. Now so let's go again. Yeah. So it comes in for five. Okay, I'm gonna think here, mate. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna have no reaction. Any reactions from me? No blocks, you mean, right? Oh, sorry, no blocks. Any reactions from me? No. Oh, block five. Uh, no floating. I have one float, sorry, mate. That's fine. No, no, um, yeah, no reaction. Then I'll come in for two. Okay, I'm gonna block one and one. No reaction. Okay. So, uh, then I'll go to my arsenal for last that. I don't think I hit you at all, right? Yeah, no, I was a rig. <laughs> so... I'm surprised, uh, because... This is used up. I still get to remove this. Yeah. So I attack twice. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't hit me at all, which was decent for... <laughs> so you have zero problem. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Take that away. Uh, seismic pops. Uh, and then I'll just draw back up to 4p and then I'll pass to you. Okay. 
Um, to resource, use one. This spoils. Nothing then follow. Use one. Attack. I'll block four here, Pete, with uh, non-attacks. Non Attacks. Uh, Any no, reaction? No reaction, no. No reaction from me, mate. Um... Then I'll pitch for two yep. to attack with this. I don't think you have any attacks right, Pete. I don't. Then I'm none of your deck, so interesting. Okay. I'll take it, Pete. Seven. Seven. So I'm going to draw it to one. Uh, get good in my arsenal, arsenal out, and draw five. Yeah. Um, yep. Draw five, and it's your turn. I want to make a size with Pete. Yep. And then I'm going to come in for six. Okay, three to attack six. And you got two. How does it six? So this costs ten and this costs four. Oh, it's cost not pitch yeah. right. Understood. That's all right. Six. I block. So I think Pete. And then I would like to pass to Tammy. Uh, okay. So I'm out. I pitch for three. Yep. Um, use one to attack for two. Uh, I'll block three and it goes to three, Pete. Yep. Uh, I will add this on. Go again, I draw a card. Yep. Um, no reactions. Go again and attack the six. It doesn't have the effect now because I have one of my trade decks. I block six here, Pete. No reaction. No reaction from me. Go to my arsenal. Sure. Uh, keep that in my hand. Just draw up to a four. Yeah, we've got seven minutes left. Yeah. Seismic pops, Pete. Uh, so you draw up to four. I'm just going to go straight to my arsenal, mate. Yep. Draw up, and then your turn. Let's start my turn. This flips. Yep. Um, 
that, remind me again if that's if you hit with a weapon twice it if like, i hit three shooters, times like two, two times, times um, but... and they get plus one power static ask sir i pitch for three use one for spoils sure thing but use one to attack for five Uh, no block. Any reactions? I uh, have no reaction. Prevent six damage. Okay. Uh, so no reaction for me. Then I'll pay one. Give my next weapon attack this turn plus three dominate. Yeah. And then attack for five, six. Six for dominate. Yeah. Should have saved my steadfast. Uh, it's just gonna get pumped for. Sorry, one sec. No, no worries. Six. Why does it gain plus one? Is it from the effects of That's the it, mentor? Yeah. One, whilst it's face up, one hand weapons, I can tell plus one pass. Three, four, five, six. They block with one card. No, oh, this is way too tough. So if I block with this to four, I go to three. Yeah, I'll block like here, Pete, so it goes up an extra. So, five, so it's six, six seven, seven. So I take four. I'm going to add this. Plus three? Yeah. Yep. Good game, uh, Good game, Good game, guys. I play all. So there we have it. So Peter Ward has won his uh, in and win, and we should catch up with him soon.
Okay, so we are back at Living Realms for the Leeds uh, at Leeds uh, Royal Armoury for the Battle Hardened event. I've been joined by Peter Ward. Yep. Well done. That was looks like a win and in. Yeah. Fantastic win. Um, you've only recently just picked up Flesh and Blood. Yep. Started on Friday. Start on Friday. You were taught by. The Matt folks. The Matt folks. Um, it's amazing what you've done. Yeah. You know what I mean, it's brilliant. Eight and two record. Uh, you've got a big Magic the background, yeah, Magic yeah. the Gathering background. Um, I spoke to David Carp about transitioning in. How have you found it? You know, you've, you've literally stepped into one of the biggest events we've got for the year. Well, I think, uh, you know, all the mechanics are very simple, apart from like the, the priority passing. That's very similar to Magic. Yeah. So I think I played that game pretty, pretty clean. You put a massive amount of pressure on him. You know, even when uh, David managed to, you know, block out your big, you know, uh, yeah. blood on your hands turn, it was like, oh, okay, you know, that, that scuppered that turn. Normally that's like a finisher for right. Kasai. Yeah. Um, and then you just managed to keep the pressure up all the way through. Yeah, and I, I had to pitch my second blood on hands, right? But I still had the, I knew I had the Minerva coming at some point to just go and fish it back up. Yeah, yeah. So he was, he was just getting buried it by the end, right? Yeah, yeah. What, uh, in, in the swing and slice and dice, did you play that? Or was it yeah. just in the swing? I finished it within the swing, yeah. yeah. Just the cards are more efficient than his deck, right? Yeah, his deck's quite expensive. He needs the game yeah. momentum with his big cards like the Spinal Crush, which you managed to block out to stop the go again. Which can really just, you know, just nullify what um, yeah. what Kassai wants to do. You played absolutely brilliantly. I think you you were remaining on 18 health and yeah. finished him off. Yeah. It was fantastic to watch. Thank you so Easy. much for getting Thanks involved so. with Flesh and Blood. It's no, brilliant. And we'll, we'll see you in the top eight. Yeah, it's brilliant. <laughs>
So welcome back to Leeds Royal Armoury for the uh, Flesh and Blood Battle Hardened. I've been joined by Matt Light, mate. I'm lovely to see you, Matt. Lovely to see you. You too. Uh, you won ProQuest Living Realms. You've got the jewel in the crown of ProQuest, in my opinion. <laughs> Leeds has been very um, lucky for you in the past. It has, yeah. I've played, this was this was my fourth event and I just made top 16, but before that I've had three finals. And so Living Realms is a quite a good game store for me to, to head to normally. Yeah, is Living Realms got one on? Yeah. I'm yeah, I'm, I'm, it's great being in the Midlands as well, because it's only about an hour and 15 minutes as well. So it's that nice sort of easy journey time. You stop yeah. at some services, it's only half an hour and 40 minutes. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's really weird because normally everything is, is Midlands or down south for a game, you know, for a big game. Mm. This is like Living Realms has taken it by the horns and everyone is just travelling up there and it is brilliant. Yeah. But this is your first time here mm. because you qualified for nationals but you couldn't come. Yeah, that's right. And and I was I was keen to, to play some limited and prepare for the event. So I, I put on a, a draft cam, which I think has been mentioned on a few of your screens before. Indeed, yeah. Um, to, to get people prepared, really dive into Tales of Aria. And I think that really set up the players who played for nationals you had people like mike kerslake who had great draft records matt folks of course we know he's undefeated and i think there were three people from draft camp in the top eight yeah, really george, really good george roger yeah well, george roger of course yeah, made the final so you know really really hugely successful there i think the worst draft record of the people who played was four and two um and then i i've played 10 drafts in tournaments like skirmishes and things since then and I think I've, I'm 29 wins and one loss. So it was really successful. And we're all really keen, I think, to, to jump into the next set when that comes out. Yeah, and you came to Manor Screw for the farewell to Ray. Yeah, and, yeah. And you did well there. But the, what I really like about you is you take people under your wing and you yeah. really try and improve their game. Like, you know, you mentioned Mike for, for the draft camp. Mm. You know, he's, al he's already, he can't sing your praises enough on how much you elevated him. You know, and yeah. really showed him how to draft, and he's mm. taken that forward into, you know, yeah. and, and progressed his game. And we've seen him like in the final yesterday. Yeah, absolutely. You know? and I think Mike's a really great example. I was saying this to him earlier. You know, something Mike should be really proud of is that he. So many people are really invested in his success. Mm. Like so many people, if he's if he's on stream, if he's playing, are just so keen to just watch his games and stuff. And the fact that you guys are doing all of this streaming means you get to watch the people that you know and like, or even just that you only met last week and, and sort of feel invested in their success. And I think that's my approach to card games these days is to make sure that you are invested in other people's success. Because if you you have people you test with, people you play with, people you chat with, whether that's through Discord, your local game store or whatever, then even if you're not winning, you feel like you're winning, right? Like if you've got two friends in the top eight of this event, You've got two people you're following, two people you're excited to see win at PTI, and that just enriches the the whole experience and the whole community. And I think yeah, totally. One thing that I'm very conscious of coming from a Magic playing background, despite the fact that I've not played for a long time, is that when you come into a new game, you need to make sure that you dive into the community and that you engage with it in a positive way. Because what you don't want to see is you don't want to see players from different games see Flesh and Blood and say oh wow there's ptqs that's cool but i probably won't play the pro tour because i'm not that invested but oh a gold foil anathos that's worth a thousand pounds oh so what i'll do is i'll go and play this this pro quest because yeah. i don't care if i do well i don't care i don't care you know what people think of me and they might play a bit sharply and it's really important as a community you make sure that doesn't happen because otherwise what you can get is you can get players coming into the game who might bend the rules and don't care if they get banned because it's not their main game right because yeah, yeah, they're yeah. going to go back and play magic they're going to go back and play Yu-Gi-Oh. so it's important that you manage to preserve that community and if you're coming in as an outsider to it that you, you try to do that yourselves as well and i think that's something i've been quite conscious of yeah. all the way through i mean if we look at the, the balls and swords you made the semis in balls and swords the person you played liam liam canny mm. he made some massive errors in in that and he was aware of it, but you took him aside and you walked through the game on what, what he did wrong. And you saw that in the final, that he was on yeah, the triggers, and, and it was brilliant. And making sure that in those moments, like when Liam has, has, has beaten me, but he's going into the final, he wants to win the pro quest, obviously. And he's feeling a bit down in the mouth about the fact that he's made some mistakes. You know, it's, it's building people up. It's always about building people up. And I think that for me in particular, I had a, a period where I was playing a lot of magic that I was pretty good at but but never exceptional which will almost likely be where flesh and blood ends up for me um 
but I was so desperate to win because you're a young man, you know, it's so much of your identity is focused on it. It's really easy to, to fall into habits that aren't pleasant to be around and aren't pleasant for you and aren't pleasant for other people. And in flesh and blood, I'm really keen to not do that. So I took Liam aside and I was like, Liam, you know, you're going into the final. You know how to do all this stuff. I've been watching you play for three weeks. Your play is so tight. Put that game behind you and, and just crack on and win, which, which he then went on to do. Yeah. And similar against um, in my prison final, I played really poorly in that final. Um, but there was no way I was going to discuss that with Jacob because anyone who watched that final sees that he misses lethal on the final turn. Right. And I'm not going to bring that up with and, Jacob. And, and I'm not going to. was pulling his hair out watching you Watching play. me play. It's hideous when you watch. Unfortunately, it's all on camera, so you can go back and watch all the terror. <laughs> Um, and I can only imagine Matt's expression throughout the game. And you can see mine. If you listen to the things I'm saying as well, you can hear me noticing my play errors. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm a big fan of, of investing in other people's success, whether that's through a draft camp or through a team of players or even just through, you know, making the connections. Like I've, I've met a player today, um, a couple of players today who I'm sure I'll see at the Calling in Krakow and yeah. one who I'll see at the Pro Tour. So it's, you know, getting their Discord names, starting up these dialogues because the game is at its best when you've got loads of friends, loads of contacts. Because yeah, yeah. you know you want to you want to make friends. You want to yeah. And the callings and the pro quests. I think you see the community build and grow. Um, and yeah, it's, it's it's fantastic. So let's discuss the players that you took under your wing. Mm -hmm. Right, we've got the now infamous draft camp. That yeah, was amazing. So let's look at the peak, the, the pro quest. So we've got Matt folks. Yeah, obviously Matt, Matt pro got... quest finalist. Yeah, we've got Isaac Murray. He wasn't at he wasn't at draft camp actually, but I'm no, sure he'll be on this one. But, but yeah, he's, quest, a, he's, he's in. Player. He's in. Yeah. You've taken him under your wing. Yeah, yeah. he won a pro quest. Johnny Campbell, you introduced him to flesh and blood. Uh, Chapman, Chapman, yeah, Chapman, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. I keep calling him Campbell, and I really need to. <laughs> it's in my brain, and I can't can't stop it. But Chapman, he won a pro quest. Mm. You know what I mean? You you yeah. you are taking these players in. You, you're bringing them into flesh and blood, and we need new players. And the skill level is is it's it's increasing. Yeah. Thought. Yeah, and um, it, it wouldn't, I think it wouldn't be fair to say that I'm sort of like teaching these people a lot. No. A lot of it's just about sharing information and chatting, just having these constant, dis these constant discourses, a lot of which take place on Discord or in Facebook Messenger okay. chats, and just just keeping doing that all the time. Really. Right, brilliant. It's been lovely talking to you. Lovely talking to you. Thank Thanks you very, very much. much. Right. Are they, are they coming on in? Okay, right. So let's go through the top eight matches. Uh, we have Matt Fogues versus Seb. So Viserai versus Briar. Sharif Shaban versus Jonas Benzati. He's travelled from Copenhagen to come here today. He made the, made the top eight cut yesterday. Francesco Giorgio, we saw earlier on Oldham versus David Carf, who's been on a few times. Scott Mines, who was on Lexi, versus... Hang on, uh, Peter Ward, who we saw with Kassar. So uh, we've got some very exciting matches coming up, and it's really weird how we managed to just cherry pick the games, and these guys have made it through to the finals by sheer luck. Uh, for us picking it, not these guys actually making it. Right, so uh, the game's about to start. Players are setting up, and uh, we'll be back with some action.
Thank, Thank you, you very much. Hmm. Oh, yeah, save my equipment again, and you have the boots again. I wanted to change it, but then I would say you were right, right? But... <laughs> <laughs> There's quite a few people at this table that can't admit I'm right. Isn't that right, Jay? <laughs> I hope that was okay. <laughs> okay. Yep. So I chose to go first. Nah. Oh, no, take the feature. Sorry. <laughs> Next week. <laughs> Uh, at this stage, like, uh, Runeblade is not going to have a weapon in Blitz. By the end of it, this would be like Runeblade with Talashar and that's it. It's a legendary. <laughs> Oh, best of luck. Yeah, you too. Have fun. Are we good to start? Okay. Well, this is always happening. Uh, I'll pitch to... I don't have grasp. I don't have grasp, okay. I'll pitch to do nothing. Okay. Uh, and... <laughs> can, you, can you not? Uh, Alright, this is actually a much worse end than I thought. Okay. I'll play a plunder run. Yes. And then I'll pitch to play an O's this right trigger, O's trigger, create two rune chance. And then Oh it makes one on that's one. Okay, yeah. Sure. I'll move to end turn. Yes. Our arsenal one. Yep. Plus you. Play blood incantation yellow. Okay. Yeah. On this. Gives the last turn. Mm -hmm. And spell play. Uh, this right trigger and two from this. Three. Coming for four.
sorry. Um, just been a lot of Viceroy games today, so. And it's been a long day. Turn around since. Okay. We'll block two. Take two. Oh, take two. Can I touch my instep? Last two. You don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> I will play an Oath of the Arc Knight, switching a Dread Cryptic. I have one floating Oath Triggers create a rune chant. And it's just the next attack, but any attack? Uh, the next rune blade attack gains plus one. I will break. Skeleta. Yes. Sorry, I'm just gonna put this here. Yeah. And then I will play for free with the reduction a spellblade strike. Spellblade strike triggers, this right triggers create two rune chants. Uh, yeah. And it's coming in for five physical. Three arcane. Yeah, because of this. Yep. One floating, two counts. Yes. I'm taking the three. Okay. Seventeen. I just realized I already messed this up badly. Uh, okay. Um, at instant speed, I use. Actually, sorry. You block five. Um, sorry, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. <laughs> okay. Uh, at instant speed, I'll use my spellbound creepers, and I'll play a sonata, uh, which will only see these two. So in total, it will be reduced by. I'm assuming I'm revealing four cards. Pretty much. Four cards, actually. Yeah, I agree with four cards. <laughs> then uh, well, I have I, to change the sign. I, I messed it up. I just forgot my timing with Skeleta. So, four cards. One, two, three, four. This is just amazing. I'm taking one. Okay. Uh, three, so, we could do this. That is a play. Uh, the other play can't do that. Like this. Okay, so we'll get the amplifier here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Thank you. He took the arcane, so it will stick to this turn at least. Yeah, I took the arcane earlier. Mm -hmm. so really... I think that's a spread. Thank you. 
uh, and then we will play the amplify for three and six. This right trigger is created rune chant. So I'm taking the three, go to 13. Go to 13. And back on the skull cap and going to nine. Go to nine. Uh, Arsenal, my last card, oh. and move to end turn. Uh, yes. Start of my turn. Mm hmm. Which turn one in a room chat? Yep. Oh. Break my portal hand. Mm -hmm. Need to charge. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'll take the six arcane, I know that already. Okay, no, yeah. Go to twelve. Which ones? And then you're coming in for nine, two cards behind. I will pass here. Take the nine, go to three. We're just Arsenal pass now, don't we? <laughs> Rubble? Oh, oh, damn. Gain one and gain four more. Yep. Well, that's I'm missing good. one resource. I think this is the most dominant. It's actually the same. How are you missing one resource? Mm. Uh, this is matter. Because you can block this out, but you can't block this out. I don't know. Yeah, six two two. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I gotta block the six arcane. Take two and then block two physical. So you got one? Uh no. Oh one. Um yeah, that was my turn. Uh, my turn, I'll pass straight back to you. Uh, spellbound Creepers breaks. Yes. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Moving skies. Mm -hmm. Red trip trigger. Trigger here. Then gain one from play the non attack action. I didn't deal arcane, and uh, yeah, if it hits it, makes three. Now block four. Two, two, and two. Yeah, uh, I can. This is trigger. Yeah? You didn't take it up on the spot of the turn. Oh. Uh, 
it's okay, it's not gonna matter because I can block the two arcane, I can skull cap to block the other two, and then I take the two physical. Good okay. game. Thank you. Good game, guys. Congratulations for Jonas on winning that top eight match. We will catch up with him shortly for a bit of a chat. Welcome back to Leeds Royal Armoury for the Living Realms Battle Hardened event. Joined by Jonas. Thank you. That was a hard four game, wasn't it? Well done. Definitely was. Well done. Thank Top you. eight. Thank you. Oh, God. So, Sharif started really well. Got you down to nine health. Yes. I saw you pop that ninth blade in the Arsenal, and I was just like, I've seen games where ninth blade goes in the Arsenal, and then that is it. And it's stuck, and it is never coming out. And as soon as you did it, I, I cringed. <laughs> It's a good job you can see my face, but flipping heck, what a comeback! Yeah, that was one hell of a turn. <laughs> I think it's really good in the mirror, and and the plan was no matter what to play the next turn. Um, hopefully I would also draw a sonata. I didn't, but um, yeah, just popping the the gloves, getting two more rune chants, and the skeleton. Then he has to block with at least most of his hand, well, so he, he gets to do something much. again next turn. Right? Yeah, yeah, that set you up nicely for you know leaving him on one health, and you just like you know the writing's on the wall. He's giving you a free turn here. Exactly. It was yeah, very well played, really well played. Um, we saw you in the top eight yesterday. Yeah. Um, you know, unfortunately, you lost in that one. But how how did you find yesterday? Did it set you up for today? Calm the nerves because because you guys have travelled. I mean, there's there's three of you that have travelled from Copenhagen. Yes. I think it's amazing that you you've come over. Thank you so much. It is brilliant that it's you know we're getting the you know we're getting players of your caliber come over and play. It's the UK fantastic. players are really nice, so it's been a, a pleasure to come here and, and play. And and the tournament's been running really smoothly, and yeah. there's been no hiccups or anything, so it's been very nice. Uh, I think yesterday we ca we just came out to broker season, so I've been playing CC. Yeah, yeah. And I had to add like a week to figure out what to play for for Blitz. What did you play in ProQuest? I played three different decks and I did horrible at each of the progress. So okay. that was uh, 
that was the best advice a friend gave me was why don't you just stick to one deck yeah, yeah so yeah, i picked yeah. the deck pretty early Sounds on promise, uh, this week promise. and then i played it um, at a local armory and, and with some friends to figure out how does it work and stuff like that and swat, swapped a few cards around and then yesterday it was practice right uh, yeah yeah totally i uh, changed the deck from yesterday i played two defense tracks yesterday i don't do that today for example is that the what, just sigils like, of suffering no it's um it was uh, singular okay and it was only because i was scared of benji but mm -hmm. there weren't that many benji players um, uh, and i think the matchup is pretty yeah. special i favored anyway so yeah <laughs> so i just took the <laughs> Yeah, yeah, unless you're hitting me with 11 cards or a 14 card hand, I think I can probably out damage yeah. it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, yeah, it's, it's been nice and it was definitely um, reassured me that I was playing this right today as well when I did it yesterday. Well, yeah, 50% conversion rate for this right yesterday. It's not yeah. as high today. Um, but, yeah, yeah, you're one hell of a player. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, um, are, you, are you going to Krakow? Are you playing in the calling over there? What, what's your plans? For, for, I haven't booked a ticket. I, I want to go to Krakow, but yeah. but I have to like, figure out with work and stuff. Can I can I actually go? Yeah. Um, and it is Blitz, and this was the test. Today was the test of can you play a big tournament in Blitz yeah. without feeling like you're losing to random stuff. Yeah. It's, and I think ten it, rounds is a hell of a long time to play as well. Exactly. But but just going into a bit yesterday and today, I think it shows that Blitz is actually quite skill based, and of course you'll take a maybe you'll take a loss to a. KO player who high rolls yeah, like yeah. or something like that, but most of the time I, th I think it's it's very skill based and, and the micro decisions are, are really important. But it's where in CC you can actually get away with making some mistakes, yeah, uh, because of the life total so high. But in Blitz it's just really punishing whenever you. It, it can mistake. be. Yeah. The thing is, I mean, you're playing this right. It's not the easiest of heroes to play. You know, people are seeing him like generate a massive amount of rune charts. Yes, he's mm. got the cards like Reveling Rune Blood. You know, you've got the ways to tutor cards either in your discard pile or, or your or your main deck. But you've got to be able to pick up those four cards or have a card in Arsenal. Uh, uh, sorry, in, in Arsenal. And you've got to be able to read those cards correctly to get the right li lines out. You know, yeah. it's quite mentally taxing. It is. You know, to is. try and, you know, do the maths really fast. Um, so, yeah, you know, people just go, yeah, I'll pick up a Vistra, here we go. But, you know, there's no way I can pick up a Vistra. I'm looking at it going, nah, nah, I'll, I'll just stick it with Dorinfi. I'll play, I'll play my sword, I'll yeah. play, it, you know, an attack reaction. So, you know, hats off to you. I Thank wish you. you all the best of luck, you know, going through for the rest of this tournament and much. the future to come. Thank you. And hopefully you'll be back yeah, over yeah. in the UK. It's been a nice experience. So I'm definitely coming. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Welcome back to Leeds Royal Armoury. I've been joined by Matt Folks. You've just won your top eight game versus Sebastian. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Top eight can be a bit of a relief to get through. Um, you got the relief of getting in, and you just know, right, the competition's about to rack up a little bit. Well, I, I think I have a different perspective on on uh, on how people look at top eights. Like, uh, a lot of people, you know, they celebrate, yeah, I made the top eight, you know. Yeah. I try you know specifically to not celebrate or like because all that matters is the next match you know yeah and that like okay that's just one step along the path of, of what the goal is to but, achieve but the thing today. is you're used to getting into it's this. not even about getting being used to it you know because right, okay. uh, you know i always feel lucky to have done well at an event you know you always need fortune to go on your side and yeah, i think yeah. i had a great deck today and i think I, I think i played decently well but like you know it's not it's not about it's it's about not celebrating too early you know i don't i don't want to say oh I'm really happy I made the top eight, you know, I want to approach and, you know, you'll see this both in my games in the Swiss today or like a tournament like Nationals. Yeah. Like I played even, you know, I, after day one at Nationals, I was locked into the, into the top eight, but like I still yeah. approached every single match with the same uh, intensity and, and desire to win because it's important to me that I continue to stay focused. I don't yeah. relax and, and say, oh, it's all done. Like, you know, you know, like I just want to keep focus on the next match and play the best game of flesh and blood I can continually, you know? Yeah. Um, but they, you're searching out the best players now to play against, to practice, aren't you? Yes, yeah. You know, you play, played against Brendan Patrick. Um, well, I've been, I've been slapping him about. <laughs> you play against Tariq. Um, yeah, I've been playing against Tariq a uh, good amount. Well, for a long time, uh, I've been playing against Tariq pretty much since he started, yeah. Sorry for mispronouncing your name. Yeah, it's I'll, I'll apologise for that. I'm sure he's probably crushing it in Indianapolis right now. So probably. he, I, I saw he made day two and imagine he's smashing his way through the field there. He's an exceptional player. Exceptional human, actually. So, it's right. um, so Seb's game. Sorry to change tack. No, no, it's fine. Um, so Seb's games. How did you how did you find Viserai versus Brian? Because Seb doesn't particularly have the time to play CC, so he plays a lot of blitz. Yeah. Um, and you know he bought Brian today, and he's done really well with it. How do yep. you feel Viserai is into Brian? Because because you know, I mean you took Brian Cheerio. No, I way. love Brian. I have big big place in my heart for Brian. Um, I think. So I get to go. I get to, get to have the play, which I think is really, really important. Uh, but it was a bit strange. Uh, I ended up blocking quite a lot. Uh, I spent, I spent my first turn completely blocking out, even though I had a really good hand. But he had a, a plunder run into an enlightened strike, into a snatch that was threatening a lot of drawing. And I just had to block. Uh, it's normally how you, not normally how you play Viserai, but well, like, yeah, I know. Considering that last chat we had, you're just like, no, we don't block, we just go for Yeah, but it was just one of those games where you look at it and you're like, oh, it's a good hand, but like. You, you, you if I let him... looked at his output and just went, he's yeah, going to I was do like, more you know, I've got to. I just got to wait it out a little bit, you know, hope that mm. I can do a little bit here, a little bit there, try and get, you know, something together. And it, it, it wasn't like I was like on last ropes, real dicey, but like I needed to play a bit patient because I know that, you know, Given the right cards, my deck can find some absurd output. Oh, we've seen that. Yeah, okay. yeah. So I was like, I just, I waited, and then I managed to piece together a turn that went Rattlebones, uh, it was like Quillham, Skeleta, Rattlebones, Gloomvale, Gloomvale, Rebel, Weapon Attack. And he, he sort of banked on, he banked, which is, I don't think, unreasonable, um, on me not being able to finish him off, he was a, a decent life total, um, and still had equipment to block with, um, and so he opted to take the first gloom veil. Um, but then because I had the rebel, I just had enough arcane that I could just kill him from eight or yeah. from seven. I had exactly, I had eight arcane on the end, and so he just wasn't able to interact and die with cards in hand. And like, I think it was reasonable. I had basically the best things I could have had after thing, and I don't think. I don't think you can rarely, especially against this, right, play against the top of your opponent's range. Um, so, like, I no no discredit from thinking I. I think that the bride deck certainly is explosive, um, and like if you, if you get your opponent on the back foot, especially a hit deck like this, right, if you get them on the back foot and get them blocking, then cert, then like once you're on two three cards. Viserai's hand starts to look really anemic. Yeah, and if he's playing a version of Cheerios, he might not be running that many blues to withstand your assault. Yeah, like a, exactly. The amount of arcane damage you can generate. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, like you said, they don't... They struggle with the arcane, so they have to get you on the back foot. It's, yeah. it's, it's very much a momentum-based game. Um, and the first, like I said, the first couple of turns, which, you know, it's weird to say that a game 
was long because it lasted three turns, but that's sort of the blitz format we're yeah. in, you know. <laughs> you know, we get reached we reached the late game, also known as turn three. It's sort of a bizarre thing to say, but how much stuff have I got left yeah. in my in my equipment kit? Yeah, um but but yeah, I'm just I'm really happy to have won the top eight and I'm just focused on my next match. I I believe I've just seen my friend Pete. I think he's just won his semi final. Yeah. Um so, so Pete, let's talk about Pete. Yeah, please happily. So so Pete we shall call him your protege sure. for flesh and blood I'm so happy. he taught you magic apparently. he taught me magic about five years ago ruined my life completely yeah and now you taught me... him flesh and blood exactly I, and i taught him on friday night shows what caliber of player he is pete's an exceptional exceptional player one of the brightest minds i know he pete's especially been amazing at just picking something up without really any reps on it and just putting the pieces together almost from nothing you yeah. know and so I knew that I was like, I've been begging him for months to come to a flesh and blood tournament. I was like, trust me, bro. You're going to be great. You're going to crush. I get to, I, I'm not 100% certain because I haven't actually, but I believe from what I can see, I think he has one and I have to now play him in the semi final, which is terrifying because A, I know he's a really good player. And, you know, it's always stressful to play against yeah, one I of am, your best friends. I am not going to put you on stream. I'd be, I don't mind to. I don't mind to. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've done it for other people when they're playing their best mate. I know that this is, you know, the pressure of the top four. And people want to well, want to see you. But I'll ask him. But my, my plan is not to put to put you too often. You okay. know, simply because I know how much this means to you. Yeah. And the pressure. I don't want the pressure of the camera. I don't mind. I, I'm, I'm happy to play. Happy to not. I'm just here to play flesh and blood. That's okay. been my goal from the get-go. And I, I'm just going to keep doing that. I'm having some, again... Every time I come to a tournament, I think, God, I'm having the best time. <laughs> and then Monday comes and I'm like, I'm a zombie. Oh, yeah. I, you know? I, I go to work the next day. I'm just like, oh, my God, I yeah. didn't even like play. After the ProQuest season. So this is, for me, because I played yesterday, I've played nine events. So five ProQuests and then the Skirmish yesterday and uh, the Battle Heart today. Played nine events in five weekends. And I'm yeah. playing every day on top of that. Like, uh, I said to my girlfriend, oh, I can't wait for next weekend. And she goes, oh, what's next weekend? And I go, not playing any flesh and blood. Um, <laughs> no, which is not a testament to not enjoying the game. It's a testament to really, you know, I've, yeah, but you say I've been deep in the partner. trenches. Your partner came today yeah. playing uh, Benji? No, no, she was playing uh, Briar. Briar. Briar as well. At, I saw her up on table 14. Yeah, she was making a good run of it. She was making a good run of it. Yeah, yeah I started to look, go, we, we're going to get your partner on, on streaming yeah. it. And... You know, she's a phenomenal guy. Oh, she's an incredible, again, an incredibly bright human being. Someone I'm lucky to be able to associate with, I think. Uh, like, like you said, I, I've been seeking out the best people to play with. Because I think, you know, the people around you elevate you a lot. Yeah, push you, push you um, totally. Yeah. And, 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 you know, I just want to say that, like, anyone, anyone watching, I, I'm always happy to play with people that message me and ask, you know. And where are you? Where can they find you? Can you can find me on Discord or Twitter, just Matthew, folks. Um, I'm pretty open and available. Like, I... I think that getting in as much practice as possible is really important. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think you can almost always find a lesson from basically everyone. You know, if someone's got a different perspective or something that you think, I didn't, that's not my experience. You know, why do they think that? Yeah. Can I take something from that? You know, um, so yeah. Nice. I wish you all the very best. Yeah. Luck. Only job's not done. No. There's only one focus and that's the next round. <laughs> you know, that, that, if, 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 even if Pete lies in my way, I'll, you know, just nice, keep trucking. Nicely, a friend, friendly, uh, yeah. six arcane, friend, friendly eight. Yeah. Have a friendly eight, the Sonata. Yeah, between <laughs> friends, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Barry. Cheers.
Hello everybody. So obviously you saw Barry catching up with Matt there and also previously catching up with Jonas. Now we do have the result from the third table, which was Peter versus Scott. I believe Peter has actually won that, so that's Kasai. And that likely means that he's going to set up Viserai versus Kasai with Matt versus Peter. Um, we do still have our two Guardians going at it. So uh, that's David Carth on Bravo and Francesco Giorgioni on Oldham. Obviously, that's going to be quite a long and lengthy game with the fatigue strategy that both of them can employ. So hopefully they will be coming towards the end so we can get on with our quarterfinal. Um, but I do feel that whoever comes out of that game is probably going to be a little bit more worn out going into that top four. So stay tuned and we'll get you back as soon as we can.
Gaming Realms. So um, we are here today with Tabletop24. Um, it's an honor to have you. Thank you for covering the, um, the shop and thank you for um, doing the Nationals as well. Um, it's going to be a wild ride. Uh, that's it. Let's show a little bit of what Living Realms does. So we do board games, all sorts, really. Um, there's war gaming, painting. Uh, we have the shop divided by areas, so we don't mix everything up. Uh, we also have a workshop here, so people can have paint nights, um, can enjoy themselves in the evening. Um, there's a game library, uh, people are free to browse through it, play games, come with their families, there's all ages here. Uh, you, you can see that we are massive fans of Flesh and Blood, so you can see every, a little bit of Flesh and Blood everywhere. Um, yeah, uh, we do all card games, most of the card games, the big ones, um, even small ones also. We give an opportunity to every card game to prove himself and, and, and the community shoes if he wants to, to play the card game or not. Uh, as I can see, we can see by flesh and blood that we started in the UK with the release of Crucible of War and, and it's been strong. And at the moment, we have one, two, three, four, five sets. Um, that's something that's a successful card game. A lot of Blitz decks people can choose from. Um, it's an amazing game. Uh, we have upstairs, so we have two floors. We 64 people in total. 32 downstairs, 32 upstairs. Uh, comfortable. Uh, female and male toilets. So we, we try to be the most inclusive possible. This, is, this playing here is a little bit more private, more inside. It's called the Hall of Heroes. So welcome to the Hall of Heroes. Uh, so it's a more casual, thematic place. Um, it's more inside, more warm. We try to keep the, the feeling um, of rustic industrial um, style. We also have a game library uh, we normally run our Forge of War for Flesh and Blood here. Most of the big events um, happen here, also with the, um, with the support of downstairs. Uh, we also have here a, a, a very cool piece of art. Um, this was born from the partnership we have with Dragon Shield. Uh, so it's a piece of lore. Uh, we were introduced to the world of Dragon Shield in the Rodinian um, lore. It's Living Realms of Arcania. Um, you guys can check it later, read. I have the piece online, so everyone can have a look. Uh, and then this side, uh, we have the Rodinian, the big continent dragon. Uh, it's also a piece provided by Dragon Shield directly. Um, they are amazing. They, the latest um, showcast um, spotlights this dragon and have this piece of artwork. Uh, thank you, Tabletop24, for coming and covering us. Uh, check out our store. We have a website. Uh, and see you for some amazing games. Just bobbing into the shop. Thank you.
Okay, everybody, we are still waiting for our last of the top four to finish. There are not many cards left in each player's deck, so we shouldn't be too much longer. Obviously, we will try and give our players a quick break in between the rounds. They're not playing the other top four game because they want all the top fours to, to start at the same time. So stick with us and we will be back as soon as possible. And welcome to Tabletop 24. Thank you for joining us. I'm down here at Living Realm, so a bit of different change of scenery for me. And thank you to Fabio for letting me in the building to do some coverage for other events down here and also some preparations for the, uh, the Nationals for Flesh and Blood. And I thought it'd be a really good idea to get hold of Fabio to go through how Flesh and Blood and Living Realm's relationship started and, and some bits about the community and everything down here. So, so Fabio, why Flesh and Blood, first of all? Why Flesh and Blood? Yeah. Um... Well, Flesh and Blood released it really close to us uh, opening the shop. So it was back in November 2020, I believe, um, was the release of um, Crucible of War. Um, we already had some boxes before from New Zealand. We ordered some boxes, me and Ryan, my business partner. Um, and we were completely in love with the, with the game and the way the, the mechanics of the game worked. And, and to be honest, the, my favorite hero is still the same, the warrior, Dorintia, from Welcome to Raid. And um, I can just just tell enough good things about the game. Um, yeah, during the, the execution of the business plan to open Living Realms, we always had flesh and blood in in our minds, and we wanted to do something, a, a shop, and something that was about the experience, about playing great games. And we look at the core of flesh and blood, playing in the flesh and blood, uh, makes perfectly sense to be one of our most recognized games in the United Kingdom. Yeah. So obviously there's a, a lot of space down here at Living Realms and some nice space as well. Uh, hopefully you will catch that on one of our other videos throughout the stream um, or, or on the on our YouTube channel. But for for Living Realms, this Nationals isn't the only event. You've done several armories, several casual events, but also you did the Road to Nationals as well. Yes. Um, so we run a more casual event on Tuesdays, uh, Forge of War. Um, it kicked um, one or two weeks ago. Uh, we used to do just learn to play and, and a little bit more casual, but we felt like the community needed another day to play um, Blitz, Constructed, Draft. Um, we are also running our army Thursdays. Um, as it stands, it's still Saturday. We're going to change it to Thursdays. Um, we run, I think, I, I, I would like to think that we run a very successful Road to Nationals. Uh, we had the biggest in the UK. Um, we run in two floors. Was quite, quite insane, <laughs> uh, but but was successful. I think people enjoy it, and and we did all, the max we could to, to do it. Yeah, and we've been running Flesh and Blood since really the beginning in the United Kingdom. Uh, armories since day one. Um, trying to push the game was really hard in the beginning. Um, most people needed to be convinced um, that the game deserved some trust. Uh, but I think we passed the message and we were able to, to do it. Yeah, brilliant. So obviously that was, there's a lot on that organized play spectrum. And then, so why nationals then? So how did that come about? Uh, well, I'm not 100% I'm not sure how this <laughs> came to be reality. Uh, we put a lot of effort in the community. We support a lot of our local players and also um, nationwide. Uh, we try uh, for Flesh and Blood to be a, a balanced and healthy game community-wise. Uh, we run the, the Facebook group, I don't know if you know, uh, since, since the beginning we did the Facebook group and we tried to get, in, get the masses around Flesh and Blood in the United Kingdom. Um, and pretty much that's it, it was a, a, a role of, of things that happened. Um, we went from um, one season of the skirmish uh, to run, we run the first skirmish and then, no, actually, sorry, uh, we run the first skirmish online because we were in lockdown. Then season two, we managed to do it almost outside uh, restrictions. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to limit people, but still we were able. Uh, we did Road to Nationals. Uh, some of our locals and some of the players in the community 
reached out to me, told me that we should be the ones running the nationals. Um, we should be the ones putting forwards. They, they also had the word, they know what they, who they are. They had the word with LSS also pushing us forwards. And that's it, we got the invitation and we told um, Legendary Story Studios, let's go. There's no way for us to say no to something like this. And we want to make the first European national, the biggest one, um, and kick the season well. So the other nationals go with the momentum. And we have an amazing professional scene in, in Europe for Flesh and Blood. Yeah. So obviously this video is being pre-recorded uh, before the Nationals event because um, Fabio is going to be extremely busy on the day yes. and I'll be behind the <laughs> camera for most of it myself. So um, what are you hoping for the Nationals event? Um, just people having fun and enjoying themselves. Uh, it's a massive opportunity for them for, to experience a more complex uh, series of events on a professional level. Um, really is going to be the biggest flesh and blood event in the UK is, uh, to date. I hope there's more big events to come everywhere in the country. Uh, but I just hope that all that energy from um, 100 people together playing the game uh, will, will show the world and show everyone that flesh and blood is a, a game to stay and, and just brings joy to people to play it. Yeah, yeah. So it's not just the Nationals at the weekend. You, you've really been a bit of a glutton for punishment, aren't you? So <laughs> we've got the, the Battle Hardened on the yes. Friday. So that's the Blitz event. So how many players have we got down for that? Uh, so we're going to have Friday 64 players uh, playing Blitz. Um, then we go into Saturday with the National happening, 96 people invited. Um, we, alongside with that, is going to have um, fire drafts. So we're going to have drafts on demand if anyone wants to join us. Uh, there's a welcome event also going on in the, um, in the venue. We have enough space to, to have a, an open area to show what is flesh and blood. Actually, the banner is what is flesh and blood. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Um, we're going to have a dedicated person there helping out. Um, after that, we go into Sunday. It will be the heaviest day because we're going to run the ProQuest. And there's a, a PTI in the Gold Skull Cup, Art Knight's Gold Cup. Uh, in game, so yeah. people will get competitive about it. Yeah. And of course, the top 24 will be playing uh, an intricacy of draft constructed in the series of events. Um, yeah, it's going to be a full weekend, Friday to Sunday. Yeah, yeah, no, and it, I'm really looking forward to it. And it's, it's going to be nice to see some of the community. So, obviously, with the ProQuest on Sunday, um, we've also got the top 24, isn't it, for the, yes, for the Nationals? So, same time. we'd probably expect a lot of the players that were playing on the Saturday that were unfortunate to make the cut probably going into that. That pro quest, as well as people that wasn't able to get in, the, get in for the top, the top cut for either invites or for the top ninety six on the leaderboard. So, yeah. hopefully, we're going to see some really good games over the weekend. Uh, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank Fabio for for getting me involved. You're welcome. And, and hopefully, we're going to produce some amazing content for uh, the weekend. And we've got some things lined up for you. So, with with that, take care. And we'll catch you next time. Cheers. Okay, then, as you will have seen, the Francesco has won out against David Carr um, in a very hard fought out Guardian uh, fly off. It was a pulse of Eisenloft that actually blocked out the last of David's attacks, so quite, quite well, and come back at the right time there for Francesco. So, we're obviously going to let him have a quick break, and then we were going to get on Francesco versus Jonas. Um, so, that will be your top four. Stay tuned, and we'll be back with you.
Just waiting for players to come back from the appropriate comfort breaks and we should hopefully get you underway shortly. What championship did you win? Well, I didn't win it, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, that was uh, Barcelona. Uh, oh, nice. Did, uh, did you play Magic? Yeah, I played some, but I never... I didn't uh -huh. Yeah, this was a modern one, I think. Uh, it was modern with Dogak, so there was not every time such. <laughs> But but this is my favorite player, my touch. He's good. He's really good in this format, I think. I'm going to make a seismic search. Um, discard the card, unless you pay one. How many cards that two? Two cards. Pay one. Uh, end of turn? Yeah. Pass. Pass. Okay. Yeah.
funding and nanotechnology. Um, which way did we go? In yep. three minutes. Go to my instep. Yep. Ask me. Go to Pops. Yes. Channel rigid. Yeah. Uh, crown. How, how did you crown? This cost two. Oh, sorry. My bad. Thank you, Dr. Custer. Sorry. Make a seismic search. Mm -hmm. Main power nine. Yeah. Just thinking. Yeah, yeah. Seven. I'll go to 18. End of turn, this gets counter ice card on the bot. And I'll put this one. And then uh, this one. Then this one, then this one. Mm -hmm. Two. I'm gonna end my turn. That's fine. Throw one. Yeah. Done. So I'll play that for sure. Uh, 
uh, go again. Come back. Start with this. No, uh, yeah, well, it's blocked. <laughs> um, end of turn, so close to chain, end of turn, this one dies. Uh, Arsenal, I'll pass this good on bot. Ocean. Uh, oh, this thing, okay. Chance. Gives the next rune blade attack. Go again, it's yellow, so I create two on hit. I will create two rune chance. Okay, okay, okay. Skeleton? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, okay. This right trigger? That was not what I expected. That was not what I expected. I trust it. I'm going to crown. Yes. So this has go again because of this. I agree. And if it hits, you make two room shots. Block two rune chunks. Nine. I'll tell you what I'm done. So you take the three here? Uh, oh yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah, this one I'm going to take three. 17. I'll tell you when I'm done. This is six. Nine. You get a frostbite. Yes. Okay. Uh, reactions? No. Nope. I will ice react. You put cards on top of your deck. Right. That's it. Well, 
file uh, draw card. Eight Arsenal pass. Teatro? Uh, yes, moving Spanish. Make your room chance on one. Yes, it's one. Ten wrist right triggers. It's trigger, so I get three. One card left. Yes. Well, yeah, I'm going to take that and then I'll block two. Fifteen. Okay. Say, mm -hmm. probably in a good Okay. Four. Four more. Yes. Eight, two, and two. Eight, two, and two. So it's twelve. Yes. Twelve. Need this. Pitch this. I think this is how it's gonna be. Uh, I think eight, ten, twelve. Yes. I go to three. I'm on fifteen. I think. I had you on sixteen. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, I took that. Uh. Yeah, good. What's my turn? Uh, this is destroyed. This has two counters. I will pitch three for Terra Sunder mm -hmm. and then up for nine dominate. If it hits you, you uh this card to this card one or two card. is it uh, do two i cards. choose do i choose do you choose Was nine? Hmm? Nine? Nine. Can I see a graveyard? You can see, when I see what it's actually like. Rouse is down. So throw the other rounds. Four. Yeah, you take five, you go to three, and you discard two cards.
Right, I apologise there for everybody, um, as you will see, and the jokes are in the chat, that we did get a bit of a frostbite token on our uh, stream there. Unfortunately, we lost all internet connection. So um, we're trying to stabilise that for the final. We obviously will have everything up on video on demand. I will try and actually get the top eight cut out as soon as possible for that. It might be later on uh, tonight. It may be well be in the morning. Um, apologies for that. That will mean that we have the same matchup again. Matt Folks is victorious on the other top four. So we will be seeing Viscerai versus Oldham again very shortly. Stay tuned and apologies again. Was Pete not going to the PT or are you yeah. are giving him the he just did, does luck again? He doesn't know. He doesn't okay, know. that's fine.
Alright, I'm right. Consuming my sleeves. Just thinking. Staring longingly into James's eyes, sorry, that's what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, well, after thinking about it, I will play Rosetta Pond. Um, not that, not that thing, <laughs> I don't even know what the other one was. No, I don't think there is another one, so. Not that I have. It's actually No, this is just a... Uh, J yeah, I know, but sorry, <laughs> this is not my deck, it's just a... Is that okay? Yeah, yeah no, it's just a rune chant. Um, this is not the worst. It used to be really good in chain. Um, Before this. <laughs> and then this is... Just making sure all oh, my deck is the same way around. You're welcome to do the same. Uh, I've already did like oh. a thousand times. Okay, so. good. Good, good, good. Thank you. Oh, they're not even in the top eight over there. Oh, thank God. What time is it? You're driving home tonight? Yeah. <laughs> Five hours? Less for some. Nice, I went for it before. But Joe is driving. So. <laughs> oh, very nice. <laughs> I, I, need I, am, to drive. I am driving. I am playing. Let's go. Yeah, just make sure I have it the right way up. No shenanigans. Good luck, Jessica. Make five rune chance. And the dude that talks for four. One floating.
Verdade. Vamos lá. Five go again. Uh, eighteen. This one is cross, but this one is open as well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there already. So five cuts. Just let me think. Uh, so it's basically x equals two. Yeah. Chuck. All attacks. But not all attacks. So one again. I'm taking that. That works. Cards in hand. Then two. Two. I'm gonna get a minute to do this. Choose, so yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, choose. yeah. Uh, I will take your king 19. Oh, maybe I shouldn't take it. Ah, but it's fine. I'm sure I could have done it there. Oh. One card. Yep. Okay. Oh, two cards. Two cards, sorry. Two cards, sorry. Yep. Mm -hmm. You get a frostbite. Um, so five, uh, five arcane first, yeah. Take five.
if they won. Yeah. We have so many going there. Make a rune charm. So this is in your arsenal? Yeah. So, um, coming for four. Go again. Full and a room shot, yeah. So a room shot. I'll block three, take two, take two, yeah. twelve. I will, um, that's one. My turn. Yeah, the drop, sorry. Yeah. This is on your turn, so, yeah, yeah. so you're passing. Yeah, through. you drop? Yeah. yeah. My turn. Yeah. This one. Yes. Mm. Nine dominate and put two cards on the bottom. Mm. I run. Take nine. So the two cards you have are Blizzard and so. Yeah, yeah. Three go. Yeah, that makes sense. You can just pick if you'd like. No, okay, I'll pick it. Just make sure it's all good. So two cards to random. This ones. Yeah, just you don't look. Yeah, okay. No, no, no. I know, no. I this wasn't gonna look. It? Yeah, yeah. I was just picking. So. You picked the order. Um, So I'm going to end my turn. Arsenal, well, you don't get to see. Uh, this one. And then I'll draw three.
I don't know what that does. So I'm gonna That's just read a pitch it. 30, but you can read it, yeah, sure. I'm just gonna... Yeah, yeah, you think about make that. Sure you probably already know, but... Is right. um, yeah, that's that is... Okay. Just in case it comes up. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sure, thank you. I block the arcane, he doesn't have go again. Great, on hit, make a run chant. It's probably it's not gonna happen. So. Uh, grand. So you'll block the arcane or your grand? Wait. So I make another ring chunk, yeah, I've already done that. So this is coming. Block their king. With another ring? Yes. Okay. Then I will crown. Mm This plus crown? Yeah. You're in nine. This one is done. Don't have the uh, the old pulse. <laughs> I don't have the pulse. Oh, okay. I wish I did. I will say thank you on that regard. Let me think. We'll block for three, four, five, six. You take, well, uh, you can confirm when it. Take a one, yeah. Yeah. Eight. So, two, one. Yeah, that's not like this.
Not a full zero? No. Three attacks. It's all one side. Yeah. One round. Ah, oh, finally got seed stone. What does this go? This says to? on hit. Yeah, yeah, I know this one. This one to six on. and the cost less. Yeah. It costs one. And it doesn't have go again. Oh, yes, yeah, go again because of this. Okay. Make a red song. That is fine. That's fine. I would like to make him lose go again unless you pay two. Um, does it matter? Let me think. Um, I don't think it does. I don't think it matters. I'm just making sure I can think of any any possible reason why it could. Um. Oh, it could matter, yeah. I will, uh, I will not, not pay yet. Mm-hmm. Then. So the two are king. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking. Sure. So if I do this, I take three. If I do this, I take two and that hits me, so this sounds, sounds like it's worse. Oh no, that works well. Okay. Block six. Oh, sorry, the arcane. I'm taking two. Oh, okay. So, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, you can draw. With Frosty. One card in hand. Yeah, I will blow up for something. Mm -hmm. No, I don't 
Thank you, Milton. Let's move on. Get some breaths. Dominate your intent. Yeah. Uh, this much. Hmm. I will. Lock. Three. Yep. Oh, at least that guy's gone. Okay. That is still up. Watch some of Pitch two. Mm -hmm. Play a rune flash. Uh, four go again. Uh, and uh, I think one yeah, in yeah, yeah, And you have one card. So let's go again, Red Soul. Uh, ah, okay. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. You have no resources. No, I was thinking you didn't play a thing for this. No, yeah, I did not. I'll take five. Good five. Mm -hmm. I will read the Make three ring chance. All right, wait, 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 wait. Fuck. Just go see. Yeah, no. say this is <laughs> impressive. I'm speeding fast. I'm gonna play this card, revealing go. Uh, six, uh, thingies. Yeah. So you get six, so I'm on five to eight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's still here. Three for this. Oh, I can't get that one. I'm going to get this. It's just this one, though. Mm -hmm. I am also going to crown when you die. Okay. So this goes on the bottom. And then I draw a card. This is my end. Like you're playing prison. 
Let's see what it's eight. Anyway, those one crack. I have six of these. And now I have to think. Seven for this eight dominate. Eight dominate. Three suspect. Um, all right, let me think about it. We've just seen a fantastic win by Francesco Giorgio. We'll get him on camera and have a chat with him in a minute.
welcome back to Leeds Armoury for our end of winners chat with Francesco. <laughs> oh my God, what a final! Congratulations! Thank you. <laughs> that was absolutely brilliant. Little stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, I nearly got you on. I think round three. It yes, a bit yes. of a mix up. You sat down to come on, then there was a repair in with Tom, and then you went away. And I'm so happy that I came back to you and got you on air. <laughs> you said you had this aggressive oaken deck. And I was like, oh, that sounds really interesting. We'll get you back on. Oh, my God. Aggressive. Yeah, I, I built it as aggressive as I could because, uh, well, I'm actually not that experienced. So I thought I probably can't just, I will go to time if I try to uh, to, the, to defend with all team. Uh, I thought it could work and, uh, and it did. So yeah, indeed. Well, good. most people are used to, you know, old man winter being so slow and you had a really fatiguing game versus Dave. Yes, yes, versus um, Bravo. Yeah, in in the in your top eight, and it was just like, oh my god! I mean, you were both nearly out of cards, and yes. you just managed to get him. Um, went into that top four match, and it, that was so aggressive, like dominated glacial footsteps into an endless winter, into an oak and old yes, fused, yes, yes, and it yes. was just like you, 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 you broke our stream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, he crashed them. Yeah, this is it's crazy. I was like, oh my god, he's stringing them together. <laughs> and I mean, you had a really good game versus Matt. You put him under so much pressure. He, he kind of whiffed on the sonata. Yes, I was very, I was very lucky there. Like once he whiffs on the sonata, my because it, it was funny because my hand during the sonata turn was insane. I uh, dominated Oak and Old, which then I got to play. And usually you don't get to play it after they. Break the Skeleta. Yeah. But uh, then he missed with, well, he got one card out of the Sonata, and then I thought, yeah, I'm probably going to win one. Yeah. yeah. So, you, yes, yeah, so you had Oak and Old. You, you put the Blizzard. I know you shuffled your cards, but it's just like, well, that Blizzard's going in, in your ass. That, that Blizzard, I think I had that Blizzard for multiple turns. Like, the Blizzard is, is fundamental in, in the matchup. Because yeah. they, they have to place around so many things. There's the Ice Shield, and then there's. Uh, the blizzard and the ice react have to play out so many cards and that uh, they don't have that many blues so yeah indeed it was a, a, you came in with a stalagmite at the right time to give him a frostbite to, yeah, to, yeah, to yeah. stop his turn and at the end it looked like you know he, he was going to get another little run and then you you got that blizzard out and it was just like well he only had two resources mm -hmm. left and you were just like you're not yeah, coming the, in with rosetta the blizzard basically saves five damage right? yeah you, you protected yourself so well better. Um, it was fantastic to see. Absolutely fantastic. It's a pleasure meeting you and thank you thank for you joining again. Flesh and Blood. This was, yeah, this was very fun. Yeah, great, brilliant. Great event, great uh, organization. Give we Southampton got, Shop a shout very, out because that's where you come from, isn't it? Yes, the Southampton Jog, uh, Shop, Geek Retreat, and uh, Board in the City is the other shop I play to. And uh, thanks to Sean that taught me the game, Sean Nolden. Uh, he taught me well enough, I guess. Well, well enough. <laughs> I, th I think so. He's driving home though. And also made me, gave me, made me, do the change two cards okay. that were amazing. I put two lightning strike in instead yeah. of like defensive cards. So it's like more aggressive. A lightning strike was amazing all day. Did you play yesterday? No, no, no. I just so well, we drove up, up today. yesterday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, really nice. Indeed. And then uh, we stayed there. Yeah, I'm so thankful that you made the trip. It's it's been a pleasure. Yeah, you're a fantastic for me as player. well. Fantastic Thank player. You. So, um, have you got the have you got the prize, Fabio? Oh, yeah. <laughs> prize. So we've got the gold foil reveal. Are you going to yeah. do it on camera? Yeah, yeah. They were telling me not okay. to open it, but where's the, where's the fun? Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> We had a drum roll. Drum so roll. I don't know how this works. I don't know either. I've that, never I actually don't want one. to destroy it. That would be bad. Oh, that's it. It's ruined. Yeah, it's, you're not doing a flip and rip, all right? <laughs> Definitely not. But uh... <laughs> all right. Got it out. What side is? I don't know. I think it will be face down. Will be face down. Like when you yeah. pull it out, it will be face down, I think. Yeah. Oh, I guess the camera is there. Well, yeah, you need I'll to look at it. I'll look at it first. Show the camera first. No, no. Yeah, yeah, well, I guess I'll see it from there. Oh, oh, this one. Oh. Insane. <laughs> yeah, that's that's oh the card God, that led me the... here. So oh. that... <laughs> That is brilliant. Stalag my gold Very ball good. for the olden player. Oh, mate, that is that was that fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I think that Fabio wants you to uh, pose. Do you want to pose with this? Yeah, yeah. 
That is awesome. That's Thanks a lot again. A great event. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Fred. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we're doing the shuffle over. I'll come into. I'll come into that chair. Awesome. Um, Safe journey. Right. Safe Thank journey, you. Journey, fella. It's been amazing. Always that end of end of event shuffle, isn't it? So, uh, right. Twenty hours this weekend stream on camera. Yeah. yeah. So first of all, apologies for a couple of the downtime in the stream for the internet. Um, a massive thank you to Vegan Spaceman Terence who did come to the rescue with um, some mobile internet to help us out yeah. uh, to get through to that final, which thank was you. great. I uh, appreciate everybody bearing with us through that final as well. Obviously, um, they could have quite easily turned off and known that there are other events that desire your attention this weekend as well. So thank you for spending your time with us. Um, I think uh, we definitely are the more common wise of the uh, fab community, apparently, as somebody said earlier. Yeah, yeah, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> so, of course, we get it wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And do but, dad jokes. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, exactly. No. <laughs> um it's been another great weekend of, of flesh and blood, hasn't it? It's uh... it's been amazing. It's been fantastic. The amount of new players that have have come in. You know, we we you know, we knew quite a few players coming up here because we do a fair bit of streaming, you know, or I travel around doing doing my you know, filming. But the amount of new players we've had over in here has been fantastic. You know, like 177 players we've had over the mm. over the two days. Yep. You know, it's it's been really good, really, really good. Massive event. It's a skirmish and a battle hardened. You know, yep. 79 players for a skirmish. That's never been done. No. Um, no. So it's, it's, it's massive. It was a massive event it was covering the two days. So uh, obviously, the fan, uh, thanks to Living Realms for putting on such a great event. Indeed, obviously, yeah. thanks to the community for coming down to the event and obviously watching and following on with home. Those that couldn't make it yesterday, obviously, tuned in. And those people that have either gone home or can't make it, I know we've got a few people watching in there. So um, again, Thanks to the Realms. Thank you, Barry, for joining me once again. That's all right. So, Anytime you ask, I'll be here, mate. That's, that's, it, that's it. So, obviously, if you haven't already done so, please go along to Baz the Bad on YouTube. Follow and like Baz because he puts out content quite regularly from some of the local armories and some of the more further afield events. If you haven't done so already, please also like and subscribe this channel, Tabletop24, um, because obviously we will be putting out more live events and we cover a lot of the different things on the channel. So, getting up one of that. Spruce Skirmish round about the end of. Middle of, of April. middle of April, so we'll probably be along there as well. Um, and yeah, thank you to such a great community. Thank you again to LSS for making uh, a fantastic game. So um, stay tuned. We'll catch you next time. And thank you for being an amazing audience. See you soon. Bye.